Flipping a lot of switches, turning a lot of dials, make this stream run. Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. My name is Kismet. It's time to play some games. Thanks for being here. Oh man, did we have fun yesterday. Uh, lots and lots of fun playing some Rogue Heroes together. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for coming and joining me, everybody who did. Uh, and today we're going to do Dyson Sphere Program, which is another very addicting and very awesome uh, program. We're going to play that uh, today. And of course, tons and tons of battles. Hope you enjoyed all those battles yesterday. Holy mackerel, we crushed it. I think we're on the third map. Yeah, we're on the third map already. We just started. <laughs> uh, we'll get to do uh, battles all day today. And of course, we'll go into battle mode later on. Hope you enjoyed that new battle mode with all my little figures dancing around and all having a good old time uh, in that as well. Worked very hard on that. Uh, and so uh, uh, we'll get into that. We'll get into that here in just a moment. Uh, big love to uh, Subi in the chat. First person I see in here uh, chilling out. Oh, Ro coming in with a sub love from the land of Lurk. I resub at thee. Thank you very much for that, Ro. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, replay that when we get into the main screen as well. It doesn't go off here in my office. Uh, this way I can talk to you guys without all the alerts popping up. But then when we get our main thing, I'll replay it as I do. Uh, lots of stuff to check out. We got quests to do in uh, Stream Raiders. Uh, we were working on a factory to generate a bunch of our solar cells for Dyson Sphere program. <coughs> as well as we've got to get to more glowy cubes. So we got to figure out how to do that. Uh, and all sorts of fun stuff. We're just taking our time in this uh, particular game. Really fun, uh, kind of interplanetary, uh, kind of like a Satisfactory meets Astroneer meets uh, uh, Factrio, all kind of mixed into one. So very, very fun uh, game for sure. Uh, we're going to dive right into that. Uh, Rotisserie G showed some love and Dovey showed some love in the chat. Big thanks to Dovey backing me up today uh, in the chat. My awesome mod make his job nice and easy by following those chat rules. You'll saw them when you first come into the chat as well as you can see them down below the stream uh, as well as I think we just go exclamation CR in the chat. I'll show you the chat rules as well. Uh, so please follow those chat rules. Make his job just pretty chill uh, as we do. My, my chat's pretty awesome. So we're pretty chill up in here. And uh, I think we're ready to play some games. I don't know about you, but I want to dive right in. Let's go. All right, here we are. Boom! Look at them biddies dropping over there. Hey, they're flying everywhere. <laughs> Thank you very much to Ro. The amazing Ro with 45 months of sub love. That's some serious love right there. Ro always has my back. I hope you guys are excited for this Friday and this Saturday where we're going to build the mega vendor base in... Uh, uh, Tycoon Vendor Mega Base, that's a long name, uh, in Valenheim. I'm very excited about it. We're going to clear cut all the trees. We're going to flatten it out. We're going to let everybody do a different role. So everybody remember to, to choose a role that you want to do. So Kismet, I want to build the cookhouse. Or Kismet, I want to do the farms. Or I want to do the forges or whatever it is. Uh, you let me know on the uh, Discord. We have a bunch of posts up there. Or just a rough idea of what I'm thinking about uh, can always be made better by the inclusion of... Uh, all my builders uh, who do like to build just like me. And so if we all are working on different parts and pieces and we make them all mesh together, I think that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, I feel like what we want to do is just kind of do an under level uh, where we can uh, kind of get around. All of our paths will be in that under level. And then in the upper uh, above level, uh, will be, uh, is where our base will be. And I want to be up high enough where I can shoot over the fence while I'm standing up in there, you know, doing whatever I need to do or if stuff starts to go down. Uh, and then I think we're going to, uh, do ramparts and all, I mean, we're going to go all out, uh, have a, have a fun time doing that. Of course, we'll also, you know, we'll do that for a while and then we'll go and we'll, uh, you know, go probably go to the swamps because we need to get a couple more chains to unlock the next, uh, level of crafting, which is probably going to be stone crafting. So it kind of makes me think, Hmm. Should I go and get the, get the things first and then come back and build like a stone uh, thing out of stone? Or should I uh, or should I build it out of wood, right? It, it's a whole thing that always, always something, everybody. Always like you're in between the two crafting areas. Uh, we'll think about it. Uh, think about it all week. Give some feedback on the Valheim section of my Discord and we'll go uh, from there. We'll probably just do it out of wood because that's the easy way to do it. We can always come back and upgrade it later. So feel free to join us for that. Now, again, right here, we're on our first, uh, or really our second uh, planet, our first planet other than our main planet. Uh, but we're here, and what we're doing is we're setting up some different power, uh, and that power is extracting, uh, right over here, some coal. And that, 
the funny irony is, is extracting coal so it can extract coal. All right, so we're extracting coal to do the power to extract the coal so we can do the power. Uh, and then we've got our power set up here. Uh, and our power's running along this grid. Uh, it's like my sound is not on. It's because it's not on. There we go. Uh, and then over here, we have uh, uh, some uh, uh, resources coming in. And it's filling up uh, this. Now, we've got this where we can triple stack this now, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and you can see it's stacking up a lot of iron ore. Now, the reason why we're doing iron ore is because we want to combine that iron ore there with this uh, silicon veins over here. Uh, and to make these particular uh, solar uh, things, which are, I think is going to work uh, really well, uh, solar panels, actually we need to go over here, uh, solar panel, there we go. Uh, to make that, we have to make circuit boards, uh, high purity silicon, and then some copper ignits. So we've got to uh, refine a lot of this and then also make some circuit boards, uh, and I believe those come from copper, yes, copper and iron. Uh, so those circuit boards can also come from the copper that's nearby. We have a copper on the other side of our power. So we need to run that. So we've produced some power. That power is then going to allow us to make other power. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and go from there. So that's weird. That's just a crater. That's just a crater sitting there. Okay. So uh, now we need to move on to the next stage, which is, okay, what are we doing with all of this stuff? <laughs> Uh, right here, we probably should go ahead and make some more of this. So this keeps running. There we go. Uh, and that's going to fill up all three of those. So that has a place to go. Nice. And then it's going to start to thin out once it gets it all out of there. And then the other one's going to thin out. And then now we're really backlogging a bunch of that. And what you do is you want to backlog some of that stuff uh, just so it's running while you're doing something else. And then what you can do is you can actually uh, up your production later on. Uh, to make all that work. So we're going to need some copper though. So let's run over here to the copper. And let's get that going. I wish I could just fly over there. Oh man, look at all these. Look at all these copper veins here. Nice. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and get it going on. Let me turn that noise down. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and do some extraction. We're going to go ahead and get our things here. I mean, we got nine. Now that ought to do it. Uh, all right, and uh, let's see how many of these we can get in a single hit here. Uh, that's pretty good. That's seven right there. And then over here, we've got one, two, three, four, five. I think we can get more. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we'll go, we'll go with the six. All right. And then over here... Now, we've upgraded our belts a bit, and we've been uh, doing our research and stuff like that. Um, but we have gotten to a point now where we've kind of stopped uh, in our research. And the reason why we stopped is because uh, we need some more glowy cubes. And we'll get into that. That is six right there. It's not bad. We'll go with six there. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Now, this is all going to need some power, of course, to uh, do the extraction. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start with our thing. Now, we got some mark uh, level three belts here, that, but we need to make some of this other stuff to do those level three belts. Uh, what we need is we need our uh, level two belts here. Uh, let's go in and see how our belts are doing. We don't have this, but I think we have enough for this, right? No, we don't have any of these. We might have to head back to make more of those. I think that's what it was, where we left off is that we had to head back to make more of that particular item. So I think we've only got a little bit of that, but let's give it a go anyway and see what happens. Uh, yeah, see, we've got to, we don't have enough to produce those. Okay, so what do we need to produce that, though? Probably copper. Probably copper. That's the funny thing. All right, let's, uh, let's extend our power here and grab some... Oh, wait, we forgot to... <laughs> Got to be a little close. No, that, uh, that actually worked. Okay. Uh, so that also charges my robot, that one there. Uh, and then we need to go ahead and make the Tesla tower, but we need copper from that. So uh, we've got copper. And so we'll go in and we'll make some more Tesla towers. Uh, but we need iron. Okay, iron's not a problem. Okay, so we ran out of iron, but iron's not an issue because we do have a ton of it. Right over here. This is our iron right here. 
so we can go ahead and take some of this out like this and just manually refine that into what we need. Now, one of the cool things about this is that it figures out that, okay, you need so much iron plates. And so it's going to make the iron plates for me. It remembers all the precursors to whatever it is I'm trying to do. Uh, so it'll make all the precursors ahead of time and then make the finished item for you. Uh, so you don't have to go and make the bars and then make the thing and then make the next thing and make the next thing. It'll automatically do all that, which I absolutely love. Uh, a fantastic feature uh, of the game. Uh, do like that. And it's fun that you do in the beginning. You learn how to do it, and then uh, from there you'll uh, uh, do the kind of a bit more advanced stuff. Uh, how to get both of those in one shot? Maybe here. Oh, let's try that. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we're getting that copper going. Uh, and once we get our copper going, we'll be able to uh, take the copper out of here, put it on us, and then, um, like magic, uh, we should be able to do some of these. Yep. And like always, right off the beginning of the stream here, we start to sneeze. Okay, now that we got that going, let's go ahead and fire up some stream raiders. Uh, let's get the battle on, everybody. Now, we're going to be going along here. Uh, this little side game we play called Stream Raiders. Super fun. A uh, whole entire chat plays it together. Uh, it is free to play. We're going to go ahead and start uh, our one going here so you guys can start putting down your units. But I'm going to go ahead and check out some quests here. What do we need to do? Uh, kill three melee units. Uh, kill monger 50 units. Win 20 battles. No worries. No worries. We're on it. Uh, then go into the store here. Let's check the scrolls. Uh, flag bearer, barbarian, no, warrior, rogue, flag bearer. Now, see, the rest of these I've already maxed out, so I don't want to, uh, I don't want to get those again. Uh, let's see, we got 186, we have two of these we can upgrade, we can upgrade our artillery, oh, it only costs 12, that's good. Uh, there's another one we can upgrade, which is our balloon buster, but we don't have enough cash for that, and that's okay, we'll get into that. So nothing I really need to place down. Any specific units I need to place down doesn't look like it. Uh, well, we'll just keep working on our uh, our alt characters here. I'm trying to get my flying rogue to level 30. Uh, this one doesn't look too tough. I'm kind of feeling I'm with you over here on this right side. Uh, I feel like that's our jam right there. And remember, I will be doing battles all day long as well uh, when I go into a bonus stream, which is a, a battle mode. I am addicted to Valenheim. Welcome to the uh, Valenheim Addiction uh, Club. Uh, come in, sit down, and enjoy. <laughs> yes, uh, Valenheim, very, very fun. Uh, I would love to play it all day, every day, but uh, I do have other games that I want to play as well. So uh, I do try to uh, mix it up. And I try not to burn myself out on a game also. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you play a game a lot, you get real burned out on it. So I try not to burn myself out on it too quickly. Or burn through the content too quickly. I like to take my time and, uh, you know, explore all the different nooks and crannies of the world and stuff like that. That's just the way I like to play. All right. Now it's going to make a whole bunch of all this stuff here. Uh, because now we have some copper, so it's going to make a whole bunch of that. Uh, what we need is we need some conveyors. And those conveyors are going to come out uh, and run this copper where we need it to go. And I feel like we'll go ahead and put it over here like this. And really, we have a perpetual everything that we need. We have iron, we have copper, um, we have power, and we have the silica here. And what we want to do is crank out a bunch of these solar panels so I don't have to keep manually making them uh, because it has the silica right here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start to think about what we're going to do. Uh, I think I need this one. I think I need that one to make the final solar cells, right? Buildings. Yes. Okay, right here. So, to get there, though, um, we're going to need to uh, smelt some of this stuff. Uh, so, we're going to need our smelters as well. And I'm just putting them down randomly right now just to kind of think through the process. Uh, this is going to be silica uh, refining here. And then we're going to have to refine the iron plates. Uh, or copper. We're going to need the copper plates. Oh, we don't even need iron. What do I have iron for? Oh, we need that for the circuit boards. We need that for the circuit boards. So there's copper plates there. Uh, and then we need circuit boards. 
And so we're going to need to refine all of that. Let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, take this out with X. Man, when you don't play a game for a week, you're just like, God, what was I doing? <laughs> That's what I, uh, my brain was doing right there. Uh, all right. So we'll go ahead and put some forges in here and get it refining uh, some of that action going on. How we doing? There we go. Now we got a bunch of these. And we'll get into making higher level of these here in a bit. And let's go ahead and just bring this forward. Uh, real far forward. There we go. And that'll start all those up. And then we'll tell it... Oh, we should have just uh, did one. And then uh, one of the things you can do is you can just uh, hold, uh, hold down shift, get this. And then it will rem it will know exactly what that other one was. So you don't have to set it. Uh, it'll automatically do it for me, which is awesome. Uh, all right. And then we want to go ahead and uh, push these into here. Like so. And then we're going to have that start to refine some of that. Now, this is still going into this box here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take half of that out so it runs the rest of this down. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and also tell it to push some of this out along this back edge right here. And so we'll tell it to push as much of that out as it can. Uh, and then it will use up as much of that as it can, but also still backlog it. If it does get to a point where it stops, it will backlog it into that main uh, uh, into that main uh, storage. All right, and it should use that up as much as it possibly can. Now we got that going. Now we probably want to go ahead and run another line here in the front, so we can go ahead and push the items back out again. Uh, the finished items are going to come out and end up over on this line like so all right there we go and then that will come out that will come out and we'll just run that say along here and then we'll do the same thing here we'll go ahead and put in some storages oops wrong storage i forgot i got the bigger storages now i don't need those i don't need those small ones let's do the bigger ones there we go Nice big storage. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing over here. We'll go ahead and push this into there. Let's just double, double press it in there to get it going. Okay, so that'll start to backlog those now. So that's good. Uh, same thing over here. We should start backlogging all of this. And I like to backlog stuff because it just makes it easier in the long run uh, to really get it going. Um... And let's see, probably should have this line run along here. And then we'll go to say there. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll go ahead and put down some smelters. And I'm just going to say three is the magic number here. Just go with three to start. And we'll do that. Or actually, that's probably too close. This way we could run that out of the back of there instead of the front. Uh, let's go ahead and say over here somewhere. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and take our uh, lines here and run them down the line. Just to have them a little extra there. Uh, oh, we, for we did forgot to do the thing again. All right, we want to tell this to be iron plates. Hold down shift. And then now all of those are going to be iron plates, so we don't have to set each and every one. And over here, we're going to tell it to go in. I try to make it go in on the closest area uh, and then out on the furthest area. Uh, but that's just me. All right, that's good. Now we'll go ahead and tell it uh, over here to push in at one. Oh, this is stopped. Why is that stopped? Oh, stone was the other thing we were working on out here. That was the, uh, that was our back in our other base. I just reminded myself of that. Uh, doing lots of stone stuff over there too. So let's push these out. Now somehow this has stopped working, so we got to figure out why it stopped. Let's fly over there and find out. Now we found a node. Look how far away this node is uh, from our uh, current base. It's way out here. 
And so it's saying it has a power problem. What's the power problem? Oh, it's nighttime and there's no power. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. We're going to solve that problem. Now, the cool thing about this is that eventually the whole entire planet will be covered in whatever you're doing, right? Oh, there's some stone right there we could be tapping into. Uh, it'll eventually the whole thing will be covered in, uh, you know, your gigantic base that you're going to build, which I think is amazing. Right? I think that's a pretty cool uh, mechanic uh, in the long run. So uh, we'll go ahead and run that there. And we're going to just interconnect our systems here. I think it's three. One, two, three. Yeah, it's about three. One, two. Sometimes it's a little awkward because they don't quite overlap right, but the grid is not always exactly the same. It goes along with the terrain itself, so your grid might get all funky like that. Uh, oh, we need more towers. Uh, we're out of iron plates. I don't think that's going to be an issue here in a minute either. We're going to have a lot of those. Backlog. <coughs> Uh-oh, we need some energy. My core will be completed soon. Okay, I've got to run over here and uh, tap into some of this this coal right here, which uh, we may or may not have a backlog. It looks like we do. Uh, I want to go ahead and get some of that in there. I should have been backlogging a bunch of this into a box uh, just in case. Okay, uh, let's make 20 more of those. Gonna make some more storages, so just in case we can go ahead backlog a bunch of that. So if I need it, it'll be there for my little character. Trying to run along the back there. There we go. And and then oh I forgot. Wait, we can't do it like that. We can't do it like that because uh, you can't do a splitter. You can't. You gotta have a. Spe uh, special item for a splitter, but merger you can do. It's splitter you can't do. That's okay. We'll go. We'll do it from right here. Anything that gets beyond this first one and starts to backlog, we'll go ahead and push it into that box. So we'll have excess, uh, and then all of this will keep running. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and I can't even remember how to get in my inventory. I for inventory. I can't remember. I can't remember what is it. Uh, e for inventory. All right. There we go. Uh, and then uh, C for mech panel. So what we can do is go ahead and take this coal, and that's why I got the coal working first, is we can take this coal and convert it into mech power. Now, we're in a virtual environment. We're like in VR, and we are uh, controlling the robot uh, in uh, other planets, and we're trying to set up a Dyson Sphere. Dyson Sphere, of course, generates a crazy ton of energy, uh, and that energy, of course, is what we're looking for. Uh, all right. Now we've got that running. We've got that backlogging. Uh, looks pretty good. Hmm. Ah, the other side is not backlogging. <laughs> and this is taking in too much. Yeah, it's taking in too much there. And our power not working there. So we'll go ahead and uh, run it out again. I will backlog too much of it. Run that back out, which was then going to run the power for other stuff. We don't really need all that power right now, but uh, good to have a, uh, a thing going on. Now we got uh, solar going uh, over here. And uh, did we make a bunch more of these? We needed, oh, we needed our plates. That's what I was doing. I was going to get more plates. And down here. All right, I got to turn it back up just a little bit. Got a lot of wind noise. Uh, all right, let's grab some plates here. And whatnot. Okay. And the same thing here. We're going to go ahead and do some logistics. Uh, we're going to make a bunch more of these. There we go. White's figuring that out. Go ahead and run this along the back of here. Let's say right there. 
Now it actually has a number underneath it which tells you when it's ready to rock. And I'm using the second level belts. Eventually I want to use the third level and so on. Um, but right now we're just kind of resetting up our basics on this other planet because this planet has uh, silica, uh, silicon veins. Uh, and so we're going to uh, basically tap it to uh, make us some solar power. Uh, and then that solar power we can use to get stuff started. Uh, I would imagine on different planets and whatnot. Uh, it's going to supplement our base power, which would be nice. And so we're just going to test that out, see how it goes. Let's go ahead and bring this out. Onto there. And how are we doing? Almost there. And so again, we're, we've got this like different levels of tiers. Uh, so it's uh, basically... Uh, uh, extracting the ore, and then the ore goes in and it becomes the raw ore. The raw ore then becomes the plates and so on. Uh, and along those stages, uh, I like to put uh, storage. So it can continue to run while I'm building. Right? I like to make a lot of storage. And we don't have to have us do as much storage as we do now because we have the larger storage now. Uh, so we can just run this in here and tell it, hey, you know, feed that in there as fast as you possibly can. So I do three of them just to make sure that it does it. And then our power out here seems to be a little bit too far. Oops, wrong thing, this one. Uh, oh, hold on, let's uh, cancel that. Let's do these first. There we go. And then we'll go back to these. All right, we're gonna need uh, some little bit of power here uh, on this front one, there we go. We'll just move this down to about, and we'll just overlap it. And there we go. Okay, so now it's really going to burn through a lot of this ore that I have. Um, but in the far side of the planet right now, for some reason, uh, it was fine for a while, but uh, it doesn't have uh, any power. And so we're going to just go ahead and keep on running it this way. Let's go down here. Now, as I go along, my little robots uh, who are in my backpack are flying over there making the stuff. Uh, so you have to be, you can't just make it and then walk away. Uh, you got to have your little robots building it uh, at some point. So I'm just going to go ahead and spread some power around the world here. It's a long way to run power, but we've got enough resources to make it happen. We're just going to run it along our conveyor belt. We're going to tie all the power together. I prefer a nice central power system myself um, because it usually when you have surplus, you can use it for other stuff uh, when certain uh, assembly lines stop. That's the way it is in any game for me anyway, uh, is that I like to have a whole lot of that. Uh, oh, we need more copper. Uh, so close, right there. More copper. Also acts as like a road so I can find my way back and forth from the different pieces and parts. Very, very cool. And I'm sure there's a more efficient way of doing everything that I'm doing. But then again, when you're first playing the game, uh, making mistakes is part of the fun. That's part of the uh, enjoyment of playing. Uh, at least for me it is. Uh, all right, this is another thing we got to work on over here is uh, our combining of all of this. And so we're going to combine it, say, right there. This one's coming out. And coming across to here. This one will go to there. And then over on this side, same thing. We'll have it come in and dog leg right into there. And all of it's reaching about this point. And then we'll go ahead and do this. And then start to backlog a bunch of this. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And then we'll make that go in there temporarily. And it'll just feed in there as fast as it can. And we look and we got to make more of these. Uh, and to make those, we need uh, this. Uh, take that out. There we go. Uh, and then we can make a bunch of these. Huh. Lack of material.
Huh. It should allow us to make those. What are we missing? Oh, we need the raw iron ore. Okay. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay. I got a bunch of it over here. There we go. Okay. Uh, we got to make a bunch of our power items. There we go. Produce a bunch of those. Stay on target here. We got to come back over here and uh, do our power. Make a bunch of those. And again, it goes through and makes all the precursors, which makes it a lot easier. And I really want to come back later and fix all this power grid. But there we go. Okay, so that's now running that. Uh, we don't have to go over there and, and find it over there. It's going to automatically run it down the lines there and fill that up. And so this is what I do. The reason why I do this. Hey, what's up, Smoking? Uh, Smoking. Uh... Well, this is what I do. I backlog a bunch of resources as I'm working so I can go and grab those resources as I need them. Uh, and then also it's doing something while we're sitting here, right? So it's making crazy tons of uh, silicon over there. Over here is iron and copper. Uh, plus we have a bunch of power. Uh, and then that allows us to go ahead and keep this running. Now, uh, as you can see, it's running right now. And that's because it uh, uh, it's uh, probably got some uh, solar power. Which is great. Now, if it was always facing the uh, the uh, sun uh, at the same time, uh, or the central star, wherever it is over there, if it was always facing that and it didn't rotate, then we could just put solar power there and it'd be fine. Um, but in this case, we're going to go ahead uh, and set this up like this. And I feel like I'm going to need solar power down the road, so we're going to set up uh, some serious solar power. And then now that's going to connect in there. And so this solar power is going to help down there. But also uh, our power is going to continuously keep this running. And I've only got this one little node uh, right there. But it's enough uh, to keep that going. Oh, boy. We need more fuel. More fuel. We'll get it going here in a minute. And there we go. Core depleted. Uh, all right, let's see if we've got anything else on our inventory that we can uh, chop up. Uh, I wonder if we could use crude oil. Ah, we can. I don't think I've ever tried to use crude oil before. Cool. Uh, good to know. We got uh, actually a bunch of uh, stuff over here we can use. A bunch of coal. We have backlogging. We'll let that charge up. Oh, we got some power problems there. Uh, all right. Well, this... Whoa, okay. A little little much there, but uh, that'll do it. Uh, we'll put these stacks in there. And put these stacks back in there. Uh, all right. Let's look at our overall power uh, over here. Yeah, that's just beyond the power there. We'll fix that. There we go. Okay. So this is this is getting plenty of coal over here. Probably should have put that at the end. Yeah, I should have put that at the end of the run down here. And then combine this one with that one. That's exactly what I should do. I should take this right here and run that into that. Take this out. And so if there's any excess coal, it'll go that way and get on this line. And then when it gets to the end here, that's where I should be uh, doing my coal. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, let's fix that. Because then it'll combine uh, both lines, uh, all the excess of both lines. Uh, oh, there's too much stuff in there. Uh, let's take this out. Stop pushing that into the box. Like that. By the way, you can zoom out and uh, uh, use your boxes from pretty far away. Uh, you don't have to be right up on it. But let's go ahead and put three boxes there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I just thought of a better idea. A cycle. Yeah. It cycles back into the network.
Oh, yeah, a little redundant cycle. Uh, so what you do is you run into the box, and then the box runs out, and it goes back to the beginning again. Just in case uh, it runs out, uh, it'll have more there. Um, but let's go ahead and take uh, this out. Oh, wait, we, we're too full. Too full. We got to take this stuff off us first. Uh, let's just go ahead and put everything in there for right now. And then, oh, and then we'll take this out. There we go, and this. Then we'll run over here. And we'll put it in the second box. Then we'll take this all back out again. Oh, I gotta have my inventory open. That would be helpful. There we go. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and push the rest of this into the end. All right. And that'll keep that backlogging for our mech right now because our mech needs uh, additional power. So I kind of feel like we'll put this first. And then we got a little bit of uh, stuff on us. Put that in there. All right, that'll backlog a bunch of that. But it'll also still uh, feed all of our power, uh, which is what we're trying to do right now, right? We're trying to keep our power uh, nice and fed. So every now and again, it'll feed one in there. And let's look at our overall power structure. Uh, we're using six megawatts, we're producing 24. All right, that's looking good. Looking good. All right, we got that sorted. We've got this going. We got that going. Um, over here, we have our uh, raw ore stacking. And then we want to uh, create a nice forge area here as well. Let's say right to there. And then more, more of our... And then we're going to run out of whatever this is, which is most likely iron... Uh, and then we'll go ahead and put our forges in. Forges. Nothing but forges. Forges right there. Oh, again, let's just do one. Then we click the one and we tell it what we want it to be. And then we go ahead and shift click it. And then the other two will be exactly the same. And I find that uh, it kind of like the rule of three in this game. Works pretty good. All right, and we got the power there, and then we're going to go ahead uh, and feed that in there, like so. Uh, we should have left the space. Should have left the space. My bad. How are we doing? Oh, God, we're waiting on all those precursors first. Waiting on all those precursors. Uh, I got a thing that actually makes that stuff for me back on my other planet, but I have to fly back there. Uh, right now, I'm on uh, kind of a deserted planet here, which is nice. I like deserted planets. It makes it a bit easier. Uh, there you go. There you go. Uh, oh, fuck. What's up? All right. We're going to get it going on over here. Uh, what not? Get it going on. Let's go. We gotta wait it out. We need some conveyor belts up here. I was waiting for something. Uh, what can we do while we're waiting? We get more iron plates, I guess, while we're waiting. Get more iron plates. Over here, Get a couple sets of those, and while we're waiting over here, a couple sets of this, that'll save some time there. Uh, let's check our fuel chambers, coming from the right side. I'm trying to get rid of this one oil out of there. There we go. Get that one oil out of there, and then we can use our coal. For now, since we're over on this planet. Now, I have a whole other planet that has a whole bunch of other stuff that I am working on. So, uh, we'll get back to that in a bit. But since this planet just has coal, uh, we're just going to go ahead and do that for right now. And we'll get back to that other planet in a bit. Okay, that's still running. Uh, how are we looking? We get some? We did. Okay, so we'll go ahead and also run this into here. 
And we'll run those out. We'll triple run those out. We'll take these out now. Just have one of those in there backlogging. And then we're going to go ahead and put this in here. Like that. Oh, no, we did it again. See, I'm so used to doing it first. You want to do one first and then do the other thing. Now, again, I have been playing for a little while, so I do know a bit about the game. Uh, I wouldn't say I know everything about it, but I do know a little bit. Uh, and we have, uh, again, we have a whole other planet set up with a whole bunch of processes to get us to this point. And now we're doing some more basic stuff on this planet uh, just to get it started up. Uh, all right, that's looking good there. I kind of feel like my power thing is going to be in the way there of my other line. So let's move that back just a bit. There we go. And then we shift click this. And there we go. Very nice. And now we can start it up doing a whole bunch of plates. And then we'll take out the rest of this. Very nice. And then we'll put in a secondary line like that. And that's going to be the output. I'm going to need more of these. I can see already. All right. I need more of those. To make more of those, I need to get some more stuff. Uh, really do need to go back to my other planet probably at some point. Let's go ahead and push that out. Push this out, and then we're not going to have enough for that one. All right. What is it we need to make this happen? Uh, more raw ore. More raw ore rooney. Yeah, see the ore is working even at nighttime. Uh, right there, so that's pretty nice. We'll get that raw ore. And that's going to allow us to get in here and precursor a bunch of that. There we go. All right. That's off and running. Now we got some of our basics going. We got our silica going. We've got our uh, iron and copper going. Uh, always a good idea to have that stuff running and backlogging while you're building other stuff. Uh, and so that's what I'm going to do over here, which you just saw me do on just all the same stuff, uh, which is to go ahead and get a big storage now that we've unlocked our storage. And then we unlocked another level vertically. Uh, so we can go ahead and do that. And that's going to keep this going. Uh, always waiting for stuff. Now, it's much better if you actually make the stuff uh, and have your uh, machines make the kind of finished item as opposed to your inventory precursoring a bunch of that stuff because uh, that will take a while uh, to get that going. Oh, I think it's still in the second stage. Which, which ones is it making? I think it should be doing. Which ones did it just make? Did make? Oh, it was making. Uh, I think it was making conveyor belts. Oh boy. Gonna take a minute. All right, we'll let that run. Think out the rest of our process here. Now, what I'm trying to do here is just make some solar cells. And so uh, to make them solar cells, we're going to need uh, our copper and silica. So silica is easy. With that one, we can just run down the line here. Let's take that out. Let's go ahead and run our line along here. Like that. Let that build out. And now we'll go ahead and let's put it on this side. We'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll tell it eventually to feed into there. Uh, one of the odd things about this is you don't really feed it out of the uh, machine. You actually have to push it in and out of the machine, which is an odd thing, right? Uh, normally, you would like just run the conveyor belt directly in without having to have a sorter. Uh, but in this game, you have to have a sorter to make it happen. And that's what we're waiting on right now for it to make a bunch of res resources so we can do the sorter. Kind of feel like what I want to do also is backlog a lot of these resources uh, and put them on each planet. So if I'm there and I need those resources, uh, they'll already be there and ready to rock. Uh, I feel like that would be pretty good. And we got 16 solar panels right here too. Uh, well, let's deploy them babies. They ain't do us no good in our inventory. Let's get over here and create ourselves a little solar grid on the inside of this. Oh, 
Oh, wow, that works out perfect. Now, one of the cool things about this game is that you can take stuff right back up again and you get all the resources back or you actually get the item in this case. Uh, so, uh, so if I decide that, hey, I don't want these all to be here, I can very easily go in and uh, pick them all back up and use them elsewhere. Uh, so, again, if they're just sitting in my inventory and not doing me any good, uh, but uh, if they are deployed, then they are uh, giving me some additional power. Uh, how we look at... We close? All right, there we go. Uh, we should make more of those because I just know I'm going to need more of those down the road here. Keep making those. Keep making those while we do some other stuff. Okay. Let's get over here. Now, I'm using the fastest ones I can. That's because I can use the fastest ones. Uh, oh, we got, uh, got a power issue over here. Like so. Yeah, let's put it over here. Let's say something like that. Gonna need it over there anyway. And then we'll push these into there temporarily so we get all those in there. Oh, that one's coming out. Uh, push all those in there temporarily so that will keep on rocking. Uh, and then we need another one here to push these out of here onto the belt. There we go. And those are now gonna backlog all that. So we have our uh, basic components here. Um, but we need to use some of this to make uh, circuits. So we're going to go ahead and work on our circuits next. Uh, let's say put them right there. I'm just putting this stuff very randomly right now. Uh, we want to work on circuits. So circuits are going to take both the iron ignits and the copper ignits. So what we'll do is we'll just run our copper ignits first. And then we'll combine them over on the other side. Ah, oh, God, I need more. I need more. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a break from this. Let's see how much power we have. We have lots of power. We go up into space. There we go. So we're actually leaving the planet now. Uh, that'll keep doing its thing. Uh, I think it's uh, Draconis... Uh, Draconis 3 here. Uh, how far away we are from the other planet? All right, we're way over here. And the one we want is the one that's actually orbiting this planet. We want this one. Uh, so we've got to get from where we are to over there. And of course, depending on when you uh, leave, right, uh, is whether uh, you're going to be really far away. And I'm holding down the shift key. Uh, and this, this particular power uh, regen is really slow. Uh, the coal power. Uh, I guess in theory I could get stuck out here. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, see how much we got left. We got lots. Okay. Uh, and so we're just going to try to go toward uh, that particular planet. We're on one there. And we're going to try to go past the sun here. Probably not a good idea to get too close to that sucker. Maybe use it as a as a... Uh, as a, what do you call it, as a slingshot. Slingshot would be good. Okay, so we're going to head back to our other planet here. Uh, going to take us a little bit, not too long. Uh, and we're going to run over there, and we're going to pick up a bunch of this stuff so we don't have to keep uh, making that same stuff because it is taking a little while. Uh, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and run a battle. Uh, let me get my spell in there. There we go. We'll run a battle, and then we'll come back. Uh, there we go. Kidman wants to play Valentine. I can see it. I do. I actually do. I want to sit and play it all day, every day. But, you know, I want to play some other games, too. I do. Yeah, that's what I think, too, uh, Dovey. That, uh, it's one of those games that, uh... That really, uh, uh, it's not too taxing, but very, very fun. Uh, all right. Oh, oh, almost got some stuff unlocked there. Open the captain's chest. Let's see. Subi and Caffeinated getting some love. Rotisserie G, MVP. Uh, very nice. All right. We got our first battle out of the way. Let's keep it going. We're going to be battling all day long. Getting you guys tons and tons of loot. 
Oh, uh, where are we going on this one? Mm, mm, good question. <coughs> kind of favoring that bottom right right there. Uh, let's go ahead and put the archer down. Give you guys some serious support. Uh, and keep her rocking right there. Now, I'm back to my other plane. Like, whoa, kids, how'd you get here so fast? Well, I just, uh, just landed uh, on the planet. And on this planet, I have a bunch of production. Uh, this is the first planet you start on. A uh, bunch of production out here, and I can see I got something just sitting there for me to uh, to figure stuff out. Uh, and you can see that I'm producing a whole bunch of other uh, power over here. So I'm going to use this power instead of the power that I have. Uh, I've already got that kind of set up and rock and roll. Uh, and over here, you can see I'm extracting a bunch of coal on that as well. And so I don't have any place for me to put this coal. But I do see my coal is running along here. So that means it probably ends up down here. No. No. Uh, turn that X off. All right, here's what we'll do. We'll throw it in our extra boxes for right now. Uh, throw that in there. And then we'll go ahead and take this coal out now. And we'll grab this back in. Coal into there. This into here. There we go. All right. That's going to go ahead and fire that up. Uh, and we'll just put the rest of that in there. Or actually, we'll take that with us, and then we'll have it already over there. Now, I could have set up another way of refining that. There's also more efficient fuel cells that you can use uh, later on. Uh, but we're going to put that in there for right now. Uh, and we are producing some of those fuel cells uh, somewhere. Uh, good question is where. I can't remember. Um I can't remember. We're right over here. We're producing our other stuff, which is producing these, which is producing our stuff here. <laughs> See, instead of us making them over and over, I can just come over here and grab a bunch of them. Uh, that didn't take too long. I didn't, I didn't realize how long that would take to go from place to place. Doesn't take too long. Looks pretty good. Now, this is producing a lot of various different things here, uh, including tons and tons of copper, way more copper than we actually need. Uh, and then also some glowy cubes over here. Now, these glowy cubes, what they do uh, is they uh, do research. Now, I don't have anything researching right now, and that's because I've gotten to a point in which I've researched all of this stuff, and I don't even know what some of this stuff does. Uh, I have no idea. Why? Because it's my first playthrough, uh, and I don't want to know. Don't tell me. No backseat gaming or anything like that uh, in the chat. If you hear me talking about stuff uh, or doing stuff, uh, don't tell me anything. Uh, now, we do do learn-to-play sessions where you can backseat game all you want. Uh, if you do see it's a learn-to-play, and plus it'll say backseat all you want in the title. Uh, then you can backseat all you want. Say, kids would do this, kids would do that. You could have been here for Rogue Heroes yesterday. We did do a learn-to-play there. Uh, but as you can see, it takes all these different boxes. Now, there's also a whole upgrade section that we can do uh, over here. Now, again, I have not explored all this stuff. I've not played the game all the way through. We're doing our first playthrough, so please be aware of that. Uh, but I'm not without knowledge. I do uh, know at least uh, some of the fundamentals now. Uh, and what we've been doing is just unlocking everything that we can while we're waiting, right? Uh, but we need to get to our next thing, which is our yellow boxes. Uh, and what we wanted to do was go find some resources for making those yellow boxes. And so uh, we went to another planet and we saw that we uh, were able to go in. Uh, let's just put out one of these. Uh, that we were able to go in and uh, create some solar over there. So I thought, well, we'll do some solar so we don't have to uh, run our power and all that stuff to get started. Uh, so uh, what are we doing? We're doing this here, and then we wanted to uh, make that item, which I've already forgotten. Oh, uh, the yellow cubes. Uh, yellow cubes. So if we look in here, we, can, we don't see any yellow cubes. So that gives us an indication that maybe what we want to do uh, is make some of these next level items here. Uh, and what we need is we need some uh, graphite. And to do that graphite there, uh, we are graphene, uh, we need to do uh, a whole bunch of uh, various different stuff. Now, I could have sworn that we were working on that last time. Uh, let's go look around for it. It would probably be over here by my graphene production, I would think. Oh, there's my fuel cells right there. Yeah, there's my fuel cells. Uh, so I was making some fuel cells. As I find uh, some titanium, I was making some fuel cells over here. Actually, I actually have 13 of them. Uh, hydrogen fuel rods, actually, is what they're called. Uh, and those are very efficient uh, for your power as well. Uh, so we'll get that going. 
uh, as well. And that's kind of what we're looking for. We're looking for different different resources than the ones we've already found. Uh, and you can see we got tons of stuff just running all over the place. Uh, running all over. We got oil extraction. We got all of that. Um, let's go over here. Speaking of oil extraction. Hmm. That's doing a good job of flowing that through there. And then it looks like it's flowing over this way. And then probably backlog. Oh my gosh, look at that. Uh, it's backlog three high. Uh, can we take that out of there? Oh, you can set the inputs and outputs on. Uh, so, we're making a bunch of aluminum over here. I'm going to take some of that out right there. There we go. Um, and we're trying to make this building. And again, for make graphite, we need sulfuric acid and uh, energetic graphite. So we haven't done our sulfuric acid yet. So to make sulfuric acid, we need to figure out that out. Let's put this down again. Let's go ahead and look for sulfuric acid. I think it was actually the other building, which is our refined building. Again, don't tell me. Part of the fun, figuring it out, uh, is our chemical plant. And we need to make one of those. Chemical plants. There we go. Uh, all right. So we'll go ahead and uh, make our chemical plants. Right there. There we go. Obviously, we've made another one. There's one right there. Uh, and uh, we need this. So that's going to make our graphene. But we also need to make our sulfuric acid. So we need that to do that. So we need stone, refined oil, and water. Okay. All right. That's where we left off, I think, last time. Uh, we've got oil coming out of here. So we can divert that oil. We've got water here. Uh, and then the other thing was graphene, which I think is running along this outside edge right here. Yeah, it's running graphene there. Uh, so maybe right here is a good spot for that. Let's go ahead and do another water extractor. Uh, where is our here? Water extractor. Oil. Uh, we need electric motors and all of that stuff. All right, let's just go ahead and get some of our resources here. From way over here. Okay, so we got some electric motors in here. Um, those are, where are those running out to? Those are running out to this box. Man, it makes me want to revamp all this now that we have the larger storage and stuff. And those electric motors are going out of there into here. Uh, we do not have enough electric. Those are not building enough electric motors. It's going way too slow. Uh, way too slow on those motors. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and push that into there. And then this also going to need... Oh boy, this is getting stuff from a whole bunch of different places. Yeah, right there. Uh, hmm, hmm. Take that out. Uh, because This is going to run into that, so that's kind of in the way. So let's do a little bit of this. Take this out. Move this whole production out of there. And we'll go ahead and uh, put another one of these in. Our motor production is way too slow. I can see that other part is struggling to get going. Run that down the line. Run this down the line. Feed that in there. Feed that in there. Um... And then it also needs iron plates, which are coming from the front side here. Very fun. I love the I love the logistics of this game. Oops. 
Uh, I love the logistics of this game, trying to figure out how to run the thing to the thing to the thing. There we go. Okay, now we got double of that going. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and just shift click this into place. Push that uh, up to there. And then this one's, these ones over here, we're going to push these. Double push those into there. Oh, look out! Blowing it up! Someone's blowing up the stream here, everybody. They're blowing it up. I'll take a look here in just a second. Let me finish that. Uh, who is it? Rez coming in. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the raid. I uh, appreciate you all coming in, hanging out in my stream. Hello and welcome, everybody. My name is Kismet. I'm a partner streamer here on Twitch. <laughs> I think this actually says partner on the back. Uh, this is one? No, it's another one. Not this one. I have one that actually says Kismet on the back, too. It's pretty cool. Uh, but, uh, yeah, thanks for being here, everybody. Appreciate you coming in. We'll play some Dyson Sphere Program. Incredibly, incredibly fun game. Uh, highly recommend it. Right now, we're noobing it up a bit. Uh, this is about, I don't know, like the fifth time I've played the game. Uh, play like once a week. We go in and we check in on it. Right now, we're trying to up our production uh, of our uh, larger uh, motors here. And so, we're kind of feeding a bunch of this into these motors. And then we're going to go in and we're going to tell it to make these larger motors here. And we're going to need our electric motor and our magnetic coil. Um, we've already got our magnetic coil coming down the line here. So that's going to make that nice and easy. And then our motors from over here, uh, we can go ahead and run that into there. There we go. And then we're going to need some power. So let's go ahead and extend our power out like that. All right. There we go. And then it's back to making some motors. Um, is that running the right thing in there? What is this? What is this? Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. Where's I getting those things from? Uh, where was I getting my, uh, magnetic coils from? These are, uh, these are gears. Oh, right, right here? No. I don't even remember. Okay, iron there. Oh, I bet I was getting it from the front here. Yeah, that's where I was getting it from. Okay. That's why that curved around there. See, this is what happens when you don't play it for a week. You forget what the heck you were doing. Uh, all right, that's right. I ran it separate line like that, and then I fed that in. There we go. Okay, now we're going to get that fired up. Uh, very nice. Uh, and then we're going to take those motors there and we're going to feed them into here uh, to make the actual item that we're looking to make, uh, which is our, there we go, uh, which is our, uh, these things right here, which is tons and tons of those. Uh, we've got a lot of those queued up now. Uh, let's go ahead and sort this out a little bit. We've got a whole bunch of raw, uh, raw resources that we can just drop off just in case we need them. I, I keep a, you know, a little box of random random stuff oops did not mean to do that i meant to hold the shifties i meant to hit the the ones i didn't need all right back in there let's see we got these you know what let's uh, put those away not going to use that gonna probably use those these nope 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 and all right that's looking better okay so what we want to do is uh backlog a little bit of these uh motors so we'll have those while we're out and about and so we want to really kind of fill those up a bit and then kind of go in here and see if we can tap into some of those there we go we'll grab some of those out of there uh so we'll have those motors let's see how this is looking is that backlogging no okay over here yeah, man, it uses it the second it gets in there. Uh, that's good, though. That's good. Now, I could just uh, cut off uh, cut off the in-between here, and then uh, it would stop, uh, and it would start to backlog uh, into here once it, uh, once it fills with as many as it can do. There we go. Uh, then it'll start to backlog the resources, and if you want to just grab that particular resource, you could uh, out of there as well. But I think we're fine. Push those into there. Looks good. Okay, now we got plenty of conveyors. 
That's what we were back for. And uh, let's get a bit of our power over here. Like this. And we'll take this out. And we'll put that into there instead. Okay. There we go. So we got that running. Now we're, we want to extract some water. That's what we're working on. Uh, extracting some water. Uh, we need some circuit boards and we need some iron. We've got a lot of that laying around. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where's our. All right, here again. Makes me want to go in and replace all these with larger storages. Remove all the storages here. Uh, there's a lot of interactions going on right there. Uh, that we can just straight up take out. All right, we'll just take all that out. And now that we have the faster conveyors, we can go ahead and just run that. Uh huh. We we'll probably want to run it this way, and then back since we already have that established. Probably want to run it like that. And then these can just fire out of there as best they can. There we go. Uh, and that doesn't even look like it's getting past that part there. So we'll take these out. And then we'll just go ahead and run that into there. And that should just free, free run those into there. We have these split. Yeah, see, it's not even getting to these other ones anymore. Because we split that. So, again, there's no, no reason to have these. It's not doing anything. No reason to have it. This is coming out of here. Uh, and this ain't doing anything either. Take all that out. That's redundant now. Yeah, and see, I love... I love improving upon my original design because you get upgrades and everything's going faster, like your conveyor belt's going faster and, uh, and all of that. Get that run out of there. And that's going to run in directly into that box. Yeah, see, now that's not coming out fast enough. Uh, we could be uh, doing some additionals. That's what this, that's what this additionals was. Eventually, this is going to run all out, though, uh, where it, it gets ahead of itself. Let's see. No, it's gaining. It's gaining. So uh, we could use some of that uh, over here. So let's take some of this out. Don't need that. Put these in again. I, I didn't figure out the numbers on this, so we're going to just go ahead and say go to there and then come back. And then we'll tell it to run by all of this again. And we'll see how far it gets. I think that's what I was doing before, if I'm remembering correctly. And then push all these out onto the thing, which you do a nice, oh uh, yeah, nice solid flow of that. And there we go, okay. Take out this excess. All right, where are these getting to? See, what you wanna do is look at well, how far is it getting now? All right, now that it's going in there and then over here, is it getting to the second one? If it's not getting to the second one, then there's no reason to have the second or third one uh, even in there. Uh, it's just a waste of your time and resources. There we go. That's pretty much how that's going. Uh, and then over here, we're uh, storing this up. And this all looks uh, useless here because this could be taken out uh, and made more efficient. So that could be taken out of there, uh, moved over here uh, into a second one. And that could be run into there. 
There we go. Okay, now that's running well. Uh, that's running into those two, and then we have to have it running out. So it's sweeping by all the stuff that we're using it for. Uh, over here we're using it for a splitter here. We're using some of it for our uh, circuit boards. It's probably a good idea to snag up a few of those if we've got some extras uh, on us. There we go. Uh, those are being used for our circuit boards. We have these being pushed across to this line. This line is running down and is making uh, our uh, first level of stuff there. There's a, there's a lot of fun uh, logistics that you can do. All right, what do you get out of the air, bro? There we go. Uh, all right, what's this line doing over here? Oh, I see. I was running. I was running that that way at some point. All right, we don't need to do that. Let's take all this out. Take all that back out. Uh, now we'll go ahead and run it this way. That looks perfect. Uh, and then this is uh, a bit excess, uh, excessive here, so we'll cut that straight across. Oops. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. That into there. Take all this out now. Uh, and then we can go ahead. Create a nice backlog of resources here. Three high. We'll use the bottom one temporarily to put all that in. Take all that out. Put it into our inventory. Uh, and then put that in there. Take these out. And then do the same thing we were doing here. Take all that back out again. I just have, uh, I always like to have a nice little backlog uh, along the process, uh, just in case uh, it starts to backlog along there. Now, if you have your numbers set up perfectly, uh, you shouldn't have an issue with that. Uh, this one will push just a little too far. A little too far on that one. Just, oops, there I go again. Thinking I'm in Satisfactory. Uh, see, in Satisfactory, it automatically reorient your belts uh, based on uh, the original direction. Uh, in this game, it does not. It's very sensitive in which direction that you do uh, run that stuff. Uh, and I usually like this to come out faster than it's going in, so we'll double that up. Uh, and then also, we'll go ahead and push this uh, out onto this line which is making all that other stuff over there too. Okay, there we go. So we fixed that up pretty nice. Seems much more efficient with less machines and uh, uh, more dealio over here. And we certainly are in no shortage of uh, conveyor belts, which is what we're making on that side. Uh, and we're making tons of glowy cubes over here. So we got plenty of those flowing down the line and backlogging down there for when we need them. Uh, looks like we got a Pretty good box of them here. Uh, oh boy, okay, yeah, we got a lot of those. Uh, how are we doing on our reds over here? Oh yeah, reds backlogging too. Okay, nice. Okay, now the whole point of what we went to that planet for in the first place uh, was to figure out, hey, we need to go in uh, and we need to get our, uh, we need to get our uh, yellow cubes going. Uh, and to do our yellow cubes, uh, over here, uh, we need to have our titanium crystal and our diamonds going. And so to create these, we need graphite to make our diamonds. Okay. And then over here to make our titanium crystal, we need titanium ignits and we need organic crystals. Now, I haven't seen any titanium yet. Uh, so we might have to go exploring some more planets on top of the planet we already explored. Um, but we were working on our solar cells, so let's get back to that and try to finish that production up. We're just going to boost our way across the sky here, get ourselves going at maximum speed. And there we go. 
Now notice that uh, it's now going faster uh, than, uh, it's actually charging faster than uh, originally, and that's why uh, you want to use different types of food, uh, different types of food sources, uh, power sources. And so we're here and we're trying to go, I think we're going to one. That was one where we went before. Heck, if I remember, let's boost out there and find out. Over my sound. My sound suddenly went off. I don't know what I did. I think it was one that we were working on. We'll find out in a second. Bam! Oh, yeah. That's where we were working. Okay. So we went and got a bunch of conveyor belts so we don't have to keep making conveyor belts over and over again. Uh, because that'll get old real quick. Okay, and here we go. So now we're over here, and we're trying to make uh, some solar stuff. All right, there we go. Uh, and we need to get our silica, which is coming down this line. And we're going to need some power. Do that. And then push those into there. One of these pushing out. Actually, we'll have one in and two pushing out. And that'll keep, that'll allow it to backlog uh, down the road. Okay, so that's now pushing in there. We need some circuit boards and we need some copper ignits. Now, copper ignits is not going to be an issue because I got copper ignits right there. And what I needed was a nice long amount of uh, conveyor lines. So I can literally just take it and run it. All right, over here. Bada bing, bada boom. And then run that right to there. That's going to be convenient. Now, my little robot guys, as you can see, will go along and build it out once I kind of spec it out. I'll come grab it out of my inventory and then put it down. And there we go. Now we got our copper going. All right, and then we're going to do our little trick here. One in. And two out. There we go. Okay. I'll create just a bit of a buffer so it'll keep going on those if it stops over here. And backlogs a bunch of that. Okay, so that's, we got our second element in there. Now we need uh, some circuit boards. And circuit boards aren't too hard to do. Uh, we can go ahead and combine uh, a bit of what we're doing here and what we're doing over on this side. And we'll do the same thing here. Now we've backlogged a bunch of this. We'll go ahead and tell that. Be one in and two out. And now we've got more of these. We can go ahead and run this across. Yeah. And good, a good idea to finish one thing before you get too much into another thing. Uh, it does get confusing if you get too much into one other thing. Uh, and let's say like this. Okay. I'm going to run that over there. And then I'm going to go ahead and make another one of these. Like so. Oh, I should have got some. I should have got some of those while I was at it. You're always out of something. You're always making something. Uh, no matter how much you... Because I have a you know, gigantic box full of that back in my primary base. And I feel like I want to go back there and fix it up and remake it uh with the larger faster everything uh but we'll get into that and we'll get into the deep numbers uh eventually too but right now we're just kind of tinkering with mechanics and what we need to make and what we need to do and where we need to go and what's our research and all that stuff and i do it based on research uh based on getting the next level cube uh and so that's kind of what we're doing right now all right so we got that done and uh we're gonna go Put this down. There we go. And this is going to go ahead and feed some of this into there and some of this into there. And we're going to tell this not to be this. We're going to tell this to be uh, our uh, item there. Okay, so that's our third item that we need. And then we can try to run it over there, but I seriously doubt it's going to run that far. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and run a little extra line. 
like this, and we're gonna have it run out onto that line and then run in to there, and in theory, that should start cranking out a whole bunch of solar cells. So awesome, awesome. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and just build some more storage right here. And then we don't even need a conveyor belt, by the way. If you're gonna use the, the uh, sorters, you can just go ahead and push that directly across into there. And there we go, we got it done, everybody. We got it done, all right. And we also discovered silica over here. Uh, and thus we have a lot of extra silica as well. Uh, we made a bunch extra while we were waiting. Uh, you can see we got a whole box full of it. Uh, and I'm not in any gigantic hurry for these solar cells, so it's not like I need to make 10 of those things to make it go really, really fast. Uh, I'm just going to let that run and run and run, and now I come back here, and I'll have boxes and boxes full of that. Uh, I feel I'll have more than enough. Uh, speaking of making boxes and boxes of stuff, let's go ahead and make some more of those storage boxes. And let's go ahead and go a little uh, tour of this planet. Let's get up here. We have more stone, so we could tap that stone. Stone. Silica. Let's get way up here in the upper orbit. There we go. I didn't see any titanium here, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And so we're orbiting the planet with our uh, little robot here, uh, looking for stuff that we might need. Let's go ahead and rotate this way. Yeah, this whole backside of the planet doesn't have anything on it. Okay. Not seeing it, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Uh, we'll do that battle here in just a second. Uh, let's go look at our universe map. We'll scroll out. And let's see. We've been here. We've been to uh, Theta 3 and 1. But there's another one out here, 4, that I don't think we've been to yet. Uh, it's an ice field uh, out there, which I think we need ice or something. I remember seeing that somewhere. Uh, so let's go ahead and just go for it. Let's go fly toward it and see what it is. See what it's all about. I guess it just gets real quiet in space. I guess there's no sound in space. Uh, all right. While we're uh, flying from one planet to another, let's go ahead and do another battle. Uh, up in here, one of these days I'll actually remember to uh, put that spell down before I click that button. Uh, probably not anytime soon, though. Oh, it's like we're converting those over to our side. I just realized that. Wow, we just got a whole bunch of uh, quests done there. Uh, let's see. Fox Tegan. Uh, we've got uh, Mini Murph, the, la uh, the Last Splash, and Nitox all getting some love there. Uh, Lawn Man MVP. Uh, let's collect some loot. Oops, some Paladin Scrolls there and Musketeer Scrolls. Those are going to be handy. Uh, let's get our next quest started. Or our next uh, battle started. And then we're going to check our quests because we got those done. Let's make sure to collect those so those can go on cooldown. Uh, I think we got another one. Yeah, more uh, incantations, spell tombs. There we go. Get that going on. Uh, and then anything else up here? All this is just the long-term stuff. What are we doing? Three-star. All right, let's go ahead and just get an archer out. feel like about mid right there. Ought to do it. Uh, let's keep firing it up. And again, thank you very much, uh, Dark uh, River, for coming in uh, with the follow as well when you come in on that res uh, raid. I don't know what's up my sneezing. Always, always. Okay. Uh, so we're getting there ever so slowly. Uh, we're going to get a little uh, boost to our sail speed there. Uh, we're getting a little closer. Little close. Uh, now, the thing about space is, is you can go ahead and boost your speed, and it's not going to uh, slow you down because there's nothing slowing you down because you're in space. 
Uh, so uh, you want to, of course, maximize your sales speed as, as much as you can. And then you really don't even need uh, to uh, boost it anymore. But I do anyway. I just try to get every little ounce of uh, speed out. And we're going to see what this planet's all about. Boom. All right, I see coal, I see iron. Cop. Ta-da! All right, titanium. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, that's what we need. All right, well, let's not, uh, you know, count the chickens for their hatched or whatever they say. Uh, let's go ahead and let our power build up here for a moment. And see, we can go get that solar and bring that solar over here. Now, I wonder if this stays. It doesn't. How do I know? I'm not touching anything. And you can see that the planet is rotating uh, while I'm looking at the well, looking at the sun. And that tells you that eventually uh, this part of the planet is going to be uh, going to be in darkness. Let's just wait for it. Yeah, that's cool, man. I dig that kind of stuff. I dig that kind of stuff. All right. Uh, and so the sun's still going down. I just was looking at an angle, but it'll eventually go down where the whole thing is uh, down. Uh, all right. Let's go up here. Let's go and look for what else we got. We got copper. We got coal. Crazy tons of titanium. Not a lot of copper and coal there, though. Just a very little bit. We got iron. Because I feel eventually you're probably going to tap the whole entire planet uh, with stuff. Let me zoom way out here. So there's 23 veins there, 20. Oh, we got some silica there, 21. So I'm trying to find uh, what I call the center, right? Uh, and every build that you do, uh, there's typically like a center of all the, the, the nodes that you need. Uh, and in case of this, we're going to need uh, some, uh, some probably power to get it started. Uh, so we're probably going to need that coal power. Uh, for sure. How are we looking on our power? Oh, we're doing our... That's why that's taking a while. Uh, I wonder if we could put plasma exciters in there. I don't think I've ever tried. Nope. Well, worth a shot. Um, so, we need to find that coal again. There's a good spot right there because we got iron, titanium, two titaniums, and a thing, but there's no power there. Titanium. Uh, let's just go to the map and just look. All right. I remember this last time we just kept wandering around and, and then eventually I realized you can just zoom out. <laughs> you can just zoom out and look at the whole planet. I should have done that on the other planet too. Uh, lots of good nodes, but I see the coal node is right here. And that's going to give me a little bit of power. It's also by the copper and the iron. Yeah, see, this is what I would call a center right here. See, it's in the center of all the nodes. Uh, and then you can go ahead and run those nodes if you need that particular resource. Uh, silicon. I don't see any other coal. There's some stone there. We need that. But a little bit of coal at least will get us our titanium, and that's really what we want right now uh, is a bunch of titanium. So let's see, where are we at? Where We're over here. I can see my little light. Am I aiming in the right direction? I'm kind of aiming in the right direction. A little bit to the right there. Okay, mission number one, establish power. Uh, now, the funny thing is we had a bunch of solar over there, too, that we uh, are making right now that I could have brought that 16 solar that I made <laughs> that I put down on that other planet uh, and got this started up. But that's okay. We have uh, some extractors, uh, so we can start with our extractors here. Uh, let that get all of that. And then we're just going to go ahead and produce some power. Uh, I believe we have some extra power. We do. Uh, let's start with this. We have plenty of uh, conveyors. So we'll go ahead and just start with our conveyors. Like that. 
Um, let's see. I don't think we brought any solars with us. That would have been super useful. And the reason why I wanted to bring the solar was to put the solar down. And then the solar will start that, which will then, of course, start the power. That's why I wanted to make solars in the first place, to just kind of jumpstart my other planets. Uh, let's see if we have enough to just make one. All right, we'll just make a couple uh, on us. But when we go back, we'll have boxes and boxes full of them. Uh, eventually, and that's kind of the goal, is that you go to a new planet, you put a solar down, the solar then starts up the coal, the oil, or whatever, uh, and then you uh, uh, can start up your rest of your power. Uh, so in theory, if I just throw this down right there, it's going to grab some. Oh, it's still not, not close it up. All right, fine, we'll put it over here. Oh, it's not big enough. It doesn't, doesn't create a uh, circle of power. There we go. Okay, now it's going. Okay, that's coming out real slow. Real slow, but we'll say we'll try two of these. Let's go ahead and put one there, and then one there. And feed these in. Like so. We probably should be making more of these because we're about to run out of them. There we go. Uh, so that looks pretty good. How are we doing on our power grid? We're now at 4.52. Okay. Uh, I feel like maybe we can get another one in. So let's make a, a bit longer here. Now the cool thing is eventually we're working our way toward our titanium veins. Uh, we'll get that going here in a second. Let's go ahead and uh, optimize this by uh, putting them on each side. And we'll try to put them in the same direction on both sides just to make it fancy. And let's go with a total of six. Since we have a bunch of those. And let's start to feed these in. To each of these. And that should be those. And then this one up here at the front. Be that. See, now it produces electricity. So uh, that's all I really need to do uh, is get it going there. That seems like enough. We can always uh, dog leg that back and do another round. But we want to go ahead and not get too close to our, um, our extraction here because we want to do a whole bunch of extraction. Uh, of this, whoa, look at that. That's gonna be five there. Oh, wow, look at that one, boom. All right, that's a real good extraction there. Uh, how many of these can we get? Bunch of those, wow, okay, that's a real good, just only two of those instead of three. Uh, that's a pretty good extraction uh, of that. And we're gonna go ahead and just tell it to start up because we're gonna run our power Somewhere where we can get both of those going. There we go. All right, looking good. Now we're going to have lots and lots of titanium. That's our goal now. Uh, and then uh, try to use that titanium uh, to make those yellow cubes. And so we'll run that up to there. This probably is not going to go. Oh, it did. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be in the way. Going to be in the way. Hmm. Okay, awkward. All right, we'll just we'll just run it to there. We'll take this out, and here's what we'll do. We'll actually run this out like this, run this up, and then we'll run that down like that, and that merging into there. A big fat stack of uh, titanium there. All right, nice. Feed that in as fast as we can. There we go. And then more power. Right there. Okay. That's it. That's all I needed to do. I just wanted a bunch of titanium. Uh, and it's going to be no shortage of it in there for sure. <laughs> We're going to have a whole lot of it. Now, there is a way of taking your stuff and, and going from one planet to another planet. 
And that's really what I want to do. I want to extract all the titanium from this planet uh, and then run it to my other planet to do it there. Or I could run the stuff from my other planet over here, either way. Uh, what we want to do is we want to make ourselves some yellow cubes. And those yellow cubes uh, require uh, titanium crystals. Uh, and that titanium crystal needs to come from uh, organic crystals here, which is also what we're making. Uh, so we're making titanium ignits. We're going to need to make a bunch of those. And then uh, we're going to make a bunch of organic crystals, which we already have a lot of that production already up on our other planet. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, hmm. I think we should just go ahead and smelt this stuff here. I think we have plenty of power. How are we looking? We're using one megawatt out of 12. So yeah, that's uh, plenty of power. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and do this. Like that. And we'll put in some smelters over here. Like this. And we'll tell this to smelt some titanium ignits. Like this. I'll say one, one in. And I'm testing this one in and, and two out thing, but again, just in case it backlogs for whatever reason. It'll have the ability to run those. All right, nice. And then another one. And another one with some power. And I want to push these into there. Like that. Let's see how much this is going. And then this needs to come back out again. It needs to be stored down here. Ah, some iron plates. Uh, conveniently, there was some iron around here. Where's that iron go? Where did that iron go? Right over here. Now, I could create a whole production for iron, but I can also just have my dude Extracted himself. All right, that's probably good enough. Uh, and let's go back. Over here. And we need uh, how much iron? Should have looked and see how much I needed. Uh, to make this, we need three plates. To make plates, we need the raw ore. Let's just go ahead and convert all of that. No matter how much uh, how much uh, iron ignits I bring, uh, it's never enough. Uh, never enough. Okay. And we're trying to make storage units. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, why can we not make the steel? Hmm. Oh, it can only be produced in a smelting facility. That's why. That's why. Okay, no worries. No worries. We got this. Um, we're going to push all this out first. Let's push all these out into here. Before I forget. Like that. Uh, and that's making titanium. And to smelt that, we're going to need a smelter. I'm going to make another smelter here. And that requires... See, you're always out of something with something to something. See, on your home planet, you got all the things typically that you need. Uh, but you're always out of something uh, over here. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Here's what we'll do. We'll take two of these off. And we'll put these over here. That will do. Instead of running all the way back and then all the way back again. Okay, so there we go. Now we want to backlog a lot of these titanium uh, ingots here. I feel like we definitely want to get that going too. Uh, where'd that copper go? 
I saw some copper nearby too, right here. Okay, I kind of feel like maybe we should be extracting some of this anyway. Um, I think we have some extractors. Yeah, let's just extract all this in case we need it. Put those extractors up. We have enough power to make it happen. So let's get those extractors going there. Find out where the heck that iron went. Where'd you go, a little iron? There you are. Oh, that's a lot of iron. That's a lot of iron there. Dang. Dang, that's a pretty good node right there. That's six, that's five. So this is actually better there. Uh, all right, and then we gotta run some power. I don't really care that much for how perfect this power grid is because I'm just running it from one to the other. Instead of me running over here all the time, I'm just going to grab this and run it this way. Apex both of those together. I get my little robots over here fixing it. Uh oh. We're going to need some more energy. Go back and build out the rest of this. Uh, do we have anything we can put in there? I think we do. We have a little bit of graphite. Uh, we'll grab some of this coal here in a minute. Grab all that out of there. Uh, again, coal's not the most efficient, but it's better than running out of power. Uh, so we can go ahead and put that in there. And then over here. I love all this part, the logistics part. Uh, there we go. And thanks for hanging out. Uh, what was he playing? Oh, he played some Dyson as well. Awesome. All right, so there we go. Now we're just doing the basics here, everybody. All right now, I just care about the uh, titanium. Uh, we're just trying to get all of our resources kind of consolidated into one spot. Uh, and I want to make some more storages. Uh, and to make more storages, I gotta have uh, that smelting down in a smelter. And to make a smelter, uh, I need some more uh, copper here uh, for sure. And I've got a bunch of copper here, which is funny. Uh, but we'll take one of these off the top just to make this easier of us. And we'll go ahead and put that right there. Oh, you know, in theory, I could use this for both. I could just put the copper in there and the iron in there. I don't care. I don't care if it mixes on this one. I'm just, this is just for me. Normally, I don't like my uh, stuff to mix. 
Though you can tell it to sort. Uh, and that's just going to make it easier for me to grab it out of there. Like that. Uh, and then try to utilize it for uh, making a smelter in here. There we go. That'll make a bunch of those. Take this out. Probably actually even make that go faster. Feed it in there faster. Yeah, see that copper is not, is not necessary to have the second one. Only needs the first one. But this one's cranking over here. Definitely more iron than copper going. A uh, half fan coming in with the 13 months of sub love. Show him lots of love in the chat and on in the chat as well. Hello, Anon. What's up? Uh, having some fun here. Uh, producing some stuff. Uh, we've got ourselves a smelter now. Uh, we're going to fire that up. Uh, we did our steel bricks, huh? Okay, uh, and smelter it is. Let's go in and put our smelters in now. And so we'll get that going. Smelting that down. Put a smelter over here. Because it's good to have all these basics going on planets. You don't have to run back and forth all the time because that sucks. Um, but we'll go ahead and smelt down some extra stuff here. And we'll feed that into there. And we'll smelt down some iron plates. Uh, over here we'll add more power. Cover all of that. Then we'll go ahead and feed some of this in here. Actually, here's a better idea. We can just do this. And put these smelters way closer. Better idea. All right, let's put these smelters closer. Literally right there. And this smelter there. No, I don't think that's going to work. That's not going to work. That's too close. Okay. So, smelter there. Let's tell this one to be this. And we'll put some of this into here. And then that will make uh, some plates. I'm too close. Uh, that'll make some plates and then run it into there. So, let's back it up just a little bit. Run that into there. Stop it. Get out of there. There we go. Uh, all right. That into there. That into there. All right. We're just going to mix all this stuff together because this is just excess resources that I may need uh, later on. So we'll mix it all in the same box for now. Uh, and that'll make iron plates. All right. So there we go. So now it's making... Uh, taking raw resources and making plates and rods and all of those fun little things so that we can then make uh, other stuff uh, like our uh, storages. But we also need uh, stone and we need to smelt down uh, some steel uh, as well. So we'll go ahead and take some of this steel and we'll smelt that down over here by pushing some of this out. Oh, that's too close. Uh, taking some of this. Pushing that into there. And beams. Like that. Actually, we'll go take that out and just go that way. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's making some steel beams. Let's go ahead and run those steel beams back this way. Actually, out of this one into there. Okay, now we're making some steel beams, which is what we need uh, for the larger storages. And then also, we're going to need some stone. Some stone? All right, stone, where are you hiding at? I saw you somewhere. Again, why am I flying around? Why am I flying around? No flying around, Kismet. Just go map. There we go. 
Uh, where are you at? It's going to be on the other side of the planet. I can just tell. Yep. Other side of the planet. Right there. Uh huh. We could use some solar right now. We could use some solar. That's okay. Do what we gotta do. Oh, no, hold on. Speaking of doing what we gotta do, get in here and uh, snag up some more of this coal. Uh, we need a storage box for that, too. Put that in there for now. Uh, we need a storage box for the extra coal. To do that, we need that. But we can use the smaller ones. I've got some smaller ones we can use. Pump that extra coal in there. Okay. Any excess coal that makes it to the end here will go into the box. All right. I'll get that out of there. Oh, I hate it when it does that. It's just doing one at a time. Oh, oh, look at that. We are not smelting fast enough. Uh, I can tell you that. We are definitely not smelting fast enough. All right. Let's go ahead and bring this out. Like that. Oh, actually. Better idea. Something more like this. Into there. that into there. Uh, Kidoki. And then back out. What are we running the finish things to right here? Take that out. And push these back out again when they're done. And then push them into the box. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's producing a crazy ton of that. Way more than we're uh, smelting down. That's a lot of titanium. All right. That's good, though. That's good. We want to we wanna stack that up as much as we can. Uh, I kind of feel like here's what we'll do. We'll back this up. We'll decide we don't want to do that. Let's do something more like this. Oh, time for a battle. Uh, run that over there. And really pump that in there. There we go. That'll catch up a little bit. And once that catches up, then we can go ahead and just take out the excess one, which will be that one. All right. Now we're doing it. Uh, now we're getting it going. Now this should start. Let's see if this is diminishing. Nope. That is certainly not diminishing. Okay. Holy moly, are we extracting at an insane rate over here? Uh, 491k left. 231. 260 approximately. Okay. I feel like we could tap some more back here. 
Let's try three more. Oh, I need to make that item. Uh, stone. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We gotta do some stone. A D D D D D. Stone right there. Now I could have sworn I marked this at some point. I can't remember how I marked it now. I can't remember how I marked it, or it might have been in another game. Is it E R Q T? I can't remember. I think it told me in the tutorial uh, how to mark that. Uh, where's my my details display on? Uh, mecha panel, statistics panel. Uh, huh, good question. Good question. Okay, it's aiming off the conveyor belt of our thing right here. So we aim off this, go up in the atmosphere. Boink. All right. So, oh, okay. That's a lot of stone. I thought that was a little bit, but that's a lot. That's a good amount. Okay. So again, we'll go ahead and uh, utilize our solar power here. And it's not that good of an extraction. That's six. Six there. I feel like we could do better. Holy moly, yeah, look at that. Look at those. All right, that's really good. One, two, three, that's seven. All right, that's what we're looking for. Uh, then we're going to use our solar power. So this isn't going to run all the time, but it's going to run sometimes. 60% of the time, it works 100% of the time. <laughs> or 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> A little uh, Ron Burgundy there for you. Uh, all right, there we go. All right, now we just got to wait for the sun to come up. Uh, while we're waiting for that, again, thank you, Half Fan, for the love. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Now, if you have a comment or question for me, my name is Kismet. You can put Kismet in the chat. I'll highlight red. Uh, I know you're talking directly to me. Uh, whoop. And again, there I go, forgetting my, forgetting my spell. I think I'm in the center here somewhere. I don't see my name. Yeah, there it is. Go. Battle it out. Let's do it. Gonna blow it up. Man, can you believe two hours went by already? <laughs> ah, that's when you know you're having fun, everybody. Two hours going by like crazy. Turn that down just a little bit. Uh, let's do it. Whoa, coming in, look out. All our melees over here, these are all ranged. Range is taking a hit. Sometimes that happens. Your your the front of the front of your line switches one way and then the, the support goes the other way. Uh, that's not good. You don't want that. Uh many Murph, because those uh, those tanks are there for a reason. Fox Tegan, uh, Taco getting some love, and Falcon coming in overall MVP. Remember, we're going to be doing battles all day long. The more uh, units you put down, the more rewards you're going to get. Uh, put down as many as you possibly can. Uh, you can put down one every five minutes, which means you can put up to six of them down. Uh, let's do Flying Rogue right over there. Uh, so you, the more, again, remember that you get the more rewards that uh, randomly are given out based on how, much, uh, how many peeps are in there uh, doing their thing. Doing their thing up in there. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Come on, son. Oh, it's getting close. It's coming up. Uh, we're going to fire this up. Oh, there it goes. I hear it cranking. Let's use some of our stuff here. And start to stack that stone. All right. Oh, it's hurting for power. Hurting for power. Insufficient power supply. Right there. Let's see. This is producing. 
uh, 200 and it needs 400. Uh, so we need another solar cell there. Uh, let's make a couple more. Or in this case, eight more. So it's going to make a bunch of all that stuff first. We'll get this thing cranking. We'll have a bunch of extra stone over here. My goal right now is just to put a whole bunch of backlog of resources and different things and then figure out how to get it from planet to planet, uh, which we are going to do. I kind of feel also that I want to just bring it all from these planets and just extract all the resources and then send it to my primary planet, uh, which is be a lot easier than have to go back and forth between all the planets to have it bring it to me as opposed to me going to it, right? Uh, in the long run, that seems like a smarter move to me. Uh, but that's just me and my crazy ideas. All right, another solar in there. Put all those in. That should be more than enough now. There we go. All right, 420 running. Uh, is this used eight? No, it's using 420. I do like to have extra. Okay. And that's going in there. Perfect. It's not backlogging or anything like that. Uh, so we're getting lots of stone in there. Look at that. Nice. Uh, lots of stone going on. Now, I'm not obviously going to run that to the other side of the planet right now. Uh, all right, let's actually go to our map. Figure out our actual direction of our base. Okay, can I rotate it? There we go. Uh, our base is up here. Maybe it's smarter if I go this way. Uh, seems longer that way. So, what I'm going to do uh, to orient myself is uh, I'm going to make an extra an extra line here. Uh, and that extra line is going to basically just point me in the direction of my other base. So, I'm just going to... Actually, I can just do this. I can just say that. All right, And that's going to point me that direction just so I can remember uh, how to get around the planet. Whoa. Boink. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. We need some. We need some fuel. Oh my gosh. We are depleted. We are depleted. All right. Uh, there's nothing in there generating fuel. What do we got? Can we put copper in there? Nope. Oh god. I don't think we have anything. We don't have anything. That'll teach me not to watch my uh, power. I guess we can walk. Uh, that's a long way to walk, bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. Lack of fuel. I wonder if there's anything we can make. Can we make a fuel thing? I don't think I... Oh, see, I put that hydrogen back. That'll teach me. Uh, can't make that because I don't have that. Uh, no trees. No foliage for me to use. Uh, yeah. Nothing I can do about it. What if there's an auto run? Is there an auto run in this game? Let's go find out. Uh, take off flying. Sail. Sail mode. Activate warp. the thing over here auto run don't think there is I think I gotta hold it down well looks like we're going for a long slow walk everybody <laughs> it does sometimes happen uh, what about using that task queue uh, yeah I looked and uh, I went to see if there's anything I could make uh, that would be fuel um, again I don't have any of it right now. That'll teach me. Well, that'll teach me uh, to uh, be not be watching my fuel level. But the cool thing is you'll eventually make it there. Uh, hydrogen is from crude oil. We don't have any crude oil on it, so I also put that back away. I don't think I can use stone. Now, again, I'm not asking the chat, so don't tell me. Uh, if you're like, hey, kid me, you can just do this or do that. Uh, don't do that. 
Don't do that. We'll get there. I never give up. I never surrender. I just keep going. Uh, though an auto run key would be nice right now. I could just like hit caps lock and then it would just auto run. Uh oh, we're out of power over here too. That's not good. We'll get there. Yeah, our extractor stopped. Oh, you know what I've got? I also got one of these. I think I still have another one of these. Yeah, another one of these wireless power uh, transmitters. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I've already got it down. We're going to first take one of these wireless power transmitters, and we're going to stick it right here. Like that. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and throw some solar in here. To hopefully get our power back on again. Uh, and see if we can get that going. And slowly, after these get kicked in, because these guys, this guy's going to go real slow because I don't have any fuel. Uh, and see if we have any excess in any of these. No. See, that'll kick in. And then that gets the extractor going. And then the extractor gets the power going. And this thing's powering up my guy right now. Uh, and that's called 200 IQ uh, 4D chest thinking right there. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so this is not producing enough uh, power right now uh, to keep the actual extractor going. The, pow the power for the extractor is too low. Uh, yeah. So we have too much stuff on the power grid right now. Too much stuff going. We need a battery, too, to back up all this power uh, eventually. This is not extracting at its full rate. Hmm. Let's go to the end here. Hope we got some extra. We do. Uh, a little bit extra there. At least get our core going in there. All right, now we're looking good. And this is uh, charging us up as well. Uh, a bit. We need to get our extractor here going faster. How can we do that? Let's go ahead and see if we can make more of these. What do we need? We need, uh, oh, more high poly silica. Okay. Now here's what we should probably do. We should probably cut the power to this over here. And the copper. And all of that. So we're going to cut the power over there. We're going to cut all this power. And the reason why we're going to cut that power is to focus the power on our extractor. So our extractor is now going at a higher rate. Okay. So that's going at a higher rate. And eventually these two should overfill. And then that overfill should then come down the line and start to fill these ones up. Right? And so that power should then start going. And then eventually those are overfill down the line. And then the other power starts going. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, but we, I can tell we already don't have enough power. Uh, that's going to not be enough to power all of this. That is for sure. So uh, let's go ahead and balance that power a little bit better. First, let's get our extractors back online. Then we'll get all of this going again. And then our converters going. Over there. I really want to get these storage boxes going again. Uh, and we were making some of these so that we could make more storage boxes. 
Uh, where's that running? Oh, that's running into the main box here. And, oh, look at that. Nice little mixture of stuff in there. Uh, we wanted those beams, and then we could go ahead work a bit more making those suckers. Yeah, make as many of those as you can. There we go. Make a bunch of those. Uh, and all I want to do is just get it so it's just running without me having to deal with it. Uh, let's look at our power consumption over here. Uh, let's see. Gener it's compa it's uh, generating 12.9, uh, consuming uh, 8.9. Now, I kind of feel like what we want to do is have a surplus in case it does stop again. Uh, that we'll have a surplus in solar energy so the solar energy can start it back up again uh, and have that during the day. Because uh, look at that, our uh, generation capacity went down to 6.48. Uh, and our consumption demand is at 9. So we're going to start to have trouble. All right, so I say we just go ahead and downscale this. And see how our power is doing now. It's still demanding 8. But producing 4. Well, that's because this is at a lower speed now. We only have one iron going over here. Yeah, one iron going there. Not enough power. It's going at 132. And this is coming in each one. There it goes. Now it's going to start to overflow again. Yeah, it takes time for it to catch back up again. And then that should bring our power back up to 8. Yeah, okay. Now we're back to 8. And then we have our supplemental power here. And we reduce some of our power over there. Okay, it's okay. We want to just make a bunch of this and let this rock on a bunch of these. We want to take those all with us. Okay, so we got that figured out. Okay. Uh, what I really need now is I need a bunch of, a bunch of power for my guy. So I'm going to go ahead uh, and siphon off a bunch of this uh, coal here. See, there's some at the end. There's a little bit at the end. Because uh, my guy's going to need lots of power to go from where I'm at to my other uh, thing here. But while it's cool to run all of this, it's also even more cool to uh, backlog a bunch of this. For my use. Let's just turn it this way. Over there. And so we're going to overpower this for a minute and just run it straight to us. Um, let's take this back out. Let's disconnect the rest of that line. Let's uh, just run the coal for right now. Take that off. Inventory full. Story of my life, brah. Um, and I feel like we only need about uh, about four of those anyway. So let's take that out. Backlog a bunch of this. So I can go ahead. Let's just make some graphite out of this. Right there. Make a bunch of graphite so that we can make it back to our other base. And then we got to figure out the logistics of how to uh, do our yellow cubes. Same problem for me. Always out of power or mats. Oh, yeah. That's that's a building game for you. If you're not running out of mats or power, you're not pushing yourself enough <laughs> in uh, in building games. Because uh, I, I did the same thing in Satisfactory in every other game I play. Uh, is that you're always out of something. Uh, that's just the law of, uh, of variables in this type of game. Uh, let's go ahead and take some of this stuff off of me. 
We're kind of random feeding over here. Let's just fill that up as well. Uh, look at that. That's a lot of that. Really would like to have enough power to get that going. What am I doing? I'm not doing that. I'm putting this in. Uh, into one of these. Put all this random loot into there so I'm not lugging that around. Uh, let's keep making this graphite over here. And so what I need to, is enough fuel to get me back off of this planet, uh, back to my other planet. Uh, we're going to take a bunch of that titanium with us, and then we'll come back and we'll do some uh, interplanetary stuff if we can. But we need a lot of that, and then we're just going to straight up uh, feed that into there so it can fill that fuel chamber up. Keep our guy going. Right there. So while it's doing that, we can automatically have it do this as well. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember whether it was smelter or just converter, but we'll go ahead and do converter. See what it does there. No. Nope. I think it is smelter. Uh, smelter. Uh, into there. Instead of my guy having to do it every time, we'll just put this... What the heck? Come on. There we go. Uh, just straight up feed that into there. That'll automatically make the uh, graphite for us. And we can just feed that right back into the same box. Good enough for me. Uh, it's going to co-mix those, but oh well. Uh, and get that going. Oh, and there goes our power. Okay, power out again. Still got enough to run this. power off over there turn that power off it's gonna take out the whole power grid and redo the power grid later okay should be nothing other than this extractor running there we go uh, and that extractor is using the solar cells right now but they're going down and in a minute it's all going to turn off Yeah, we need to go ahead, run a little bit of that out. Oh, right right when I'm about to run it out, it stopped. Uh, that's okay. Uh, let's go over here and uh, grab that out. And we'll put some of this in there. And that'll get us some more power. All right. Now we could go in and start making graphite for this too uh, and run that graphite into there so that's more efficient as well. But right now I just want it, want it for me. But you can, as you can see, it's running graphite down the road uh, and it will actually run graphite in the uh, station. Uh, let's see. I'm going to tell this to only do uh, only do coal and keep the graphite uh, in here for us. There we go. There we go. All right. That's pretty good. Oh, uh, boy. That should perpetually run itself. Uh, that's what we want. We want it to perpetually run itself so we can, uh, so we can get off this planet uh, uh, even when the sun's down, right? How much power we're we producing now? We're producing 8.6, well, temporarily, while we're running that down there. Uh, and we're only using about one megawatt. That's going to take a bit. That's going to take a bit. What if we just start sailing if we could make it? Kind of feel like we can. Let's just go for it. 
One way to find out. <laughs> Get on your thing and go. Uh, I should probably bring some raw, too. Let's bring some raw with me. All right, everybody, we out. Okay, now we got to try to get back to our uh, first planet. Uh, which is currently right here. Which actually isn't too bad. That's pretty close. Uh, so we're going in that direction straight toward the sun. Straight toward the sun and boost it. Get our sail speed up as far as we can. And then just let it recharge itself okay so what you want to do is just boost it because this way you're going faster uh even if it does deplete your uh fuel over here uh and then i'm just coasting now i'm not even doing anything i'm just coasting toward uh that particular planet uh that i need to go to which i think is draconius 3 uh we better we better double check yeah this one right here yeah theta draconis 3 uh let's go to that planet Right there. We'll aim ourselves right toward it. Oh, or not. And then a little bit more shift action. I guess real quiet in space. It's a little freaky. A little freaky deaky. I'm coming home. Whoa, bam! I'm home. <laughs> That's how we arrive up in here. We arrive like wha-bam. Okay. Uh, where the heck is the rest of my factory? I gotta remember. I gots to remember. Now we got tons of titanium, so we're good. Uh, let's see. We're extracting stone there. We're running that stone all the way. This is where we're trying to go right there. Uh, all right. And I'm here. See if we can get ourselves back up here into some of this production. Now, I have some production for fuel cells right here, and that's the first thing I'm going to do. Uh, oh, wait. Wrong wrong thing. I got to uh, bring it out just as its own right here. There we go. And the first thing I'm going to have to do is make me a ton of fuel cells. Uh, so it's going to use that titanium for fuel cells. So now something else we should probably do. Uh, on the other planet or this planet, um, but we definitely need a lot of a lot more power backed up. Uh, so let's get that going. And while we're doing that, uh, we also need uh, to get our water going. That was the other thing we were going to work on. Our extractor for our water. Uh, we need some stone bricks and we need some circuit boards. Don't think that's going to be an issue. Let's get over here and snatch them up. How's our circuit boards doing? Our circuit boards look like they're being used all up. Uh, let's go ahead. Too bad there isn't an on and off of those sorters. That would be nice. Uh, we can go ahead and tell it to stop. Stop putting those away for now. Take that out. And then we'll backlog. Backlog some of those into here, hopefully. Oh, no, it's still, it's still going out. All right, right there. Let's just stop that from running out. There we go. Uh, and then we'll backlog some of those. Man, it just makes me want to go in and redo all this. Really does. Uh, hmm. I got an idea. Let's go in and revamp uh, our copper storage here. Since we do have some more storage... Let's go ahead and just really go to town on that. Let's uh, divert this out a little further into there. What's going on with this line here? What's going on with that? Let's merge that back into that line. Have it go run back in that box. There we go. Run that stuff out. Okay, we'll run that out a little wider. We'll go ahead and run our copper along here, and then we'll do... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, nope, nope. Did not mean to do that. Get that copper out of there. I don't want that to screw me up later. Uh, I meant just to run it to here. 
Uh, just so I can take all this copper and then run it now uh, into this box and these larger boxes. And so that should, in theory, empty every one of these boxes out down here uh, for sure of all of this copper into there. Now, I could manually do it, but why do I need to do it when I can just let it do it? Oops. Uh, just let it do it uh, instead. I would like to make this larger one, but we still need to do these other items here as well. This does get real complex. More and more complexity being added. Okay. Let those keep extracting. And, oh, we we're trying to make our water thing. That's what we're trying to do. A water extractor. And we need our stone bricks. Alrighty, let's go find our stone. Where is my stone? Good question. I think it's along this line right here. Got some stone right there. Huh, look at that. I ran right past the stone. Why did I not use that stone one? So I got a stone one right there I'm where I'm running it, but this one runs way over to here. Ah, uh, good good, good to know. Uh, definitely want to come back and fix that. All right, I was right. Uh, I do fall along this area here. And then this way, and then look out. Wow, God. Over here where my stone production is. Okay. Lots of stone going on. Part of that stone is these stone bricks right here. Nice. Uh, take some of those with me. Uh, keep this production going by stacking these up even higher. And there we go. That's all going to start right back up again. Fill those up too. Uh, all right. Man, I want to just tap every single node in here. I want to extract all the resources. every one of these okay we're gonna bring some of this back oh I see some there's some in here right here I can see there's some right there so BAM I like to have a little bit a little smidge of everything uh, laying around in case I need it uh, as you can see uh, we've also got tons of uh, uh, graphite in here uh, that we can use to temporarily charge up our stuff while we're waiting on those other things uh, put that back. We brought a bunch of this with us. We put that. Or actually, let's put that with our kind of random. Uh, that's wood. That's oil. Plates. Oh, it's going to be this. Okay. Let's put that as number one so that shows up there as an icon. Uh, makes it much easier. It's because you sort it. What it does, it puts whatever the raw thing is there as number one, but if you switch it, it automatically detects whatever the first thing is in the box and then puts that icon on it. Uh, very nice. Awkward. Awkward. All right, we do have some organic crystal here that we can get going. Did we make, uh, we have another chemical plant in there. Let's get all that stuff out of there. Um... And we're looking to do the water plant. Man, we're still going round and round on that water extractor. What are we doing? There we go. Finally, okay. I thought I had a water extractor. Didn't I make a water extractor somewhere? Yeah, right here. Ah, we already got water extractor. Oh, we got two things full of water there, too. Uh, huh. Yeah, right there. Hold on. We don't need to make it. Look at that. I did all that for a water extractor, and I realized I already got one. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and run that straight out. Let's see if we can run this through here. And we'll do that battle here in a second. We're going to run that all the way over the top of all of this. And then back down. Seems good enough to me. Come on, little robots. Get in there and get her going. There we go. Uh, all right. So that should bring the water. There it goes. 
Uh, bring the water to me. Okay, I don't need another water extractor. Uh, what I need is I need a chemical plant. Uh, again, what we're we trying to do, we're trying to make the, let's backtrack again. Uh, we're trying to make the yellow cubes. I feel like that's our big goal today. We can make some yellow cubes today. We're good. <laughs> Even if we make a couple. Uh, we're trying to make our titanium crystal and our diamonds. Now, our diamonds aren't too hard. That's just graphite. That We can make a bunch of that. Um, but uh, our other one here, uh, we need our titanium ignis, which we have. Uh, we're trying to make our organic crystals. And we can make them from organic materials, which would manually have to collect it. And don't really want to do that. And I have a little of these uh, laying around too. But we need water and we need uh, our oil, which we do have a bunch of extra oil over here. We've got our water now and we have our plastic running. We just need to get all that together uh, into one spot to make our organic crystals. Now, uh, I'm not sure we can make organic crystals in this first one, but we can. Okay. Oh, this is the original organic crystal, so I can't really make it. I can't make it in that one. I bet I have to make it in the second one. And again, we need this. Uh, so we need sulfuric acid to do that. And that is why we were making our chemistry station earlier. And so we'll put our chemical plant down and we'll tell that we want to be sulfuric acid. And so we'll need water, stone, and refined oil. So we have water. We have oil going back here. Uh, we're just going to have a problem with that refined stone. Or just natural stone. But we do know what direction it is. We know it's out that way. And we could, in theory, just run it over here. I say we do. Let's go. In fact, well, yeah, yeah, bam. You get a little out of control when you get up there. Okay. Uh, what are we running here? We're running. We're running stuff in there. This is raw right there. Okay, so that's raw stuff there. So let's just take this. Run it across here. Again, we'll do that battle here in a moment. Trying to figure out these logistics real quick. And run that across to the other side. And where are we trying to go to? We are trying to go... Where did I build that? Right here. We're trying to go right to there. Okay. So, we're trying to cut across and go that way. We need a nice, long, straight line here. To about there. And then we're going to cut across to there. And we'll raise this up. Get that across. And then down. Again, this... We ain't doing this uh, perfectly efficiently, but we're just trying to get it where we're trying to get it, if you know what I mean. Okay, this actually is too far over. I could run it just right back here. And that would end up right there. Okay. So let's run this better. Oh, that's because that's turning. All right, we'll just do that. Oh, wait, hold on. We're doing this all backwards. Don't build that. Don't build any of that. And don't build any of this. Let's try that again. Try to build it in the right direction. It's really super helpful. Okay, so that's coming through. That's going to here. And again, to make these things, we got to make sulfuric acid. So let's go ahead and run. Let's run this right here. We're going to have to put a splitter in on this. So, logistics. 
splitter there. Cut this. Take this and run that into there. Yeah. Run that out into there. Like so. This is going to go ahead and split it this way as well. And run that. Along there, and then we'll bring our rock in. And push that into there. Push that into there. And then our water. Man, this is involved, isn't it? <laughs> but fun, man. Very, very fun. All right, we need more of these made. Uh, we need more of our electronic electronic turbines. That's another thing. We need to get all these conveyor belts uh, running, too. It's always something that you want to be making at some point with something. Uh, and so on. Uh, just got a backlog of these? No. really want to make a backlog of them suckers. I do make a lot of those. Again, we'll just cut this off for a minute. Let that backlog some of those. Uh, we need to make more of our... Our these tanks. All right, make some of those while we're doing that. I'll let that backlog a little bit. Got to stay focused. Got to stay focused on what I'm doing. All right, we're feeding the water in. We got the water. We got the thing. Now we just need to get our stone to run. So we need to go and construct the rest of our conveyor here. All right, little guys, get over here and do your thing. Get our first sulfuric acid going. That running over there. How's our uh, how's our fuel cells doing here? Oh, they stopped. Why did our fuel cells stop? Uh oh, we're out of lack of hydrogen. Uh, are we tap into some of our hydrogen here. I feel like we're using a lot of our hydrogen. I feel like we have a lot of extra. Let's go see if we have some extra laying around over here. Some laying right there. Oh, we got some of this too. We'll take that. Uh, and over here, we'll take this and this. I forgot about the hydrogen. My bad. Feed some of that directly in there. Okay. Now, this should be producing. Yeah, okay, it's producing sulfuric acid. Now, it's kind of a bad place. <laughs> kind of a bad place for it. We'll go ahead and run it back. Man, we really need to clean that up. Uh, that's going to drive me crazy. Uh, let's make some of these. Make a bunch of those. Um, storage. I'm going to put our sulfuric acid... Back it up right there. Okie dokie. So we're going to run a line from here to there. Like that. And we're going to eh, give it a little dog leg here. And then. Hmm. That's not going to work. That is not going to work, but we're going to do it anyway because uh, here's what we'll do. We'll take this part out 
and we'll have that run underneath there and then we'll have this part raise up so there and then right down into there all right there we go and now we just need to get this to come out and this to go across and that to go right into there all right all right well that's a lot of logistics but we got her going right <laughs> uh we got her going oh wait no we got the wrong thing wrong my bad i ran the wrong thing that's not what i wanted that's not what i wanted uh yeah, that's the wrong thing. All right, I got to take all this out. Just rerun it again. All right, duh. Wrong thing. I wanted this right here. Uh, I wanted this thing running out. Uh, the sulfuric acid, not the not the titanium. Uh, this thing's right in my way, too. Get that thing out of the way. Move it back just a little bit. Uh, and run this out. Out of there. Across here, and then down here, pushed across, under here, into there. All right, let's try that again with less fail. And then you're coming out of there with sulfuric acid. There we go. All right, I should have noticed it by the color straight away. Uh, and there we go. Okay, so that's going to now do our sulfuric acid. Cool. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Slowly, though. <laughs> very, very slowly. Uh, we got to get these. We got to do these. And to do these, we need uh, sulfuric acid and graphite. And so uh, we need our smaller, and we need to make smaller assemblers, and we need to make processes, which we can do because we've got a bit of these other resources. But this is what we're hurting for right now, graphene uh, and sulfuric acid. So we're going to go ahead and run that into there. I don't know how to take this out of here. I guess I could run it into a machine. What can you use sulfuric acid in here? Uh, nothing. Hmm. I wonder if I could run that also into a container. I don't think I've ever tried. Let's go in and see if I can just run that. Hold on. Run that back out. Answer is yes. Okay, that's how you do that. You have a backlog into the uh, fluid container, but also you can run it into a regular container uh, where you can grab it. Okay, Whew. this is some serious work here. We're putting in the effort. Uh, all right, and then graphene. Okay, graphene is not going to be a problem. We stacked a whole bunch of it over here just for this occasion. Right here. Beep. There we go. All right, let's see if we can finally... After all this time, uh, make some of this stuff. Uh, let's see. So, to make this... Oh, that's the other thing we needed, right? Uh, we have to make it in the thing. I don't think we can make it in our inventory. Uh, see over here? Uh, it says this can only be done in a chemical facility. Okay. So, now we need another chemical plant. And so we're producing the uh, stuff over here. So let's just put it over by this. We got coal going back here. In which we could probably use some of that coal to make that graphene and then pump them both into the same spot. Uh, let's do that. Uh, let's put that there. Um, I forgot what the heck I'm even making. Uh, derpy derp. Trying to make the this. 
And oh, I'm trying to make uh, graphene mesh. Is what that looks like. Uh, so to make graphene mesh, we probably make it in here somewhere. No. Huh. Oh, chem chemistry. Chemistry, not that. Chemistry. Uh, it just said that earlier. Okay, that's out. This. Chemical plant. Oh, was that something? Oh, man, let's go. We'll go get some more over here. Not that I don't have boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff. All right, too much graphene on me now. Let's take the graphene and put it in a box over here. Okay. So, we need to take those two. We need to make a chemistry plant. We'll get this, everybody. We'll get this. Uh, we'll get it going. Oh, man. Okay, chemical plant in. I feel like we're getting real close now. Chemical plant. Uh, let's put it on this side. Okay, chemical plant. Chemical plant is making mesh. There we go. Got this one. Uh, and then that needs these two items. Okay. So we'll just take it straight out of here. Oh, that's not going to do it. Uh, let's take that out then. And you know what? We should take probably both those out. Take that out. And do something like... Uh, like this sideways. Yeah, let's do that sideways. So we'll run this into there sideways. We'll take our chemical plant and we'll put that in between, but we can't because the thing's in the way. Put that over there. Control click that into there. Take that out. Take another one of those. Put that in there. Grab all this back, put that back in there. Then uh, make our chemical plant here. Something like, something like that. Actually, better idea. Let's just do it. Get another one next to that one. Now I've offset it. Okay. Let's do that. And then, because we're going to have an output of the, the chemical plant. So we got to watch out for our output, too. Uh, and then we can put that there. And then this one's going to be just straight across from here into there. This one's going to come out of this box and then go into there. Uh, this is going to be this one. A little inventory management there. That's going to run into there, and that will run out of there into here. This we're going to tell it this, then this we're going to grab, and we're going to put this into there. Okay, and we'll take all these out. Uh, all right, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> that was a lot of, lot of logistics there. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and tell it to stack as many of those as it can into there. A little too far. A little too far. Now, one of the cool things is is that uh, it'll keep stacking it vertically. Uh, I love the vertical stacking. That's pretty awesome. Now, in theory, there's our meshes. Woo, mama! 
Woo! Okay, now we're gonna do a battle. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Woo, that was uh, that took some thinking. I had to use my noggin that one. Ugh, oh, make me want to have to stretch. Ugh, oh, stretch. Make my bones crack. Ugh, oh, whew. <laughs> that was some work there, everybody. Figuring that out. I love that kind of stuff, though. I dig it. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Oh, there we go. We got a chest. Oh, we got a quest done. Let's see. Nightox, Taco. Ooh, got an extra reward there, too, because you guys put down so many units. Awesome. The last splash. Uh, Matt, all getting some love. Old Skew, uh, Englander, I think that is. Uh, oh, sorry for butchering your name, but congrats. your MVP with 11 kills. Nice job. Uh, all right, we've got some Buster Scrolls. We got more Buster Scrolls. Man, we're rolling in the loot today. Rolling in the loots, loots. Let's keep it going. We're gonna loop this whole entire map multiple times. I can tell you that already. Uh, and then bam, we'll put down the archer. Uh, let's go check those quests. Uh, yeah, boom, Musketeer Scrolls. Nice. Uh, some more Buster Scrolls there. Uh, we gotta kill 50 enemies. That's not gonna happen. Uh, cause I, uh, I do a lot of tanks and stuff. I don't kill a lot of mobs. Typically, I just got your guys' back. Uh, alright, so it's cranking away now. I'm making crazy tons of these things that we need for making our next level, uh, uh, manufacturers. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make these yellow cubes. Uh, and to make these yellow cubes, uh, it is very involved. So, uh, we've got to, uh, be able to make our diamonds. And we've got to be able to make our crystals. Now, to make our crystals, uh, we need to get uh, a whole bunch of this stuff going as well. Uh, but to manufacture uh, these uh, higher level items, uh, this one here, uh, we I think we have to do this in a chemical facility. Yes, we do. Okay, so we got to do that in a chemical facility as well. So we've got to take all of those ones too. So now we got our mesh going. We can make those next level items, but we do need some of this oil over here. Well, let's start with our chemical stations. Another one of those. In fact, make about three of those. Uh, all right, it's going to make some of those. And we've already got our thing going here along with this. So in theory, we could just start our, say, chemical station here. Tell it that we want it to be this and then tap into our refined oil and our plastic right here so we could take this oh god we're gonna need more of these okay no problem we got a little smidge of those now i made a bunch of those so i don't have to keep making those all the time and i got them stacked and ready to rock way over here there's another thing i want to do is you know double back all this stuff so i don't have to keep flying all over the place to get to it uh, would really prefer doing that. Okay, got I got a smidge in here, like I said. We got a smidge of those. Uh, let's get these out of here. There we go. And then we'll put our thing back into there. And that can keep running as well. Nice. Why do I have this all the way down here? That's unnecessary. Unnecessary. All right. Take that back with us. Over to here. Getting that sulfuric acid fired up. We're getting close, everybody. We're getting close to these cubes. Uh, luckily, I got this going the other day, too. For no reason. Because I didn't know I was going to need it. I just got it fired up because I could. Need more of these. Make me a bunch of those. Uh, all right, we need to get one of these to go out. That's gonna go out to there. We gotta wait for those to build. Uh, really want to get that conveyor line going too. 
Uh, in theory, we could make one of these now. Uh, let's go grab some of this over here. Oh, man, that's cranking that out. Cranking that out. Okay, and then after we're done uh, doing that, which we did, then we'll make one of these. Okay, lack of material. What do we need here? We need microcrystalline component. Copper. We need copper ignits, everybody. Literally, I am siphoning all my copper ignits into one gigantic stack of them. Look at this. Uh, I mean, just an, an insane amount of copper over here. Uh, I always find that funny when I need more of something I have just a tremendous amount of. Uh, for sure. That looks like something I was experimenting with. Let's get rid of that. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and just put it over here somewhere. And just keep an extra stack of that laying around. And then once again, over here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and do our thingies and push that into there. Okay, and now we need the oil. Oil should be pretty easy since it's literally right here. Uh, we can run that closer, then run it back, and then run it like this. Take this part out. And that'll get us close enough to push that into there as well. And we're going to need power. Something like that. Uh, all right, so that's going to push that in there. Now we just need one more thing, and that's water. Uh, oh, how convenient. Okay. Happen to have water over here, and we made an extra water extractor, which we didn't need earlier, but now it's probably going to work pretty well. Uh, if we get it going the right direction, there we go. Water extractor right there. That's going to start extracting that water. Uh, let's go ahead and build a nice little in-between spot here and use our conveyor line. going straight in there and then run that into there and in theory that should start up let's get our uh, power in though there we go all right <laughs> one step at a time everybody one step at a time now, this is a mess. This drives me crazy, everybody. I know a lot of you are like me, ADHD. You're like, no, nah, kiss it. You got to fix it, bro. You got to fix it. We're just tinkering with the mechanics right now. Uh, once we kind of understand what we're doing, why we're doing what we're doing, uh, then we'll figure out and we'll streamline it. And we'll make it all nicer, of course. Uh, but right now, we just want to do the thing, right? We got to do the thing. Uh, to do make, to make the thing, to do the thing, right? Don't worry too much about uh, all of that early game uh, in any game that you play, uh, I typically don't. I just try to uh, do the thing as best I can. Why is that not coming back out? Huh, I'm trying to do that thing. Oh, take it easy, Dovey. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, show Dovey some love in the chat, everybody. Yeah, it's the awkwardness of that uh, terrain right there. Maybe we can get it out on this side. Over here. There it goes. All right. And now we're making that thing. And then let's put it in a big old box. Bunch of boxes. Like so. All right. Make that thing. Okay. Now we got some production fired up. Uh, I don't know if it's running at a maximum efficiency, but it is making the thing that I need uh, over here. Okay. Now back to what we're doing here. Uh, we're making this one. We have a bunch of this already. Uh, so we're ready uh, to make this thing. Uh, oh, we can make those ourselves. Oh, I didn't know that. Let's just make a bunch. Let's just make a bunch. Uh, and then over here, we need a bunch of graphene. Which we just stacked over here. I really need the graphene running in here. Because uh, this is going to deplete after a little bit. And so, what are we missing here? This can only be produced in smelting. Yeah, that has to be in smelting. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so we got to put we got to put the graphene into a smelter and then smelt that into uh, the diamonds. Okay. But I kind of feel like we want to tap another coal node and do that as well. How much excess coal do we have running over here? I feel like we got enough coal to make it happen. Maybe we should move this graphene. Oops. Maybe we should move this graphene from over here to over here and just convert that into that box. That seems like a plan. Let's say something like that. Too bad I don't have any of my plates. Do I have any plates? Ooh, I do have plates. Ooh, look at me getting all fancy McSpancy over here. Look at me, Mr. Fancy Pants. Uh, all right, uh, let's take this out. Like that. And let's run a line from over here. Say right to there, to there, and then down. Yeah, the other thing is in the way. Grab this, hit this, and then down. And get that to run into there. Like that, and we'll take all this out. Okay. Run that a little extra to get the logistics of it down. Okay. And then this, and then down. Let's see if we can push this out into here. We can. Okay. Going the wrong direction, but I just seen if I could push that out. Uh, okay, so we got an idea about right here. And we want to raise this up and match it in that direction. And then this can push out onto there. And that's gonna go up to there. This will be the uh, this will be the graphite here. And that'll push that graphite out once we give it some power. There we go. And then that graphite will run across to there. And then we'll try to get this sulfuric acid or that sulfuric acid across there. This will go into there. And there we go. Okay, that's back up and running. Okay. Now we got some extra coal here, so we can go ahead and use our uh, facilities here to uh, smelt down uh, our coal into uh, graphene right here. So we have a per perpetual supply of it like that. And then I feel like we'll just run it into this box. Out of there, into there, out of there, into there. Out of there, into there. Okay. Kind of feel like we might need a second one. Might need a second one. I think that has plenty of coal to keep that going. Going that way. Right, pushing out into there. Make sure it doesn't affect the rest of our power line. Uh, I gotta let it run for a while though to know if it is. Okay, so that graphite is now perpetual, uh, feeding itself. This is all feeding in here. We got water, we got all that. Uh, let's see what happens when we build one of these things. What can we build? Uh, build one, boom. Build two. Again, over here. 
And we need to get some of that going too, assemblers. But let's see what happens when we uh, can produce some of our assembly machines here. That's going to take a minute. Uh, I put that down. So yeah, we're trying a whole bunch of different stuff here. Whole bunch of different stuff just to see what it does. Okay. And we're trying to get to our yellow cubes. We're getting real close now. Real close to our yellow cubes. Uh, let's put this down and then we can see what can we make in this. Okay. Oh, we can make all the same stuff. Oh, it's all the same stuff. It's probably just faster. It probably just makes the stuff faster. Okay, okay. Now we know what that's all about. Uh, but that's not what I need. I need these. Uh, I need these suckers right here. Uh, and we want to go ahead and uh, get these being made. Uh, this needs to be done in... Uh, uh, in the assembler. So we need to take this and that titanium that we have over there and combine those together in an assembler. Uh, let's just put it right here in the center. Wrong. All right, my bad. I need this actually to run this way. Let me run that in that direction. Okay. And we'll feed this in here. And we'll tell it we want to be the titanium crystal. I'm going to need to put some power in. And then on this side, we'll run over. Man, we're going to have to get this titanium to go planet to planet, though. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, wait. There's already, there's already a line run there. Right there. No reason to waste another uh, sorter. Wait for our, my little robots to come back. There we go. All right. And that's going to come down. End up down here. Feed that in there. All right. Now we're getting there. Getting there. Getting there. Okay. Now we got to push this out of this one. There. And that's already pushed in there. Oh, it doesn't have any power. Okay, so now we're making the titanium crystal. And the other thing that we need is diamonds and the diamonds we're going to use some of this over here to produce diamonds as well so we're going to go ahead and run this and then put our constructor in and we're going to tell it to make no we got to forge that we got to forge that We gotta take that and tell it to make diamonds with the forge. Okay, now we are not making enough. We are not making enough of this stuff. Uh we're backlogging? Yeah, we're backlogging here. Okay, good. Okay, so that's going there. This is going into there. This needs power. And so now we got it making diamonds. Okay. Yes, making diamonds. Now diamonds need to come back out of there. We're doing some serious spaghetti today, everybody. We're just trying to make it work at this point. Diamond coming out. Now we gotta define we gotta combine that one and this one together. <laughs> Actually, let's have it go the other way. 
Uh, we'll have it go. Let's take this out right now. Uh, we'll have this go up and over. So let's go here. Let's choose up. Kind of feel like I want to do my bridge first. I feel like it's a good idea to do that bridge first and then uh, start from the bottom. And then you can just connect like that. And then over here, same thing. Coming down a little easier. It's like you build a bridge first and then you put the rest of it in. Uh, okay, this is going to come out onto here and run across over to there. And that's coming over there and over there. And now we want to make these. Oh, finally. Okay. And we make this in the research facility. Uh, and so now we want to put our research down. We have a bunch of those. And we'll feed that as high as we can. And so this is going to come out and run into here. And I have to tell this what to make, the yellow one. There we go. And then this one over here, same thing. And in theory, ah, we did it! Yeah, yellow cubes are on the way, everybody. Uh, we did it, all right. We're making some yellow cubes, finally. Okay, that, man, that is involved. I loved every minute of it. I absolutely love every minute. This is a buy, this game, everybody. This is a buy. If you dig a Factorio, if you like Satisfactory, Astroneer, all that stuff, imagine all that crammed together uh, into one. You like an old school, it reminds me very much of like an RTS game, like old StarCraft and stuff like that, except for it doesn't really use those kind of mechanics. But uh, very, very cool. Uh, I dig it big time. Uh, all right, so now we got to take our cubes out of there, and we got to run our cubes way back over here to our research uh, stuff. Uh, so let's go over there and see what we want to do now uh, over here uh, in our research. Uh, right here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so we're waiting for our uh, our uh, next cubic cubes into all of these. Yes, we need our we need our structure maintenance, our structure thingy. Uh, all right, where are we bringing that from? Right there. So I feel like we maybe we could sneak that along this line, end up right here. Uh, maybe out here. Sneak it reverse. Oh, yeah, right here. Right there. Comes in this way. Uh, we'll have to build a double bridge. That thing is right in the way. Right in the way. I think I could probably take that thing out by now. Let's go ahead and just... Put in a little power thing to keep that going. Take that out. Uh, all right. Uh, actually, I probably don't even need that. How's that? Nope, I do need it. Let's put it over on this side. Um, I could be working on a lot more power, too. We could be uh, producing tons of power. We really need to revamp this power over here now that we did learn that you can put graphite into these. Uh, that we should be making graphite and then putting those into our plants. Uh, maybe we'll do that next. Right now, I just want to get these from over there into here and get our next level of research going. So, how do I want to do that? All this stuff is kind of in my way. Uh, let's see if we can get some stuff. Oh, I know how to do it. We'll just use a box. We'll put a box... Come on. There we go. We'll put a box here. Then we'll use that as a bridge. Instead of making a, an actual line, we'll do this like this. And then, oh, wrong way. We will not do that. Uh, we will go the correct way. We will go this way into there. And then we'll push the yellow cubes across into this box. Then we will... Run those cubes out. Let's just run it along the line we've already got. So let's run it out of here, over to here, along this line, and double it back. Though it's not very efficient, but oh well. Uh, oh, we're out more of these. Ah, more of that stuff.
into here. Okay. He's backlogged over here. Dang, no. Dang, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and tell it to stop doing that. Oh, look at this. We're having a shortage. We're having a shortage of uh, iron. What's up? Why's my iron shortage? Oh no, my iron's running out! Oh, it, it, it already used up all my iron. Yikes. Okay. Uh, well, let's take that one out. Yikes. Oh, look out. We're getting nuked, everybody. Uh, lots of love coming in the stream. We got dislikes coming in. Uh, thank you very much for bringing your community into mine. Let me give you a shout out real quick here after my button loads here. Uh, bam, right there. Uh, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, let's see who's playing, uh, your took the desolation. Uh, JC Hunter, make a note of that. Make a note of that, uh, game. I never even heard of that one. Is that a good game? Uh, let me know in the chat. Now, welcome everybody. Thanks for coming in. We're playing some Dyson Sphere program. We love this game. This game is amazing. It's really like Factorio, Satisfactory, Astroneer, all jammed into one, uh, really awesome, uh, level stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's warning me that I'm about to run out of my raw resources, uh, right there. That's why our uh, thing has been going a bit slower. Uh, let's go ahead and have it tap all the resources over here uh, and whatnot. We'll get that fired back up again and then uh, rerun that in. So yeah, you have diminishing uh, returns on your uh, resources. Uh, basically, it runs out eventually. Uh, and that's what it's saying over here too. It's running out. Uh, and again, my name is Kismet. Uh, feel free to come on in, hang out, uh, relax, take it easy. Again, we're working on the logistics of our base. As you can see, we're getting started here. Uh, really want to get in and make a bunch of platforms and just cover the entire world uh, with the thing. But we're just fooling around with mechanics. We're not really seriously making a complex factory and all that stuff because it's our first playthrough. Uh, whenever I do a first playthrough, I very rarely worry about uh, the aesthetics of it, though I still do somewhat. Uh, I, I very rarely worry about aesthetics. I more worry about uh, how how can I make things work, right? So that's what we're working on right now. How can we get our yellow cubes uh, from way over there on that other side uh, to way over here, which can be run into our research so we can research some new things. Uh, and this is very much reminds me very much of Satisfactory in the way uh, that you can just let stuff run, go AFK, come back, bada bing, bada boom. You got tons of loot. Uh, I love that. I love that uh, about uh, this type of game. There we go. And we run that right up into there. And then our little robots will go in there and build build that bridge in. And they'll build all that in. We'll run that in there. Uh, just came out last week. Yurik is great. I think D&D &D meets XCOM. Really good base tactical. Ooh, I love me some XCOM. Uh, XCOM 2, an incredibly great one as well. Uh, I'll have to check that out for sure, man. Uh, awesome. Uh, I got so many games backlogged. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to play them. Look, we got all of those going. Look, all the research things are going. Oh, and there goes our yellow cubes. Finally, we just got to yellow cubes today. We're very excited, as you can see. Uh, very excited about our yellow cubes because uh, the yellow cubes allowed us to unlock uh, some more research. Ah, uh, we got to get some more of that stuff. Hold on, we got to go over here for a sec. We got to go over here. Uh, we're backlogging some of this stuff uh, so we can get some of these motors. So we don't have to make a bunch of motors. All right, let's make uh, some more of these babies. Oh, no. Now we need more more of these. All right, now we got to turn that off. And then feed this. Oh, man, I just want to go and fix all this now. I just want to fix it all. I want to fix it all. Uh, all right, what's going on here? Oh, we're out of uh, magnetic coils. All right, what's going on now with my magnetic coils? Did I accidentally cut them off, or what did I do? I'm always screwing something up. Uh, I don't know, magnetic coils still running. 
Still running there. Oh, they're getting, they're getting drained. I'm not making enough of them. They're getting drained back there. Oh wow, it ran out of magnetic coils there. Can you believe that? Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is it we're not feeding enough across to generate those magnetic coils? Oh, this is going at a slower rate because we're running out of uh, out of uh, iron. Yeah, so that's going at a slower rate, which is slowing down this, which is slowing down our magnetic coils, uh, which is making it harder for us to uh, run the magnetic coils uh, into all the other stuff that we need. Yeah. Uh, uh, huh, huh, huh. Huh. Yeah, this needs Mac Colas on this, but it hasn't run out of that yet. When it runs out of these, I'm backlogging, backlogging some of the, or it should be backlogging some of those. Yeah, backlogging those right now. Uh, let's cut this off for right now. We're going to cut that. Didn't mean to do that. Let's cut this off. Uh, connect this back together and let that run down the line. And run down here. Okay. We'll let that run down here uh, to make a bunch of this stuff down here. There we go. Uh, and that's going to make a bunch of these, which is make the next thing I need to make, and so on and so forth. Uh, there we go. Uh, and thanks for the shout out. Well, hey, thanks for coming in, showing some love. Now, we play a lot of uh, survival games, and probably most known for Fallout. Uh, they do call me the Wasteland Tycoon. Uh, sometimes I get dressed up. Like that guy right there. That's me. <laughs> and sometimes we battle it out uh, doing a whole bunch of stuff. We do call this the Mega Stream for a reason. We're always doing a bunch of stuff at the same time, including a little side game here called uh, Stream Raiders. Uh, these are all my peeps in the chat right here. You can come and join us. It is free to play. You can play it on mobile or on desktop while you're watching the stream. And then every uh, 30 minutes or so, we do a battle. And then everybody wins tons of loot uh, if we win uh, as a team. I love doing teamwork-based games. Uh, very, very fun. A very, very fun. Get them! It's an all-out battle royale, everybody! It's battling out. They got no chance. We got them. We got them on the ropes. We got them on the ropes. We still got 80 units left. <laughs> Uh, you got annihilated, bro. All right, there we go. Uh, now there we talking. See, we're at 88 units. Now look at this. We're getting extra resource, extra giveaways here. Uh, Subi, Rotisserie G, JC Under Lack Splash, and Olaf all getting some extra scrolls. Insane Paco Taco coming in with the 13 kills. Uh, ready to get some more loot. Let's go for one of these, uh, blue chests. Might get you a skin. Uh, you can also help support the stream. By the way, look, we're 86 of 100. We're almost there. We're going to unlock the Sparkle Dog. If we get that unlocked, thank you very much. Wrecked me coming in uh, with the eight months of sub love. Show them some love in the chat, everybody. Thank you so much uh, for supporting the stream. Appreciate it uh, big time. Uh, so stream Raiders, I'm addicted. Thanks for being a captain, Kismet. You're welcome, Wrecked me. I think this game is super fun. Uh, I love, love playing it. Uh, it's really fun because everybody can just chill in the chat. While you're chilling, you can put your units down. You can watch me get into all sorts of crazy uh, adventures and things like that. And then, boom, we're right back. Uh, to our primary game that we're playing here. Uh, okay, here we go. We're trying to run this into here so we get some extra of these. There we go. Uh, we're doing that. Now, we're trying to get our yellow into here. Uh, into over here. We've got them going in there now. Into that box. Now, we got to get them out of this box. We're trying to make these right here. Let's make a bunch of those. There we go. Or a couple of those, anyway. Uh, and then we're going to push these out. Come on. Push that out. No. No. Stop it. Over here. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I'll put some more things down. You're going to be feisty. My, me and my children. All right, there we go. All right, now we got our yellow cubes going. Now we're going to go ahead and cross feed these yellow cubes into there and into there and then way at the end here. Uh, we need one more. We need one more. What do we need to get to here? Sorter. Uh, more iron plates, really. 
That's what we need. More iron. Oh, man. Our iron is hurting, bro. Our iron is hurting. We got a couple iron in each of these, so we're just going to snag that out of there. We're going to have to tap some more. This whole entire planet will de be depleted at some point. Uh, if you think about it, right? That's all going to be depleted. Uh, because we're going to run out of iron and all of that. And then we'll have to tap it somewhere else. But we got some other planets we've already been to uh, that do have uh, some of that already. We're just using the highest level of conveyors, even though we don't really have to. But we do it anyway, just because we can. All right, it's going to take a minute to do that. Uh, hype! Get that hype going, Olaf! That's right, come and join us for some Stream Raiders and uh, for some fun. Uh, and again, thanks everybody. I do appreciate when people raid my channel. I know there's like some random guy or maybe it's your streamer pal of mine. Either way, uh, I do appreciate every single person who comes to my stream. Every person hits that follow button. Uh, and of course, all my awesome uh, subscribers have been with me. Uh, whether you just subscribed just now or you subscribed uh, for 45 months, <laughs> I do appreciate each and every one of you uh, coming in. We're making some big progress today. Our big goal was to get to the yellow, uh, the yellow uh, things here and it looks like we've crushed that. Uh, we've got that going. I just need to get one more thing here. There we go. And we'll go ahead and push that right into there. Okay, that's going to step backlog those. Now, they're not... Notice that it's stopped. It's kind of backlogged. And the reason why it backlogged is because it's waiting for me to choose my research. Uh, because look at this skill tree. And that, that's just the upgrades. Check the technology. Right? Look at that. Holy moly. All right, we got a lot of stuff we can upgrade there. Uh, and I'm not really doing it in any like specific order uh, i just like the first thing i just click it and then it goes i just go down the line i don't know what this stuff does it's my first playthrough don't expect me to know everything on my first playthrough so i just go ahead and get it going so at least it's doing something right and then we're just going to click all this stuff uh and get that in the queue and let it do as much as it can uh we got to wait for those two to get done first uh how about up here uh, wow, that's a lot of all of those. All right, let's put that in the queue, too. Okay, and I feel like we're going to be in trouble here because we're going to definitely need more iron uh, because our iron is just about depleted over here. We have uh, we have siphoned our iron. Oh, this is coal. That's still looking good. Uh, this way. Our iron is just about gone. So let's go ahead and take a look at our planet. There's 14 iron that way. I say that's our closest one. Let's go tap that one. And get it while we're thinking about it. Oh, man. Magnetic coils, of course. Of course. Okay, let's run back over here. Now, I like to keep a little bit of uh, resources laying around in case I need them. Uh, and sometimes I just go right to the box. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, let's sort this around. Uh, what can we get rid of? All this stuff here. All right. Well, we got it. We can get rid of this, this. What's this right here? Well, refinery not using that right now. All right. Get a little bit of that stuff off us here. Maybe a little bit of that back on. Uh, and let's go over here. While we're flying over there, let's make some more of these. Uh, let's make three of them. Sounds like a plan. Funny irony is I need uh, iron to... Uh, oh, where'd I go? Right over here. Uh, I need iron to uh, make the things that I'm going to extract the iron with. I always find that funny, too. Uh, all right. And let's go out and just tap every node we can get. Let's see here. Get our best extraction. Holy mackerel, look at that. Wow, okay. That's a good one. That is a good extraction there. Let's see if we can get the rest of these. Put this one. Yeah, I can't quite get that other one. This is going to get me... Yeah, let's get those four. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and run this out of here. Now, we already have our production facility set up. Uh, so there's no reason for us to uh, make another facility over here. 
Uh, we're just going to run a really long conveyor really far over here where we've already got our construction. Oh, out of build range. My bad, my bad. Gotta back it up a little bit. Stay there. And we'll lift it up. Oh. over the top of that. Merge that right into the line. There we go. Uh, and then we got to construct all the rest of this and then we're going to take a break. We're going to get some more iron going here. Let's go, guys. Get to it. They're my little drone. My little drone builders. Okay. Now, conveniently, we already have some power nearby. So we can go ahead and use that power to extend it way over here. And those extractors are up and running. Booyah, baby. All right. Run that. Run that iron. That's going to tap right back in our sources here. Uh, once one, this one finishes, I'll probably uh, take that out too. But we want to see how it uh, starts to fill all this up and see if it backlogs at all. Let's see if our production... is slowed by that. Ah, need some core energy. Right over here. Could have also stood right here. Charge me up just standing by the thing. Uh, I don't care about that right now. I just care about how this is doing. Oh, yeah. See, it's starting to backlog. When it starts to backlog like that, then we know that we can go ahead and extend it for now. So let's extend it to there and extend it to here. And then we'll also, if there's any down here, we'll push that into these two. Yeah, yeah, we could put back, I feel like we get another one in there. Uh, lack of item. All right. You can go into there. You can go into there. All right, we got our uh, line of uh, of stuff back up and running. Now we're looking good. There we go. And we're producing all of our stuff here. Uh, and then it's going to up the amount that it's going to be making here. It's going to backlog a bit of that. And now we got our production back and running. We're going to run some of those back in there. We're going to push these back out again. Uh, out into here. There we go. Uh, we're going to grab some of these. So we'll have some for later. And those will get those going again. this we'll take this oh I don't have any more of those make me some of those all right and then up 
up here, we'll put all of those in there. I feel like I might have some of those elsewhere. I love how you can vertically stack everything. Reminds me very much of Seven Days to Die, how I stack stuff there. Uh, let's take our conveyors out. We'll put those at the top. Like that. See, we're just stacking resources so we can find it later. Uh, let's put those. We haven't used those in a while. Put our beams up here. We're just organizing this. Uh, take that out. Sort all of that. Put all that in there. Ah, there's where our there's where a bunch of those are. Nothing there. This is our random stuff there. Take this out and that out. Put that there. Three more little areas there. Uh, that's our oil. Uh, let's put that in there. That'll be that. Oh, wait, we already got one of those. We already got like a that. Uh, our extra equipment. Put that over here. In fact, we'll put all of our equipment in there temporarily. Our finished equipment. In there. There we go. And we're cleaning this out and combining it over here. And where'd it go? Whatever works. Whatever's. Okay, what do we do with our Klondike bar? Uh, oh, I took the uh, copper out. Put the copper back in. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Still a mess, but at least it's a bit more cleaned up mess. Okay, and then this can be that. Over here, these. This. Uh, so I don't really want to keep any of this stuff. We'll keep that up there. Uh, probably don't want to put the stone in there. Okay, that's uh, that's better organized now. Uh, let's go over here. Since we're organizing. And literally just take all these out. And move them over here. My wall o' loot. So I can use it later on. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Now I can just come here and grab these. Now, the smarter thing to do is to run all that stuff to, the, to it so you don't have to do it. I call it the central storage. Uh, where you run all of it in there uh, so you don't have to mess around with it. Uh, now I got a bunch of stuff uh, in there that needs to be sorted. Take, taken out. Uh, what do we got here? A bunch of that. That could be moved. Uh, I need me like a drop box. Put all this stuff in. Uh, put that in there. Wood into this one. This is what we call mega sorting right here. We're doing some serious sorting action. This into there. Uh, anything else I got in here? No. I need more of that. And I need to get those. I need to get those assembling too. The uh, storages. Uh, there's always something else that you need to be working on uh, while playing this game. I find uh, we need to take this coal out of here. I don't need to hold this coal anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and what do we got up here? So yeah, we'll take this one out. Take, uh, what are you doing? Computer? There we go. Uh, take that one out and then this will be like my just, hey, I, I want to get all the stuff off of my, uh, off my character for a moment. Box. There we go. Like that. And then we'll take these out as best we can. And then we'll go back over here where we are working uh, some of this. Coal over here. Uh, what do we want to put? Oh, look at that. No fuel. No fuel, huh? Well, we can fix that. Flatten this out just a little bit over here. Oh, do I not have enough? Oh, too bad me. 
Too bad for me. Uh, all right, and we'll just use a small one here. Actually, a couple small ones. Put all that in there. And we'll just use up this excess stuff that we don't really need right now. Oh, I didn't bring my stuff. I didn't bring my stuff. stuff no I don't have my I don't have any more of the thing that I need come back we'll come back for it put all that in there first okay need more of those I think I'm backlogging those over here. Let's go see. Now, see, this just makes me want to stop and go and make so much of each and every one of these that I have a backlog of everything. Uh, yeah. That's what it makes me want to do. Okay, we got a bit of that. We got to uh, make some more of these. I'm going to make one at least. And then we'll burn up this excess coal. There we go. All right, and that should help that fuel out just a little bit. And see, that's why I feel like your coal should cycle back in because if there is excess, then it could cycle back into the system uh, and that excess could be used uh, on the other side there. Uh, it makes me want to push all this out and just create a circular uh, cycle of my uh, coal. So if back here it starts to slow down too much, it'll circle back around uh, and whatnot, uh, depending on how much power it's using. Okay, how are we looking here? Yellow cube's still coming out. Oh, our research is going. Okay, it's red for some reason, though. Why is it red? Why is your rum gone? Lack of research items. Well, hey, you know. Trying to do what I can, brah. Do what I can. Uh, so, oh, oh, our blue ones. Our blue ones here are not running. They're not running out. They're only running in. Okay, my bad. My bad. Run those babies out of there. Oh, now it's on like Donkey Kong. All right. Got that going again. Our blue's going here. We could be firing these out at a much faster rate, I feel. Uh, we need more sorters, which means we need more basics, which means we need all of our basic resources from over here. Uh, over here. Okay, now we need to go take a little sample. You know, one, two here. One, two there. So on and so forth. We took it out, we took it out of our inventory, so uh, this stuff is going to be needed down the way here that storage down uh one of those stack of that already got that stack of it double stack anything else and then all of that stuff back in there okay uh, this is probably completely backlogged it is okay it's two boxes full uh, so we could really go to town on this. We could go, we could triple up on this. And just blast those out of there like crazy. There we go. Oh, look at that research going now. That research is cranking. Okay, we did it, everybody. We did it. <laughs> I didn't even think we were going to get that done by the end of the day today, but we did. Look at us go. Uh, look at us go. Okay, so that's going to go. Oh, God, here we go. Uh, and now we need to work on our graphite over here, too. Uh, let's go over here uh, and convert this coal into graphite first and then into power. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that right here. We're going to uh, do some smelting. Make a bunch of them suckers. While we're waiting, we'll just... I hear you. I hear you. There you go. 
Do what you got to do, bro. Do what you got to do. Okay. Uh, all right. We'll go ahead and feed that in. Right here. We're going to tell it to output that. So this needs to go into here. And then it's going to come out of there into there. And, oh, it looks like we can do two of them. Because that's getting by that one. So, in and out. And so our goal is to match the input uh, so that it's only doing graphite. And if we see it's going faster, oh, high strength titanium alloy, we got it unlocked. Look at us go. Look at us go with our bad selves. All right, now we can go ahead and get this one going too. So again, uh... It's only going to grab the it's only going to grab the copper anyway, so or the uh, coal anyway, because it won't grab uh, anything that it doesn't need. And now this should all be graphite. Okay. Oh man, it just makes me want to. I want to just want to tear that down and redo it. You know what? That's what we're going to do in a minute. Uh, let's let it do. Let's go watch our glowy cubes though. While we're waiting. It's almost blinding. Uh, let's watch our glowy cubes do their thing. Uh, right in there. Oh, that was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. And see, now it's backlogged all those cubes, so that's cool. That's cool. It's just going to be pumping that stuff in there as fast as it can. Got all of these going. Look at that. Look at that deal. They're all running. That's some serious research going on right there. Uh, and that's because we were letting our red and our blue run while we were busy doing something else. All right, I can see our coppers doing something weird over here. Uh, it can't backlog fast enough. Man, is this done over here? I bet you this is full. Yeah, look at that. That is full again. So much copper. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel like that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 of these uh, could be used to get that going. And the second I start to run it, then this starts to extract more uh, and whatnot. Now, I see over here, this one's starting to get to a point where uh, it's running out of, uh, out of ore. So, uh, we're going to have to work on our copper eventually, too. Okay, break time. Kevin, stop it. Break. I'm so bad with my breaks. All right, four hours in, everybody. We're going to take a break. A wall of loot, an MMO adventure's dream, right? Yeah, that's what I usually do uh, there at Blackheart is uh, I do this in like seven days to die. We're doing in Valenheim and all that. Uh, you want to have a good, uh, you know, plethora of loot uh, uh, put in a central area where you can just come to it and say, okay, I need a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Instead of going all the way across the other side of the planet and picking it up there, you should bring the loot to you as opposed to you going to the loot. Uh, that usually works pretty well. Uh, and so that's what we got going on there. Uh, let's see. What else can we get rid of off of us here? Man, we got tons of stuff on us here. Probably a lot of this stuff right here. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Just trying to get, just trying to get the loot I don't want on me off. Right, we'll take all that out. Uh, all right, just trying to get that stuff on me. There we go. There we go. Let's let her rock and roll. It's only rock and roll if I like it. Uh, and I do like it. Let's uh, let's let it keep running. Let you guys, I guess I could zoom out. Let you guys watch all this interacting uh, things going on at the same time. Okay, I'm just going to take a break real quick. Just stretch my legs and all that kind of stuff. You guys enjoy uh, some factory running here and I shall be right back. going on with my microphone uh thank you everybody i'm back uh, let's get back to it we're gonna go ahead and fire up uh some uh battles let's go ah i accidentally pressed the button to confirm i didn't want to do my spell and i didn't want to do my spell but oh well oh well on my spell <clears throat> let 
Let's see how we do. How many units we got? 104 were placed down. They're 35. So much loot. Let's get it. Get that loot. Six guys left. Bye bye, suckers. <laughs> they toast. With this epic crew, they are so toast. All right, open the captain's chest. Uh, grant some reward. Let's see. JC Hunter, Mag, get some love. Blackheart, Reaper, Mini Merv. Now we're doing it. Now we're getting some serious love for everybody. Uh, insane a Paco Taco MVP with the seven kills. All right, now it's time to use those epics. Uh, time to fire them up, get them going. I'm going to go ahead and call in the Wasteland Tycoon. That's me. Uh, ever wanted a, a character in a game? There I am, right there. <laughs> Uh, pretty awesome. Uh, so we're going to battle our way through here and try to wipe all these guys out. You're going to have a chance at getting a skin uh, from the game uh, by uh, getting that blue chest <clears throat> as well. Now we unlocked some stuff here. We've unlocked a new type of high strength lightweight structure, the frame material, because it can withstand the strong gravitational force of a star. It is used to produce Dyson Sphere component and launch them into the Dyson Sphere uh, to form a node and frame. Oh, look at us go. Oh, I'm not even working on that at all. I'm just fuddling around, <clears throat> fuddling around with all the other stuff here. Okay, uh, so we're unlocking our research like a crazy. Uh, it's going to, of course, slow down now that we've kind of caught up on our yellow cubes. <coughs> but we could increase the uh, production of all of that as well. Uh, I kind of feel like uh, we can work on that later on. Later, later on. Uh, let's see. We really need to upgrade our power. That's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and turn our sound back on. We need to upgrade our power systems over here. <clears throat> and get them, uh, squared away much better. Okay. So first thing we want to do is take out our redundant stuff we don't need anymore. Let's take this out. Like that. We want to get all this coal going into a central area. Do we have upgraded... We do not have upgraded uh, smelters. <clears throat> I don't know even if there is upgraded smelters. Let's go find out. Uh, where can we do... Uh, oh, there's something that unlocks. Mass fusion. G power generator. Oh, look at that. Uh, our mini fusion power generator. Under the action of the high strength, high density magnetic field, this facility converts the, uh, the huge energy released by the controlled fusion reaction of deuterions into uh, electrical energy. I don't even know how to make any of that stuff, but we're going to figure that out later on. Uh, but we're looking for uh, interstellar uh, power transmission. Oh! Going to be sent to another planet. Oh, put that in the queue. Uh, what do we got here? That's already queued. Uh, here's our interstellar uh, logistics system. Uh, the magnificent space elevator releases more convenient transportation of materials. Uh, between planets, it can connect factories on different planets to form a gigantic industrial empire. Yeah, that's what we want. Let's get that going. Where's that in the queue? Uh, I don't know where that's at in the queue, but I want it to be the first thing. Uh, which What do we got going here? This one and that one. Oh, there's our fusion generation there. We just got that unlocked. Uh, this one. Yeah, yeah, we got that, and then we got this. Okay, well, that's going to take a while anyway, because uh, that's a lot of cubes. So we tried to do the, the stuff with the least amount of cubes first, uh, the lower amount of cubes, uh, miniature particle collider. Oh, man, man, so much stuff. <clears throat> so much cool stuff. Uh, crystals. I don't know what those are for. High strength glass, no idea. Uh, particle band. I'm sure all this stuff becomes something that you need for over here. Uh, quantum printing technology. Whoa. Okay. Faster replicators. Uh, I don't see anything that says faster uh, smelters. That doesn't mean it's not here somewhere. Stress system. 
Gi grass Giants Exploitation. Gas Giants have abundant resources in the exploitation. Gas Giants marks a new level of technology. All right. Well, we're trying to get all this stuff done. What do we got down here? Satellite power. Uh, distributing. Using the powerful magnetic field excited by the super magnetic ring, there's a longer power transmission distance and larger supply area. Ah. I don't know any of this stuff. I've done any of this. <laughs> now, there's one over here they're still working on because it is uh, uh, early access, which is these accelerants. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, but we want to do this right here, energy storage. Um, because that's why, see, the thing is, just like in real life, everybody, uh, eventually the coal is going to run out. The oil is going to run out. And so if you don't have a way of collecting and storing an infinite amount of energy, which we have an infinite amount of energy, it's called the sun, right? It's going to be a billion or so years before it runs out. And when it does run out, hopefully by then we can get to another star and use that one for energy. But in theory, we have an infinite amount of energy that we could collect on our planet and then store it in batteries so that at nighttime we would still have plenty of power. Now, if we connected that power worldwide, the sun would never set because no matter where we are around the world, if we made a ring of solar panels all the way around the planet, it would constantly be collecting uh, power 24-7 every single day, right? Or we made a satellite and then figured out how to transfer it down to Earth with a big long cable or something. I don't know. Uh, or wireless would be even better. Uh, but that's the thing we would want, right? We would want a whole bunch of solar uh, to collect a lot of power and then be able to store that power up. So that'd be something we want to do. We also want to get it from one planet, uh, get our resources from one planet, and then get it to where we are. Uh, like right here, I think the logistics system uh, is, uh, is something we can do. The hub of planetary logistics system, logistic drones, will automatically transport cargo between stations and uh, when you set corresponding items for supply and demand. Now, I don't know how to do that, and that's what we'll try to figure out uh, here in just a bit. Um, but we need to fix our power. Our power is kind of funky chicken right here. Uh, it is not doing what we want it to do. We want it to actually feed the graphite in there uh, and not all of this. So we got to just say, you know what? All right, let's put this all on hold. And it's going to turn our factory off at some point. So that is not very efficient. Take all this back out. Like this. We're going to take all this out. That's one of my favorite things about building games. Oh, by the way, I can just hold down shift. I just remembered. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite things about building games, you can always come back and revamp how you have your factory, uh, which is very, very fun. Okay, now we take all this stuff out too. Okay. We want to get this stuff from over here to over here as efficiently as possible. So we're going to go ahead and revamp the way we're doing this. I'm going to run this nice and close to this and then along this. Over here. And combine that into there. <clears throat> okay. That one's combined into there. Then we're going to go ahead and the same thing over here. I'm going to cut this back. Run this across here. I don't think we can go there. Run this. Right up against this sucker. And run that into there. Okay, now we got all three of those going into a central area. Now, obviously, you want those belts to be as fast as you possibly could. Uh, and now we want to just generate a crazy ton of this graphite right here, right? And so we could generate it over here, but I feel like we're going to even take this one out and we're going to run that back over there once we kind of get it going over here. Now, how much of this can we generate? Heck if I know. Uh, I guess we'll find out here in a second, won't we? Uh, so we're going to put a bunch of these in a row. Uh, I kind of feel like we want to give it a little bit of an offset here. Uh, and before we get too much into there, we want to tell it we want to make a crazy ton of graphite like that. Now, I also had a thought. Let's try this out real quick here. Uh, over here, it's making me a little bit of these fuel cells. Where those fuel cells go? Right here. Uh, right here. 
So it's making me a little bit of these fuel cells, uh, but we need a little bit of hydrogen in there. Let's put a little bit of that in there. I'm wondering if we can also make the fuel cells and take the fuel cells and put those into the thing. So let's try that real quick uh, as well. <clears throat> so we'll take our power. I'll put one of those down. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? And then we'll take the fuel cell. Did that work? I think it did. I think that did work. So we could, instead of doing that, we could just be doing fuel cells right now, too. And feeding those in there. Uh, and to do fuel cells, we need a bunch of hydrogen, which means we need the oil. But we're using the hydrogen for uh, our research over here uh, and to make our red cells. And we're running a lot of this back over this way. Uh, right here, we're making a, we're running a lot of graph uh, graphene uh, from our other stuff over here, right? We got all this cranking away on graphene as well. So, and this is all offline. Look at this. This is offline. Oh, this all needs to be redone. Uh, inventory full. I'm wasting my stuff. Cannot be retrieved. Wasting my materials. Okay. Um, storage. Off to the side. All right. Wasting. No worries. We can always make it again. Okay. This all sucks. Okay. This all sucks, Horace. Is gonna have a power problem for sure. Um, let's condense all of this into one line. Take that out. And this is gonna come out of here and go this way. Now, see, the question always is, should I should I just keep it as coal, or should I convert all of the graphite right here at the at the source node? Uh, I'm of the mind to do it at the source node as best you can. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and convert that graphene uh, right here at the source node, uh, and we're going to say all oh, this. Why is this going out like that? Because that's probably I got that copper node there. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and put them along here. And so we're going to go ahead and say graphene. <clears throat> Take that all out. Okay. And then we're going to need power out here. And so we want to, every now and again, you, you definitely want to spend some time revamping, <coughs> re revamping your power source uh, for sure. And we'll create a separate line, which is just for the graphene. Okay, there we go. So now we got that going. We do not have enough power right now to make that work. And that's okay. Um, because what we want to do is slowly add back in our power uh, as we go. And this looks like it's already converting all of that. In the, look at this, all this graphene left over too. Uh, and I feel like I'm going to do that circle thing I was talking about. Where I circle the resources back into the system uh, so that it can run along that same line. Um, where do we want to put our power grid? I feel like we could go ahead, take some of this stuff out. Uh, we could put our power right here. So let's run it back from this. Yeah, we're going to run that through there and then double back this way. Yeah. 
and then eventually we'll work on the the fuel cells but this feels like I want to double this back but I'm gonna need this copper eventually here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and grab this we're gonna tap this back in this direction like that we're gonna take this we do not have enough to make another one of those we do okay make a bunch of those make a bunch of them suckers okay I'll put this right here then we're gonna take all this out we'll have to run it down the line too because we're using that down the line um, but for right now we're gonna maximize this okay and then this is gonna come out of here so we don't have to do it and we're going to tell it to run that out of there run this into here it's gonna run that into there at maximum speed okay that's gonna run that into there and it's also gonna run down the line here <clears throat> and this is where we'll kind of do our power out here so let's create hmm hold on let's put our power down first let's say like this Gotta fix my robot real quick. Fixy, fixy my robot. All right, robot bro. We gotta get you going with uh, some better power. Uh, we gotta get this power going with better power, and then we gotta go uh, and fix up my guy with power as well. Okay, now I'm just figuring out the logistics of it right now, uh, so I don't care if it's off right now. It's okay if it's off. Uh, I feel like we're gonna actually run this the opposite way. Let's run this along this line like this, and then we'll double across all the way across here. And then we'll have our power on both sides. Mini fusion power. Oh, that's a fusion power station. That's why I keep making that noise. Pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, and then we'll do this. We'll run it long ways. We'll run another line. Down the center. And more power. Skip, skip a spot. Something in the way there. Something in the something in the way, blocking it.
There we go. And then bring this down. Ah, it's blocking. Blocked. Yeah, the train is making it tough for me to run that. Won't let me run that there. Oh, well. Run it out here. Run another line of power. Like this. Okay. And more of these. Get this out. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, bro. Now, my biggest problem is my belt speed. Uh, if my belt speed is not fast enough, then this is not going to get enough fuel fast enough uh, to get down to the end. And that's something we'll have to work on. And I feel like what I might do is I might double feed. I'll feed from both sides. Uh, so I'll feed uh, this one here uh, from here and then back around uh, into here. And then also uh, we'll feed the other way. Um, we'll have to we'll have to run a splitter or something at some point, but we'll uh, worry about that later. Uh, right now, you know what we'll do is we'll go like this, and then this one. We'll go like this. This will come across and oh, oh this way. Ah, my fingers aren't working today. Come on, fingers, work with me. Clicky, clicky the buttons. Okay, so that's going to there. And that's running out. And we got a bunch of excess over here that we can run along this line as well. But I think I'm going to change my mind on this. Just take that whole thing out. And I'm going to put this over here to run another line down there okay There it goes. There it goes. All right. Down into there. Looking good. So that's going to be coming down. Let's have it actually start to feed. And that's going to start up some of our fuel. Yeah. Make a bunch of those. Okay, so now, see, these are going to act as power lines, right? It's because they give, a, they uh, connect to each other, uh, so we don't need as many power lines we had before. Uh, they'll act as a grid uh, on them, on into themselves, but we will kind of cover it with our uh, power lines here and. One right there. We can connect that to those extractors. All right. That's looking good. And these are going to go out. So we'll connect this into the power lines. And not enough of those. Okay, make more of those too. Make more of those too. 
That's coming out to there, out to there, out to there. So we're taking our, we're basically trying to make our power system more efficient by taking our coal, converting into graphite, and then using that graphite. Now, I, I seem to have found out, now don't tell me, part of the thing is trying to discover it along the way. Uh, be watching the, uh, uh, be watching the uh, chat rules if you do come into my stream. Uh, and so uh, what I'm doing is I took out all my power and I'm revamping it. Because I noticed that uh, just like in your uh, inventory here, uh, if you use coal, it's less efficient than if you use uh, energetic graphite. And then I found also there's fuel cells, and those fuel cells are more uh, efficient as well. So we're trying to basically increase the efficiency of our power. And so we want to first, you know, tear it out, make it more efficient, uh, and let it run uh, to that level. Uh, and whatnot. So we've got that going. Now we're going to go and click this over here. That's going to get this graphite going. And then that is going to start up. It's going to push uh, all of this in once we tell it to push that in. Uh, right over here, we're going to push the coal into these graphite uh, producing things. And then it's going to produce that graphite eventually. Uh, and then it's going to start up all of these. But we got to get our, uh, we gotta get our uh, sorters in. So those sorters are pushing the stuff into the fuel. And that's what happens when you take out your power. Obviously, everything's going to turn off. Uh, you're going to have all sorts of issues. Uh, and that's why uh, we'll be transitioning to solar power. So we'll have that for a backup. Uh, and then we're going to be working on our batteries as well. And this is much more efficient than the way I had it. Uh, looking pretty sharp now. And let's really get it started now. And there we go. Little by little, it's getting fired up. All right, now let's look at our coal supply here. Uh, it does look like our coal supply is more than what we're producing. Uh, so that means, hey, let's produce some more. So let's make some more smelters. Oh, I got to make some more smelters physically. Make a bunch of them suckers. Uh, so that's going to make me some more smelters. We're just going to keep on smelting till we can't smelt no more. Let's go with that. Uh, let's have it make some more of these while we're using these ones up. Right over here. And we'll go ahead and feed that in. Feed all those in for now. Uh, these need a power pole. There we go. Those are now going to feed in there and get started up. Uh, waiting for my stuff to build. It's going to build a bunch of those. Uh, and there we go. So now our power is uh, back uh, kind of running. Um, but it's not running at a level in which uh, it can support itself. See how it says no fuel there? Uh, that means that we're not producing enough of it at the same time. Now, it just so happens that I have a massive backlog of it over here, uh, which uh, sometimes does happen. Uh, and so we're just going to obscenely run uh, all this out into here, and it's just going to create a gigantic flow of it uh, to burn up all that excess that I have in there. Now, I do also need some uh, for down the road here, uh, for down my production line. So I'm also going to go ahead and just sneak some around the corner here uh, and run that down uh, that production line as well. And that's going to fire those out, giving us a lot more power. Like so. All right, very nice. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and let that run. Oh, we got something else done. High uh, thermic material, which is one of the things we were looking to do. Uh, I feel like we could probably make this a little closer. And do something like that. Take this part out. Now I'm going to allow us to do uh, something here I want to do right here, which is a split up. Uh, Catch up here on chat here in just a second, everybody. Uh, let me uh, stay focused on what I'm doing. So I can kind of finish this out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and run one line. As close as we can. Can't go that way. Right to there. Then we'll run the second line out over back. And we'll run that along this edge. And we'll merge it into here. So now uh, you have both lines getting the benefit of all that excess power or excess items that we have running there. 
Very nice. Okay, now over here, uh, we're getting this fired up. Uh, let's have this go in the right direction, this way, like this. And then we'll have these pushing out more graphite. Like so. Okay, it looks like we got... Do we have any extra at the end there? Man, lots of graphite coming out now. Very, very nice. Okay. I kind of feel like this should go uh, to the end here. Back that up just a bit. Um, yeah, go to the end there. And that should uh, fill that up if we don't have enough. Yeah, we. the belt is not fast enough. Uh, or it's just backlogged right now. Right, so it's backlogged in here. If I take this out, uh, it should uh, create a bit of a gap. If it doesn't create a gap, then that means I'm producing more uh, than uh, it's actually can the belt can handle. And so we do have some higher end belts right here uh, that we can go ahead and try to produce a bunch of those and see how we do. What do we need? We need this, which needs these, which needs motors, which needs iron plates. That we got. Let's go. And so let's head back over here. We. All right, let me catch up on chat here. Uh, lots of units there. Da da da. Oh, someone got timed out. Probably for backseat gaming. Uh, yeah, no backseat gaming. Uh. Uh, no, that's backseat gaming, bro. That is backseat gaming. Oh, okay. Here you go, Mackenzie. Yeah, you're gone, bro. You're gone. Here's, if you didn't read the rules, you be respectful to my mods or you're gone. That's it. You're out. I ain't your papa. Uh, my mods are just following my rules. If you come in and tell me, hey, Kismet, this thing or that thing, or you need to do this or you need to do that, uh, don't do that. That's called backseat gaming. When you tell someone that they need to do something or you need to say, hey, uh, this is going on or that's going on, uh, you're gone, bro. You're out. I don't, I'm not your papa. I'm not here to, you know, uh, teach you how to be a decent person. Uh, so if you're going to uh, be like that, especially if you're going to say uh, bad words in my chat, you're gone, bro. You're gone. I, I don't mess around. Uh, I'm, again, I'm not your papa. Uh, yeah. Yeah, don't don't be rude to my mods, cause my mods are just doing what I'm asking them to do. Uh, don't ever be rude to my mods. I will ban you. There's three reasons I ban people: they're disrespectful to the community, uh, disrespectful to my mods, or they're disrespectful to me. That's why I get rid of mods too, uh, and and people in my chat for those three reasons. If you're disrespectful of any of those three ways, again, I'm not here to babysit you. Uh, if you can't be a decent human being uh, and realize they're just trying to keep the chat awesome. Uh, then too bad you're out. Uh, you're gone. Just like that. Just like that. I don't mess around. Uh, again, because everybody in the chat don't want to deal with it either. They don't want to. They don't want to listen to people. You know, uh, have a big old tantrum in the chat. Big old tantruny. Okay, where are we going? We're going back over here to fix. This is not it. Uh, we're going this way. Going back over here. Nope, not that way either. This way. <laughs> to fix our power problem we have going on. Right here. Okay. So now our power's looking okay for right now, but we have a lot of excess uh, being pumped out of there. So at some point, this may be too many things there. But our power itself uh, is looking pretty solid. We're at 40. We uh, need 30. Uh, so that's good. Now, we don't need to run this all the way to the end here. We can just take that out. Take that out. And so we've got lots of lots of uh, power going there. So much more efficient power. Uh, you can see our coal is just waiting now uh, to produce that power. Kind of feel like we could also, while we're running this back, if we do have some excess, we can go ahead. Oh, man, we got a bunch of these. Stack that up pretty nicely. 
and then push this excess so this can keep running uh, into there maybe from here like that Yeah, I gotta move it over. Gotta move it over a bit. Nope. Pressing a whole lot of wrong buttons. I do that often. I press a lot of bad buttons. All right. Try that again. Get the first one to go in. And then on the other two, we'll go ahead and tell it to run out. Oh, it won't let me run that out right there because of the thing. Oh. All right, all right. We'll just fix this then. All right, take all this out. Rework our lines a little bit here. Oh, I'm using the good stuff. Let's use this stuff. Uh, right here, back into there. And then this. Coming to this way. There we go. Clean that up a bit. All right, this going into here, and then twice as much out. Oh, what? Oh, God, oh, God. Am I clicking today? Do it. A little uh, tip, by the way, for all you streamers out there. Log every single, uh, every single timeout, every single uh, uh, ban and all that. Because later on, people come back and say, Kimi, I got banned for no reason. Uh, and then I just go and I look in there because we log every single one on Discord. And I go look in there and I'm like, nope, you got banned for a good reason. Bye. <laughs> you got banned for a good reason and you're going to stay banned. Uh, we don't want to put up with none of your crap. Uh, let's do it. Okay. like I want to revise that. Uh, open the captain chest. Boom! Whoa! 200 gold going to LOC. Congrats to you, bro. Rotisserie G and Alf also getting some epic scrolls. And Cookie coming in with the 12 kills. Nice job. Uh, MVPing it up there. Uh, oh, look at that. Templar scrolls. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, let's see. We're going for the boss now. Let's keep the battles going. Giving you guys lots and lots of love. Uh, here in the chat, right there, uh, bada bing, bada boom, uh, there we go, uh, as well. Uh, dee, 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 dee. okay. Okay, I feel like we'll do a bit of that, and I think we only need two of these coming out, and so what it's going to do is it's going to put some of it in there, it's going to split it basically, so it's going to run some in there and then run some down the line, uh, so because I have a whole bunch of stuff down the end of the other side of the factory that's uh, utilizing uh, some of that graphene, uh, or graphene, uh, some of this, uh, whatever the heck they call it, uh, graphite, energetic graphite. Uh, graphene is uh, another game. That's another game. Uh, speaking of graphene, there's a bunch right over here. Uh, let's go ahead and put a uh, some of this in this box over here. Now I feel like we're getting our power squared away over here. Power's looking good. Oh. Right here. There we go. Um... Backlog, maybe some of this coal in here as well. 
Uh, I feel like my favorite backlog thing is one in and two out. So one in and then two out uh, like that. And we'll put some power back here to keep that running. Uh, and so it'll backlog a lot of this. But also another great thing is that you can just walk up here and you can put yours in there. Uh, get it out of your inventory. And so you know it's going to get used at some point, uh, potentially. So that's why I have one in and two out, right? So if there is a whole big backlog, uh, it will then start to uh, backlog it over here, uh, which is pretty sweet. And that looks like more than enough right now uh, going on. This is looking pretty smooth over here. Uh, again, more in this one. Let's take that one out. And how are we doing over here? Is this one starting to empty? Yes. Okay, good. Again, doesn't do us any good sitting in that box. Uh, does us a way more good uh, down the line. Look at it starting to backlog too. Starting to backlog. Hold on. Let's uh, let's fix this. We see it start to backlog. We want to uh, definitely fix that. We'll go to a center line and then run that across there. There we go. And then that allows us to kind of push two of those in there. There we go. What am I using these slower ones for? I'm using the slower ones. There we go. I can't even fit in there. Can't even fit in there. It's already full. Uh, it's already full. All right, let's uh, let's do a little solid here by grabbing a bunch of that out, just so we can start up again. And we'll run it. Anything in this one? Nope. Take that out, and we'll run it over into this one. It's kind of a backlog, man. I feel like this is all gonna backlog uh, for sure. All right, so now that power is styling. Now, one of the things that I just did, by the way, if you didn't notice, uh, is if you missed it. Uh, is that I took all the power out over here. And so I'm not even using the power over here. Yet, I'm still able to make enough power, even though I took it out all over here uh, and put it over there, I'm still making enough power to run my factory, uh, even though I'm not utilizing any of this over here, which means that we can make a lot of it from over here too and have even more power uh, all ready to go. And we need some graphite for our uh, uh, production over here as well. And so we have three other nodes over here that we haven't even tapped into yet. And so we're going to get into that uh, right now. We've got to make more of these, though. Make a bunch of those. And then we're going to go ahead and run these across here. Nope. One more out. Trying to line it up. What the heck? Oh, lack. that's lack of item there. Okay, uh, we got that going. Now we need to go ahead and, I guess, start to backlog a bunch of this. Let's do that. Let's do our uh, one in and two out uh, while we're at it. I don't know what's going on with that, but we're going to fix that. Into there. This one this way. And then this one. Onto there. And there we go. Okay. So one in. And two out. And put down our power. Uh, all right. And then we'll put our smelters, let's say right here, just after it. Run those along there. We're gonna make a lot of that. Okay. Now, because they're running more efficiently now, I don't really need as many as I needed before uh, to run the same amount of power. But I'm going to need future expansions, so I definitely want to uh, utilize what I've got uh, for that future expansion. I also really, at this point, what I really want to do is make a lot of solar power on both sides of the planet. 
right? And make a big solar ring all the way around it. So as it's rotating, right, uh, it constantly has solar power all the way along. Uh, and then that power will then feed the rest of the whole planet. Uh, and you can tell, you know, west, east, north, south, uh, depending on the planet and the planet's orientation of the sun, uh, is that we could align the uh, solar panels so they're like that, or we could just build them on two sides. But eventually those two sides would be not facing the sun. So uh, the best thing to do is build a gigantic ring. Now, what I would do, though, if I was going to build a gigantic ring, uh, is I would build the one that's closest to the sun. Right, because then uh, you would be right there next to the sun, like this one right here, Theta Dragos. This one is the one I would just build massive solar and then transmit the solar power uh, over there because uh, you can't do that in this game. Uh, we just uh, unlocked that just a minute ago. Have we done that yet? No. <laughs> we're just still getting started. Okay. Now, while we're waiting, let's get back in here. Uh, let's take some of this out. Ah, I'm not trying to do any of that. I'm just trying to get in there. There we go. Uh, take some of this out and feed it over here. Ah. Like this. There we go. Take that out. And take that out. Nope. Click on that. This out. This gets real confusing as to which one you're actually clicking on. There we go. And then this. That out. Out. And then take it off. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then this, and then control. Okay. Okay, so we got that filled up already. We're going to go ahead and make some more of these. Make sure that backlogs nicely. And this is going to make a bunch of this. And then, you know, I feel like I'm going to run the graphite on this side. Run it out on this side, and then we'll run some of it this way. Uh, and then some of it back for our power. So, let's start by running it that way first. Nope, did not want to do that. Nope. I uh, wanted to take it to there. There we go. And then this one. And there comes our graphite. Let's do that again. Darn it. Okay, I should be using my shift key is what I should be doing. Clicking this and then... I can do that instead of having to choose it down here all the time. I get into bad habits. Bad habits. Okay, and then this is going to go here. Why do I have this weird? Why do I have this weird circle there? Get that out. This is going to go into there. And that will run all these other machines here, including making uh, diamonds for our thing here. Uh, I feel like we've probably depleted all of our uh, titanium. We've got to get our titanium from the other planet and bring it here. Uh, I think we've probably depleted all we had stacked up. Yeah. Okay. We'll have to work on that. A few fuel cells there. And we got to get all that working. And that's going to stop our research as well. Okay. But... We got lots of graphite going off. <laughs> uh, all right, and then we'll circle this also back. So let's go ahead and take this out for a second. Let's go ahead, put in, uh, well, I don't have any more splitters. Apparently not. And we'll put this right like that. Okay, and then we'll run this back over this way. with that all 
All we gotta do is finish out this little part here at the end. Come on. Beep. There we go. Uh, and that's gonna run down that way. And now we can go ahead, get ourselves some more power. So now we're gonna have excess power. Always a good thing. And this, instead of running off of coal, is now gonna run off of graphite, which will be much more efficient for our overall power. And actually, the funny thing is, I think that's my graphite line there. It's coming in. Is this my graphite line? Let's go look. Oh, I took out the... Uh... Oh, it's going in too fast. It's going in too fast. It's got to come out of there, too. Got to come out of there and go down the line. So I think that is my graphite line uh, that I already have. And I'm going to create that loop I was talking about where uh, the extra graphite merges in uh, with it. Now, I'm not going to merge it back on my power right now, but that's going to merge into there. And so now you have any excess graphite uh, that comes down will merge into there. So let's go down over here and see if we're even producing enough graphite. Doesn't look like it. Does not look like we're producing enough. Because we can see that the coal is backlogging along that line. And we have a lot of backlog of coal in here. So let's go ahead and, you know, upgrade this just a little bit more. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab some more of this action. Put some more of these in. Like this. We're going to take this line and run that a little extra. Uh, right into there. I should make some more of those while we're doing this. Uh, and then push that coal from over here into there. Like this. Use up all the coal we can. And then push this back out in the back here. Get some more of those here in a minute. There we go. Trying to use up, use up that coal. Oops. A little too far there. There we go. Use up that coal. Come on, get her done up in here. Taking a minute to do all that stuff. Uh, we got to get that production going too, so I don't have to keep making those. Kind of feel like that's something you want to do early on, is have it automatically make a bunch of that stuff. Uh, now, uh, again, this this is excess power here. I don't even need to worry about this because we are we're way over now. Uh, we're at 55 of 40, and of course, the more of this I add, the more power it takes to make power. Um, but it is a much more efficient power. So we want to definitely get that fired up. All right, there we go. And then we'll push these out onto there. And now we're doing it. Look at that. Yeah. Now we're keeping a nice steady flow there. Steady flow. Oh, uh, graphite. Okay, and this is getting its graphite over here that it needs to make diamonds. And I probably should be backlogging these diamonds because these diamonds could be functioning right now. Uh, let's do that. Let's get these diamonds running into there. And running back out. All right, there we go. So our diamond production back up and running. This is just cranking now. All right, that's got lots of that. All 
Okay, not hurting for any graphite down here, that's for sure. Uh, so I'm putting a bunch of graphite in there for some reason. I think I'm feeding it into this. Yeah. This needs the graphite to make the red cubes. And all right. So we need titanium. That needs to be our next thing. Okay, now, how do we make these things that go into outer space? These suckers. Do we have... We don't have... No, we have... We have exactly nothing uh, that we can do out of that. Okay. Uh, that's funny. Okay. Uh, did I take all my... I didn't take all my resources out. I got a bunch of resources on me. Um, what? This has to be built where? Uh, have a corresponding on side man. Only enables delivery around its own planet. Okay. So this is around our own planet. And we're trying to get the one that uh, does delivery elsewhere. Okay. Hub of planetary logistics systems. Logistics drones will automatically transport cargo between stations when you set the corresponding items for supply and demand. Uh, so, we need to get more titanium. I feel like that's the next thing we need to do. Okay. Now we got a bunch of graphene laying around now, so let's just go ahead uh, and let's get this stored up too. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a little bit. A little smidge of that. Put the small stacks back. You know what? Screw it. Let's just grab it all. We're just going to put it into our bot anyway. Uh, and now we need to go get some titanium. So what do I need to do? I feel like I'll go out over here. And we'll make another storage. Really? Out of storage is a good... Because we're out of steel. Got no steel up there? I do, right here. Oh, it's got a little bit. Let's go get a whole bunch. A whole bunch of steel over here. Here's what we'll do. We'll get up here. We'll click on it down here. We'll control click there. Uh, then we'll click on it here. God, I got too much stuff on me. Uh, let's put this in here temporarily. Then we'll put that in there. We'll click this. We'll click this. We'll click this thing over here. We'll take this and put that first. Put that down. We'll click this. We'll grab that. We'll put it over here. All right. We're just going to siphon a lot of this over to our other box here. Put that out and grab some of that. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Now when we go to that box, boom, it's going to have a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, instead of me going back and forth a hundred times. Uh, so we need to make more boxes with that. Make a bunch of those. Now, I really want to centralize all my resources. I feel like when we get the local planetary thing going, we'll then take all of the resources and we will uh, centralize them uh, into a nice big area. I feel like I'm just going to cover this water area right here and just uh, build myself a central storage. Uh, all right, we got that figured out. Now, we want to figure out this planetary thing. So we got those. We need to get those. Processors. Just make as many of those as we can. We get ten of those. Uh, and what else? Um, we're trying to make this. Okay, so it's going to make a bunch of those. Uh, these, we need uh, electromagnetic turbines. Okay. We need to get our turbine production up. We need to get that fired up big time. I feel like I got it stopped over here because I, I siphoned that off. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and make a storage for this. We're just going to have it make us a ton of these turbines. Can I reach? No, can't quite reach. Can't quite reach. Try to get a little closer. There we go. And we're just going to push these into this box so it doesn't stop. All right, there we go. I feel like everything has to go eventually into a storage so you can walk over there and get it out of the storage so it doesn't stop the production of that particular item. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that can be a problem. 
Uh, and again, we're having trouble with magnetic coils. What's going on with our coils? These are things here. Our magnetic coils are coming through the front. They're right here. Coming through the front of this. Let's chase them down. And just not enough of them coming down the line. Uh, you know what? Let's just take this out. Add some more production for that. Okay, send it there. I feel like we can also replace all these production uh, things with the higher level ones, which go faster. Now we should be making a lot more. And those should be making it past here. Yeah. Using a lot of those for blue cubes. I think those use a combination of both iron, uh, these magnets, and copper ignits. Okay, we got to feed some copper ignits across. Get this one going. Certainly not going to have a shortage of those. And now we're going to get that fired up. I'm watching to see if it gets to the end. If it doesn't get to the end, then that means I'm not producing enough uh, of these over here. Add another one. Add another one. I see we have plenty of iron. Uh, iron ignis coming down the line. Power in the way. Fix that in a second. There. Is that power right there, and hope we, hope we have it in a good spot, and push that back out. Okay, so now we got four instead of three. Let's we'll see how we do. I got to let it run for a little while for it to, uh, you know, get all the excess that you've made uh, out of there. And for it to start to backlog in the machines. This is called inline running when you run it like this, by the way. Uh, sometimes harder than uh, just straight up splitting it into each and every one. So you're trying to oversaturate like the first one here. And once it gets uh, uh, enough, uh, then it will go to the next one. And then this one will get enough. And that will go to the next one and so on. Yeah, this is... Uh, this one's getting uh, overflow, but this one's not. It's not getting it fast enough. That is not enough. Oh, makes me want to take all this out and redo that too. Uh, oh, so tempting. We'll let that run for a bit. Let that run for a bit. Let's go back over here. And we need these. We need these motors. Okay. Again, we're trying to build one of these. Uh, oh, that we can do. I just keep it on 10 and then tell it to make as many as it can. Uh, all right. So it's got to make a bunch of those, but we definitely don't have enough to make enough of those uh, in there. We need 20 of those, 40 of these. Right now we can make 10 of those. And that's because we need more of whatever. Uh, 
right, let's try that again. We need these, so we need this. So we need more, oh, high purity silicon, okay. Okay, I feel like we gotta make a run, everybody. We're gonna make a run. So we need silicon and we need uh, 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 all of our stuff there. So we're gonna take all this out. We're gonna take our fuel with us uh, right over here. Um, C. And so we'll redo our fuel. Oops. Okay. Or not. Oh, I already did it. I already did it. Okay. Uh, we did our fuel. What were we putting this? I don't know. I'm putting it right here. And so we'll take four more stacks so we can get back. And we'll go ahead and leave. Or just put all my stuff into this one. Okay. Uh, we'll leave that there. We're just going to fly there and fly back. Silicon and titanium. Let's go. Uh, so silicon is going to be uh, number one here. So we're just going to go maximum speed. And go to the one that's closest first. We're out in the void of space. Trying to aim it. And then hands off. Hands off. Let me catch up on chat. Uh, let's see. This looks nice satisfactory, said Luntek. Yeah, uh, it's kind of a mixture of factory -o, satisfactory, astroneer, all kind of mixed into one awesomeness. Uh, that is the Dyson Sphere program. Uh, very, very cool. Highly recommend it. Remember, still in early access, uh, and already a 10 out of 10. Already a phenomenal, phenomenal game. Uh, I highly recommend it. And as you can see, we just flew to a whole other planet, which is cool. Uh, which is where I have some of my resources. Now, i got to kind of remember where my my base is. It's over this way, uh, over here. Uh, and so i got to kind of orient myself. Uh, let's see. Kind of turn into my right. Uh, all right, we want to turn this way. There we go. And then we'll fly around the upper atmosphere. The land where we want to land. Boom. <laughs> now, meanwhile, while I've been off on my other planet, it's over here working away, doing its thing. Uh, as you can see, we need to upgrade the quality of this, too. Uh, now that we know that that does that. Oh, look at that. Look at that, everybody. It has already filled up two boxes worth of solar panels. Oh, I'm super excited about it. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Uh, that's box number two. That's box number one. Uh, so we've been letting it do solar panels for us while we've been busy doing other things. Now we need some silica here, so we're going to grab uh, probably not that much. Let's just grab the top box, uh, maybe a bit of this here. So we'll grab kind of a half a box of this. And then also while it's been doing silica on another planet, off we go. Uh, on another planet, we've got uh, some titanium going. I gotta find out where that planet is. Where is that planet? It's way out in uh, that direction. Let's see, where am I at? I'm here, uh, so away from the sun. So I'm gonna look for where the sun is. There it is. And then it's gonna be off to the side of it, one way or another. There it is. Uh, and then we're gonna fly toward it. Let's go. You can hold down shift to try to get your sail speed up. I should have let my uh, should let my stuff regen uh, quicker. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to work on our power uh, so that we can uh, build more stuff and of course also power our guy a bit more. Uh, we've been trying a whole bunch of new stuff. We've been trying to unlock a bunch of new research, uh, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, and I got to remember to put in my thing there. And we also do this on the side. These are little battles that we play. They're pretty fun. Uh, we're going to go in here and blow it up uh, big time uh, as well.
Boom, that's another win. Suvi Fox, uh, Reaper all getting some love. I see Diamonds with a double roll there with an 8-8. Eight and eight. Uh, Kills and assists as MVP. All right, one more battle and then one more battle after that to take on the boss. Let's go. Uh, let's see, there's a two skull. Let's get the archer. Eh, I'm feeling the right side this time. Let's go. I like to mix it up. I like to mix it up from time to time. All right, we're still flying our way out here. Let's hold down the shift key, try to speed ourselves up a little bit. Mm, there we go. All right. That ought to go a little bit faster. Uh, and that's why we uh, filled up our uh, energy over there, uh, is so that we can get there. In just case we run out, we'll also have some extra we can put in. Uh, but we really need to get to those fuel cells um, because those charge faster. The better your you know power source, the faster it charges your... Uh, sailing and stuff, especially when you're going between planets, I would imagine that'd be especially important uh, and whatnot. I just wait for it to kind of build up a little bit, and then I use it, and I build it up a little bit, and then I use it, and so on. Uh, so my guy's going faster because when you're in space, you accelerate to a certain speed, and then you stay at that speed. Uh, it's not like you're going to slow down uh, at all. So there you go. We'll get there. Faster. Must go faster. That's 792 miles per second. <laughs> That's pretty fast. Very, very fast. Now, I suggest to let your power go all the way up before you go in sail, because then when you hold down shift, you uh, can go up to like a thousand, uh, a thousand uh, miles per second. But we'll be fine. We're almost there. I try not to land on the ground, because when I land on the ground, then I have to wait for it to regen. Uh, while we're waiting, we can look around, see which way we're going. Over this way. Sometimes it's hard to see where you're at. I think it's behind me. Yeah, it's behind me. Uh, so, I could just go sh this way, though. Oh, I'll go behind me. Go that way, and then i got to curve off left. Okay, this way. I want to curve a little bit left. Ah, out of power. Out of oh, power. Such is the way it goes. Let's see if it backlogged a bunch of this while I was gone. Oh, no. I forgot to restore all the power. I forgot to restore all the power. That was my bad. Oh, look at all this graphite, too. Uh, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, tell this to only, instead of being coal, uh, let's tell this only to be graphite. There we go. Uh, and that's going to get that going. I forgot to put my power back in. That's what I was going to do. And I don't have enough of those things, so I need some uh, copper. Uh, and, uh, stuff. Uh, I could just bring back the raw, I guess. I don't feel like doing that. Um, we've got some copper in here, maybe. Got any left? No, I don't think we have any left. Hmm, hmm. I think we we're doing a mix. There it is. Uh, I thought we were doing a mix box, and I was correct. And there's some copper in there, iron in there. Put a whole bunch of stuff in there. All right, there we go. Now we can do some power uh, power lines. So I took the power lines out because I was having a power issue. Now, of course, when I put some batteries on here, I think it'd be way better. Uh, this would be a perfect planet for uh, tons of uh, solar cells that you're just using as a power collector um, because of uh, uh, because of the flatness of it, and there's no trees and lakes and all of that stuff. Uh, this will work a lot easier. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this over to there. 
and then we'll tie this across to there and then over here to our extractors and that should now do some plates there um, and let's take a look at our overall power consumption we're using three out of nine all right let's see if we can get this back into the fold our copper being extracted again that stuff's all fired up bunch of coal stored up here at the end let's go ahead and add some more oh, I don't have I don't have the ability to add more things because I don't have any uh, stuff so I have to go in and remake a bunch of those that's gonna take a minute because it's got to do all of those things uh, to make those so that's 30 what not all right, that's going to take a minute. We'll let that run. Uh, I kind of feel like what I want to do is is take this around, uh, make some more uh, graphite so I can make more power. Though I have nine running right now, so that's pretty good. And I do have a good backlog of it right here. Uh, so that's pretty good, too. Overall, I think that'll be fine. Plenty of power. I'm also got power because of my uh, because of my thing there. If I wanted to make some of those, see, I didn't bring those with me because I was anticipating just picking up the thing, but I forgot that uh, that I didn't uh, I didn't start that up. All right, we'll let that run for a while. We'll come back. We got other things to do. Uh, all right, we got to find our way back to our main planet. And max speed ahead. Bam, 800. Aim right toward that sucker. All right, back we go. Uh, again, this is fun. Very, very fun game. Again, you're going between planets. What we're trying to do right now is we're trying to set trade between the same planet and then we'll eventually set up trades between multiple planets. Uh, actually, the one I'm researching right now in that upper left-hand corner uh, is the one that is for uh, multiple planets, and you can run resources. So instead of me going over there, uh, I can run those resources to where I am. Also, there's an ability to do power uh, between planets as well. So we want to definitely do that uh, for sure. Now, another fun thing is if you could do wireless power, uh, where you would want your solar panels to be would be next to the star. Uh, would be on probably the closest planet to the star, if it's not going to melt, obviously. Uh, but the closest planet you can put to the sun, because it's going to travel the least distance and have the most uh, potency uh, of that, uh, and the same thing in real life, uh, you go put it on that planet, and, or put it around that planet as a satellite or whatever, uh, and then you beam that power back to uh, the other planets. Uh, that would be a cool way of doing that. Very cool. All right, speed up. Maximum speed. We're at 1,000 now. 1,000 miles per second. Oh, and there it made some conveyor belts. Uh, that's okay. We'll come back and deal with that later. I'm going to 103 now. I don't think I can go any faster. No. Actually slowed me down by holding down the shift key. That's funny. I'm trying to aim myself right at the planet. Uh, it doesn't make any sound when you're in space, because this is what it sounds like in space. <laughs> Apparently. I don't know. I've never been there myself. But I'm just assuming. We're coming in at 1,000 miles per second. That's pretty fast. I'm surprised the whole planet doesn't blow up when I land. Slow way down. There we go. Boom. I'm back. Okay, titanium's got to go into his box. Where is it? This way. Titanium into the box. In there you go. Okay.
Uh, that's going to start that back up again. Uh, and again, we need this to make a bunch of this stuff. Uh, we need a bunch of that. Let's go see how it's been doing with that over here. Oh, those are almost those are almost out. Uh, it should be doing ish. Filling this up with a bunch of those. Eh, 22, we'll take it. Uh, again, we're just trying to get the resources to go on the same planet as we're on. So let's go back and get our resources. Over here. Uh, let's go ahead and replenish that. So, what are we doing? We're getting our resources back. Put all that back on me. Uh, making another one of these. Do we have another one? Nope. Let's make some more of those. More stone. Let's go get it. Oh, wait. I got some right here. That's why I put it there. So I didn't have to run all the way over there. Whoop. There we go. Uh, let's take the silica out for a second. Put that in. Build a bunch of these babies. Well, 20 of those. Uh, and then... I'm going to just take that out of here. That back in there and take this out. And then we'll make another one of these. And we'll put all that silica in there. Alright, we'll just take a little bit of that silica. Okay, tell me again what you need here, bro. All right, we got that going. We Oh, we need some of those titanium maggots. Oh, God. Quick, grab them before they're gone. Too late. Too late. Already gone. Oh, God. Grab them. I don't think we're going to have enough now. Oh, just enough. Exactly 40. Okay, that was lucky. That was lucky, everybody. Very, very lucky. Okay, now, what do we need for this? Uh, I need a, a lot more of this to produce more of these. I think that's the problem. I don't have enough of them. I can produce them. I just can't produce enough. So, how many of those do I need? I need 20. And I can produce... 13. So, what is it I'm low on? Probably these. Probably those, but let's get some of these meshes over here anyway. Uh, let's get another... Oops, let's get a couple stacks of those. Bring those back with us. Yeah, hurting for these motors. So, when it when I see that I am uh, have a limited amount of something, uh, that makes me want to go make a whole production for that particular thing, so I'm not constantly... Uh, waiting on that but all we have to do is get this going and once we get this going we want to produce at least two of these we can produce one of them right now uh, we want to tell it to go from one place and then move it and put it into the other place uh, which means we're going to need a whole lot more of this uh, and while that's running we could probably go back for some more uh, more stuff uh, let's make sure I've got some yeah uh, let's go back for some more titanium we're out and again, we got to do this manually first, and then eventually we can set it up uh, where it's not so manual. It's not so manual, and we can just uh, actually have it transport between planets. And then eventually we can go between systems. Uh, we can go between uh, entire systems of planets. Uh, we do look on the map here. We're just in this one system, right? Right here. That's us. And then look at this. Oh, look at all those systems we have yet to check out next, right? Lots of systems we could check out. Uh, I'm very excited about that as well. How are we doing on time? Holy mackerel, time's flying by. We're having too much fun, everybody. That was super lucky. Exactly 40, yeah, that was super lucky. Oh, man, at least we can get that one building while we're flying uh, to go get some more uh, for sure. And I had a gigantic amount of uh, of that uh, stuff done, and I brought a bunch of it back. Uh, but then I used it to make a bunch of yellow cubes. 
Uh, and I want to be able to get uh, our next thing unlocked. To, we want to make a bunch of yellow cubes so we can unlock the one that goes between planets. But we want to get the one in our planet working uh, so that we can bring all of our resources to a central hub. Uh, and I feel like that would probably be a better start uh, and just figure out how the mechanics work in the first place. Uh, so I kind of feel like it says that uh, you might need uh, two of them. Right. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, so it might need two of them. It says the hub of planetary logistics and logistic drones will automatically transport cargo between stations when you set the corresponding items for supply and demand. Uh, so uh, uh, storage has three types of storage. It's made in the assembler. Uh, uh, or I guess I could make it myself, which I did. And uh, I probably need one on one side and one on the other is what I'm guessing. Uh, and it can grab those particular resources and then run those resources somewhere else. Again, don't tell me. Part of the fun is me figuring it out. Uh, that is part of the fun. Don't tell me nothing. And this doesn't take too long. I like the fact that you can, you know, max warp yourself. Uh, if you have enough uh, fuel, you can go back and forth between them just to kind of get get things rolling. Right? Because you don't have any titanium on. Oh, you have a little bit of titanium, but not that much. Uh, on uh, your starter planet there. And if you do this low orbit, by the way, it uses a lot less power. Uh, so it's easier to get from place to place. If you use the higher orbit, it burns your power much faster. Uh, all right. Let's see how much we've cooked up while we've been gone. Yeah. Now we talking. Keep doing your thing, bro. Keep doing your thing. Uh, over here, it needs a little power, too. There we go. All right, how's our overall power doing? Oh, we're at nine, and we're only doing that. All right, we could probably do even more power uh, if we so desire and be uh, producing these faster. But I feel like we'll just rock it like that. I think that's probably pretty good. Um, what's going on with our iron over here? I think I cut the one in between. Yeah, I did. I took this one out. Okay, let's put that back in. And that'll start running our iron again. There it goes. Okay. Let's get over here. Uh, now, I feel like another thing I'm going to do is just full-on siphon, siphon some of this power. Uh, so we're going to make one of these. And then we're going to take this, and we're going to put this down, and we're going to stand next to it. And we're going to siphon some of this extra power. And look at my look at my uh, bar going. Oh, you can't see the things in the way, but you'll see it come out the other side here in a minute. Uh, it really goes much faster when you stand under here and you're just siphoning the power from uh, your actual base. Uh, it allows you to go from place to place and regen much quicker uh, than your actual stuff. We'll see it pop out the other side here in a moment. And why are we doing that? Well, when we're in space, of course, we want to have uh, as much uh, energy backlog so that we can uh, uh, so that we can uh, go faster. There it goes. And you can see it's going much faster when I'm standing underneath the thing. Okay, we're out. I don't want to fly too much uh, in there. I want to get all the way into space as quick as possible. Uh, like this, so it's not burning my stuff. See, like that. Uh, otherwise, it's burning my, uh, burning my uh, ability to regen. All right, we got a lot of that. And back. To our planet again we go. And we'll get going. Uh, something wrong with one of the titanium smelter? Yeah, we'll check it out later. Uh, I just need to get a bit of it. Uh, I'm just trying to do this one last thing before we run out of time. Uh, we actually got really far. I was only trying to get to yellow cubes. We have already got yellow cubes going. Uh, we just need to transport the titanium from that planet uh, and transfer it over here. And then we're going to scale that up. Uh, we really also want to do our uh, stored power because over there on that planet, what I'm doing is I'm making tons of solar power because I know that eventually all of my resources are going to be depleted. And when all of my resources are depleted, especially my coal, uh, I'm not going to have uh, any power uh, and that's going to be a problem. Right. So I'm thinking ahead, just like in real life, by the way, everybody, uh, if we don't do something about our problem, uh, our power problem, we're going to have the same problem uh, in real life. Uh, so we need to get ourselves some big old batteries and lots of solar power and basically power the entire world off one gigantic grid. 
Uh, that would be genius level. Uh, if you get all these people to stop bickering and start working. <laughs> I mean, we go build a space station in outer space. I think we could build a gigantic, uh, a gigantic solar array that would power the whole Earth. There's a huge sections of the Earth not doing nothing right now. Uh, huge sections uh, not even being used. You could just you could just section off an entire state. <laughs> entire U.S. state is just nothing but solar panels uh, and whatnot. Uh, especially the peeps who get sun all the time and no adverse weather. Uh, California is much like that. Very rare do you have like storms or anything like that. Uh, you could section off a whole middle part of it. You could section off the whole desert. You could buy up the desert and put it in the desert. Uh, of course, it's very hot there too because it might uh, damage the solar panels. Uh, but uh, there's huge sections we could section off uh, or we could, you know, if we could figure out how to transport it wirelessly or how to make a space cable, I guess, uh, run it across, run a big long cable across space, uh, we could uh, just put it on the moon, make the whole moon just a power generator, right? That's all it would do, uh, collect solar power and then bring that solar power to Earth. Uh, but the problem is with a big long cable is that the, you know, the, the moon is moving. <laughs> so the cable starts wrapping around the earth. Uh, that wouldn't be good. That would not be good. But yeah, you get the general idea. I mean, even if you, uh, stored it there, uh, and then you transport it right back and forth. Uh, I mean, there's so many options you could do. So many, many, many options. All right, we're going left. We're going this way. Okay, now we got the stuff that we need. Let's see if we can start centralizing all of our power here and all of our stuff. Uh, let's do it. Okay, how do I make this thing? Upgrade facilities? No. 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 Nope. Transportation. There it is. Okay, transportation. Oh. Boom. Logistics station. You have taken the first step to establish the Intraplanetary Logistics Transportation Network, provided the place of logistics station of the raw material is set to supply. The logistic drones will transport cargo to elsewhere with a demand on the planet automatically. Never forget to put the logistic drones in the logistics station, either the supply or the demand side. The logistic drones will only work for the transportation station they're belonging to. Okay. Good tips. I like those tips. Okay, here we go, everybody. Uh, empty slot. So we need some logistic drones, and I'm, I knew we had to make some. Uh, <laughs> all right, we got to make some logistic drones. Uh, let's make some of them suckers right here. Uh, let's make as many as we can make. Let's make a crazy ton of them. Ten times. Go. We can make two. Uh, we need iron ingots. That's not a problem. I got a whole bunch of iron ingots right here. Snatch those up. Make some more of them little suckers. Uh, all right. I feel like we're going to have to put some serious production on on those, too. All right. Little logistic drones. Uh, need some power. We'll give you your own special power pole. Right here, because it looks like it's not going to be blocking the output. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, see if it was me. I would make one of these, and I would have the power pole built into the building. Why would you have a separate power pole? Why not just build it into all of the buildings? I know, because it just thinks of the most obvious stuff, right? Why would this not already be attached to that? I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know government work. I don't know government contract. I don't know. That's just me. All right, it's charging up. Uh, max charging power, transport range of drones, 180 degrees. Uh, minimum load of drones, 10%. Okay, what are we loading? Uh, select an item. Uh, I want you to bring my, uh, oh, I feel like this is going to be in the center and everything else is around it. I want you to bring me some plates. That's what I want. I want it to be making me some plates first because we got to, we got to flatten this planet out. Uh, let's go look at our plates over here. Are we even making plates? I can't remember. I can't remember. If we are. There's going to be a crazy ton of them over here. That's for sure. Okay, so plates. I don't see me making any plates. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on a second. We 
got to make all that other stuff first. Um, hmm. Let's just turn this to something else while we're waiting. Um, we want to make plates. That's not done in there. It's not done in that one. Okay, it's got to be probably in the assembler. Jeez, we got a lot of those. We got a lot of them suckers. Right here. And this takes those and those. So what we need is we need our stone. We need to get this stone from here uh, over to our main main base over here. That'll be the first thing we test. Well, look at that in the distance. Okay, that's cool. That's cool looking. Go land on it. Uh, can't land on it. Oh, well, I'll try it. Uh, all right, so we want this to be stone. So, uh, how do we know stone? Okay, supply, demand. We have a demand for stone. Okay, we want to bring the stone in. We want to run the stone into a stone box. And then we want to combine that stone with... Uh, with one of these. Oh, God. We got to make another one of those. All right. Make those two. Make that two. Um, yeah. We want to bring that in and combine that with whatever else we need to combine that with. Um, oh, it was steel beams. Steel beams is what it was. So we need to bring our stone in, combine it with steel beams, and then make the thing I wanted to make, which I've already forgotten. Uh, all right, making those with this. God, I can't remember what I was making now. My brain, don't tell me, don't tell me. I, my brain just like stops because of my sleep apnea. Uh, what were we making? Stone. Oh boy. Uh. Hmm. Can't remember where I was going with that. Uh. Mm -mm. Oh, I think we're gonna make. Are we gonna make more of these? Ah, uh, let's go see. What do we need for that? We need this. What do we need here? More silica. I got a bunch of that already. Right here. And so we got that. I think we're making another one of these so we can bring the stone over. That's probably be the first thing I would do. Uh, we need, we got plenty of that. What are we low on? These. Yeah, low on those. Yeah, I want to redo all my systems here. Oh my gosh, there we go. Uh, redo all my systems so they're they're feeding into the center. Uh, of where all my storage is, and then I can feed it in and out from that central hub. Uh, that would be awesome uh, as well. So, we now got that. A lot of that now. We're looking good there. This needs something. More plates. More steel. Well, let's get a little bit of both. How about a little bit of both? I got my guy standing here too. He could be charging up. Uh, I need the second one down. So a couple of those. And a couple of these. And then make the thing. Booyah! All right, I'll make two of those. Good, let's make some more. Let's make some more of these puppies. All right, that's going to run for a while. Um, we're trying to take these. And, oh, we got to put our drones in there. So we've got 16 drones. How many can we have? Oh, my God. You can have 16 drones in there. Uh, I, that seems like a lot of drones to me. Uh, so we're demanding that. Uh, oh, we're going to make plates. That's what we're going to do. Plates, plates, plates. Because of it. Stay focused. Stay focused. Plates. There, I knew it would come back to me eventually. Or never. <laughs> They'll come back to me eventually or never, everybody. Okay, so we want to make plates. These right here. And so we need stone and we need that. So 
we're going to go ahead and let's tell this to come into stone. So we'll put that storage right there. And then on this side, we'll tell it to be the other thing. Put some power in here like that. And then we'll take all this out and put all that into this like so okay so that's going to go in there it probably is too close just done on me all right let's see need motors motors Oh, God, look at all those motors backlogged in there. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay, uh, I got to go check my door here in a second. All right. So, man, you get distracted. You, just for a second, you've already forgot what the heck you were doing. Uh, I've already got some of it going right here. Uh, and it's making the stuff. But I really want to get... We take this out now. We're going to take all this out. We take all that out. Okay. Now we can just run. What are we running along this line here? Why is there nothing coming out of there? Why is there nothing coming out of that line? What happened? I still got a lot in there. Right? Yeah, it stopped. Product stacking. Why does that stop coming out? Oh, oh, the uh, the uh, excess is uh, filled up. Yep, that's exactly what it is. That's why I always make a lot of these. Oh, God. We got to wait for all that to go before we can make more of those. Okay. Uh, what to do? You know what? Let's just waste it. What you can do is you can just waste it like that and get rid of it and then put it right back in again. I'm sure they'll take that out at some point. And I should start my production back up again. Just throw it away. Throw it away. There we go. That's slowing down my cubes right there. Slowing down my cubies. All right, is so we got that going. We want to run this the other way. Uh oh, this is whoa, hold on a second. I got an idea. Click on this, put all that in there. And then click this, take that out, take that out, go to here, drop all that in there. talking oh my god that's already that's a lot of that just sitting around man i could have been utilizing that all this time uh holy moly okay that's a lot of that uh ugh, can't even press the right buttons rotate there we go oh i don't have any more of those i don't have any more need some more stone Okay. Waiting for this to finish first. Uh, let's see if we can run that out. We can run. Okay, it's not too close. It's fine. All right, well, at least we fixed that. Um, 
We need to make more of these, man. We need to make more of all this stuff. I feel like what I want to do is spend some time just fixing what I've already got going, right? Uh, to fix all the assembly lines so that they're making the things that I need when I go to say, oh, I need some of this and I need some of that and I need this building and I need that building. Uh, it would be nice if uh, uh, if I had that all organized because this, uh, this is getting crazy now. Uh, I feel like uh, the thing you want to do is just... Uh, uh, get all the raw resources converted into uh, uh, into plates, and then from the plates you want to have long lines of uh, resources. But at this point, what I need is I need more space, right? So I want to just flatten the whole earth out. Of course, obviously, we're going to need some water to extract some water, uh, so we probably should leave a bit of that. Um, but I'm going to just go ahead and start flattening it out and then rebuild my factory uh, in that flattened uh, area. So I feel like that's the next important thing for me to do. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can also mess around with this thing and bring the uh, uh, bring the storage uh, to here. But yeah. That sounds like a plan. Uh, what are we waiting for? Wait for this to finish. Waiting for that to finish. We got a while, we got a while to go. Hey, what's up, Crims Knight? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I am doing good. What's up? Haven't been here in forever, says Jelly Beans. Well, hey, I've been here. Uh, doing pretty good. Uh, just checking in to say hello, kids, before housework, uh, which I keep putting off. Oh, I know how that goes, Crims. I know that goes too well. Uh, let's run a battle while we're waiting for that stuff to uh, craft out. Uh, let's go ahead and put my uh, spell down. There we go. And off we go. Battle time. Now, a little side game we play called Stream Raiders. Very fun. Uh, that's just uh, processing through all of those things. We'll let that go. I'm having a good time. Hope you've been having lots of fun. We've been playing tons of different types of games up in here. Uh, right now, playing Dyson Sphere Program. Uh, very, very fun game. I highly recommend. Uh, this is like uh, Factrio, Satisfactory, Astroneer, all crammed into an epic uh, 10 out of 10 early access game. Uh, very, very fun. As you can see, I'm figuring out all the logistics of my factories and as I go along I realize that I could have done it better uh, and I love that I love that about tearing everything down and making it better and making it more efficient and better and better as you go along uh, what I really need though is I need the ability to expand my land area because my land area is getting uh, very very small very very quickly uh, and so we're going to try to expand that here in a bit uh, let's see I feel like we're getting very close here we got about another 15 minutes grant some rewards there Rotisserie G, JC Hunter, LOC getting some love and Smudge Mark uh, coming in overall MVP. There we go. And time to get into the boss battle. Now, uh, by the time this boss battle is over, I believe that my stream will be over. But sometimes we run over anyway. Uh, but we're going to go into battle mode. And we're going to keep the battles going. So I'm going to do a bonus stream on top of my normal stream. I will do a bonus stream where I just keep the battles going all day long while I'm working on videos and stuff behind the scenes. Uh, working with uh, sponsors and whatnot. Uh, so we're going to keep that a going. Uh, let's go ahead and get all of our resources back out of here again. There we go. And uh, one of the things also I noticed is that it does what uh, uh, Seven Days to Die does. And that is when you start something crafting, uh, it will grab the resources out of your inventory. And thus, if you put all your inventory back uh, into it, the thing has already grabbed the, the resources so that uh, you don't have to keep them in your inventory if you're in the middle of doing something else. Like I was doing there, I was transferring... Uh, a lot of the stuff from uh, from over here to over there. Uh, and so now what I want to do here is I want to kind of revamp how I have this. Uh, we'll go ahead and run all of these uh, down the line uh, over to here. And we'll go ahead and push these into there now. There we go. Uh, and what we'll do here is we'll take this out right there and we will use our slower line right here while we're waiting and we'll push this out and then push that into there okay and that's gonna push it into that box and so on so we also want to probably make another box here if we can uh, to replace these smaller boxes So let's take those out and I feel like we want to put that over here as well and then we'll interconnect these two boxes there we go now we're getting some of those done uh, we'll interconnect those two boxes we'll go ahead and 
Take all of this. Put that over there. There we go. Just kind of transfer this stuff. One place to another. Let's just put all that back in there. Then we just take these out nice and quick. Put all that into there and then into there. And then take all our stuff back. All right. Very nice. Okay. We got that going. Uh, let's take that out now. Well, I kind of feel like I want this to go the other way. Let's change our mind. And run it this way. And I'll say to there. And then we'll run this across. Say about three back. And then we'll run it up and over. You can do elevated uh, things in this game, which is really cool. They're a little awkward because, uh, you know, other games that you've played, uh, they probably work differently. Uh, and the way that it, it lifts up and over there, you can't just do a, a small lift, uh, I find. And more power. That'll feed all that excess into there. And, I mean, I got a lot extra of those. Uh, that's I'm not hurting for those, that's for sure. Uh, okay, so we'll go ahead and say this one's got the demand. And then, so this one is demanding... Uh, stone and this one and the other one's going to supply the stone so let's go do that straight out here way oh, way out here okay and so we'll build another one which is transportation We'll build it right next to this power. And then we're going to run a line right out of here. Right into there. And we'll run that out of there. Like so. Now, in theory, this should start to fill up with stone. There we go. And this is the supply. And so will those drones start to come over here? Oh, there's something going. Look at there's something. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, my bad. My bad. Uh, my bad, everybody. Let me give you a thousand kids caps. I forgot. Uh, that's okay. When I screw up, you guys win. Uh, look, here comes the drones. Send in the drones. So I just, all I did is I set that down and ran a line to it uh, and then told it I wanted it to be uh, the stone. So the drones are coming in. They're picking it up. Oh, that is freaking cool. Yeah, I just went in and I told it that this is the supply. And I went in and I ran the stone uh, from this box into there. And I could probably be running this in way faster. Uh, let's go ahead and get a faster uh, output here. Let's get a couple of these firing out of there. There we go. Maybe even a third one uh, here at the end. And then back across this way. Pushing all three of those out. Not going to let me do it? Nope. Alright, that's too awkward. Too awkward. Let's do it like this. Let's reverse that direction. Do that. Push that out of there. There we go. Alright, lots of stone being pumped into that sucker. Uh, there we go can hold 5,000 stone and it's starting to fill up and boom so I got 16 drones going back look at that Whoa! look at that 16 drones grabbing the stuff going back and forth oh that's freaking cool bro that is cool. Instead of running conveyors, you can just have your drones uh, run them back and forth. Isn't that neat? Oh, man. Let's see a one in the chat if you guys dig that. I think that's awesome. Uh, that, you know what that reminds me of? Uh, Surviving Mars. Uh, Surviving Mars has a whole bunch of drones, and the drones run out, and they run stuff all over the place. Uh, another fantastic game, by the way. Uh, all right. So now we're pulling in uh, some stuff here. Right now, we've got about uh, 325 in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this out. 
uh, out of here. And we're going to run that. Let's run it straight out like this. There we go. Run that straight out of there. Uh, and then we'll run... No, I don't see it coming out of there. Oh, wrong thing. Run that into there. Why is it not coming out? How come it's not coming out? Uh, don't tell me. Part of the fun is figuring it out. So that's a supply. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I would have to tell it to go out. Can I duplicate items? Demand. Storage. Supply. Let's really confuse it. Demand. You would think it would just run out of there. Let's take that out. Okay, how do I tell it to run this out of there? I bet I got to tell it when I go to pull it out of there. I bet I have to say, take this such and such thing right there. Right up there, the filter. Take that such and such thing out of there, and that's what it does. It ah ha ha! All right, we learned. We learned the things and the stuff and the things, everybody. We learned the stuffs and the things up in here. All right, make me a bunch of those ones. I'm using the slower ones. Uh, all right, we learned some stuff. Now we want to get tons of stone in here. Ah, these things are so slow. Uh, I got to make. A, I got to make some production for that. Now we want to make a bunch of this. So. Uh, we want to take this and run that into there. We want to take this and run this into here. And you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not even going to use that one. We're changing our mind. We really want to get it going. Oh, what did we do with our thing? Did we set it down somewhere? We made one of those somewhere. Hold on. We got to go find it. Where do we make it? Probably over here where I was fooling around trying to make one. Look at the drones. This is so cool. I love the drone thing. All right. I feel like I got to make more drones. Must have more drones. Uh, Where the heck did I put it? I wonder if I put it in one of these boxes. Let's go see. That's exactly what I do with all my stuff. It's still in this box. Uh, all right. Let's get all that out of there. Uh, let's put this stone back in there. Uh, yeah, I put a bunch of that in there. I got two of them. Okay. So instead of using the lower level production, uh, we'll use the higher level production uh, one and see if we can really crank these babies out. Uh, all right. Higher level production. Boom. Faster conveyor belts. Oh, my God. I had a bunch of them in there. Like 59 of them in there. All right. Uh, push that into there. This into here. This. Platforms. Uh, hope that one's going in, not out. I mean, it's going out, not in. You know what I mean? Into there. You, into there. Now you make the thing. Ah, oh, ha ha! It's on like Donkey Kong. All right. Uh, now we firing it up. We gonna make some serious amount of plates over here. Man, this is way too close to my thing, though. Uh, now we'll go ahead and make some more storage. This this all got to be redone. It must be redone. But all I care about right now is a whole lot of... Uh, iron. Uh, is making a whole lot of uh, plates so I can flatten the earth to fix all of this. Alright, I don't need that many. There we go. Uh, and I got some wood and stuff on me. That wooden stuff off of me there. Get this stuff off my character. Too much, too much random junk. Okay. Now we talking. Now we talking over here. Uh, now we need to get our belts going. Let's go ahead and run our belt out right into there. 
and run this out of here into there. Oh, and there goes those plates. Okay. And then you go into there. It's going plenty fast. Okay. Whew, mama. I feel like uh, if I were to do the game again, if I were to start over from scratch, the first thing I would do is start to work on those two things. Uh, is to work on plates first. Um, before anything else. Uh, and that's so I could just flatten the land as I go along. But you got to have a certain amount of uh, dirt as well uh, to flatten that land. Uh, so that's important as well. All right, we got 46. All right, we're running out of time. We got one minute. Uh, let's go ahead and start to uh, flatten the entire planet uh, starting right here. Boom. Ah. Can I take it out? I guess I can't. I can't take it out. That's awkward. Okay. Awkward. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Um, what are we doing? Plates. This. Ah, dang it. I keep clicking the wrong thing. I drive, I drive myself crazy doing that. It's got to be just so, everybody. Right? It's got to be just so. See, and I got a whole bunch of soil pile over there that I'm using to bring up the water. I feel like this is going to use that up quick. And we'll just kind of set a perimeter across here. Now, this is me raising the ground. Uh, if I'm uh, bringing the ground down, then you get soil back, obviously. Man, I just keep misclicking there. Uh, all right, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, lack of item. Uh, that was quick. <laughs> there went all of our things. So that's what we're trying to do. We want to plate the entire planet. Uh, at some point uh, so that we can have uh, lots and lots of land. Now, another thing that I can do instead of pushing it out onto uh, my drones uh, is pushing it out onto the ocean here is that I could just flatten the land that I've already got uh, and fine tune all of my stuff, which is what I feel like I'm going to do here. I'm just creating a perimeter here uh, and testing it out. Um, but I feel like the thing I'm going to do is go that way uh, where I already have some land and flattened out all the land here that I already got. Uh, and then do all of my building and whatnot uh, a lot nicer. Now that's something that I could just let run and run and run. While not even playing the game. I could just be like AFK. Uh, letting that run. We come back. We can spend all day every day uh, doing that. Can you run it underneath your stuff? Oh my gosh. You can run it underneath your pre-existing buildings. I did not know you could do that. How awesome is that? That is pretty awesome. You can run it under your per current existing buildings. Well, that's convenient. Yeah, that's cool. You can run it under your existing uh, buildings without have to tear them down and remake them. That's a winner. That's a winner feature right there for sure. Well, you know what we're doing next time, everybody. <laughs> it's been a long... And if you screw up, by the way, I noticed that you can fix it. Uh, you just go ahead and go over it again. Uh, and then it fixes it. Lack of item. Uh, all right. Is this making it at full speed? I think we get another one going. I'll say we fire up a second one. Let's do it. Fire up another one. I really get this going, and then we'll just cover the entire planet. Uh, and then over here, into there as well. This one making the same thing. Now, now my storage is in an awkward position. 
but that's okay. We'll make it work. Ah, oh, God, I gotta... I gotta get some more of those. I don't know why I keep making those. Why do I keep making those? I got a whole box full of them over here. Why do I keep making those, everybody? Why do I keep doing that? I got plenty of them. Uh, all right. Let's go like this. I feel like maybe we can get away with uh, coming out a little bit. Going to here. Raising this up. Coming back down again. And clicking that into that other one over there. Yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, there we go. And so now that's combined with the first line. We don't have to redo that. Uh, and that's really going to double that up now. 183. Now what I'm going to do after the stream is I'm just going to let this run. Uh, I'm just going to let it run and run and run. Uh, and build a ton of platform that we're just going to platform the heck out of everything. Uh, it's going to be super fun. Super fun. Uh-oh. We got an error. Let me try that uh, thousand kids caps again. There we go. All right. Now you guys got your kids caps. That's my bad, everybody. That's my bad. Sometimes I forget to switch screens. I get all excited. I get all excited about it. Okay. I got 8,000 million things I should be doing, though. Uh, I got to take care of the IRLs, everybody. I got to take care of the IRLs, take care of the kids and the family and whatnot. But I'll be back in the morning uh, playing some more. Uh, so I'm going to just let that run. I'm going to actually beat this out. Uh, let that run. Let's go in my office, give you guys some love, and then I'm going to go into battle mode. Let's go. All right, everybody, let's do it. Let's get this going on over here. Uh, let's see. I got to press some buttons. Nope. Wrong buttons. Okay, correct buttons now. Okay, there we go. Uh, there's schedule. There is the uh, 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 social media. Number one, exactly. You're number one, Neil. Uh, thanks for coming in. Uh, so I stream Tuesday through Friday. Now tomorrow on Thursday, we're going to be playing uh, some uh, No Man's Sky in the morning because Fridays we're going to be doing Valheim from now on uh, for a while. And so No Man's Sky in the morning, Fallout 76 in the, in the afternoon with my crew. I'll try to build up some fusion cores off stream uh, before then. I've got a lot of things going on. So I'm, I see I can play multiple games at the same time. So I can let that game run in the background while I am also playing Fallout 76 and collecting fusion cores uh, and whatnot. And I've done that before. I've let Satisfactory run in the background while we were playing other games. Uh, and that's the advantage of having a, just a dedicated, uh, uh, a dedicated gaming machine uh, where you can do multiple games at the same time if you're that crazy. Uh, I am that guy. I am that guy. I can run three, four, five, ten games at the same time. Just let them all run, especially factory games, which, you know, we're going to build up a ton of those, uh, a ton of that going on. I just love that drone thing, man. It's like a whole... It's like a fleet of drones just going back and forth with that stone. Uh, and really, we have an infinite amount of stone. We have a crazy ton of the uh, steel bars already done. It's probably where all my steel went into those steel bars. And now we've uh, got the benefit of using all that up and using it for plates. So cool stuff. Uh, we'll check all that out next time. I feel like we're going to be doing like an hour worth of plating everything out and then fine-tuning it all, collecting all of our resources, uh, that's going to be super fun. Uh, now we can also do remote parts of uh, our planet. So we can just go and we can collect that remote iron or uh, stone or whatever it is way off in the distance and just have it transport uh, the raw material and then uh, have it uh, all the factory in one central place and pull in all the resources from different parts of the planet into a central and then build out from that central kind of storage area and then that's see that that's the way to do it see in like in satisfactory you have to run the lines or you got to run trains and all that stuff but if you got drones bro uh that's the way to go uh you set up your drones and your drones are just bringing that in without having to run any lines or anything uh from anywhere in the entire world uh that is awesome and you can also chain it too if it's too far away you could just tell them to bring it from here to this one and then from that one on to the next one and so on. You can just chain them across uh, the side of a planet. Uh, I don't know what the max distance is uh, between the two things. Uh, I guess we'll find out. I don't know if it's like orbital or, or what. But we'll find out next time. 
Uh, again, we'll let that run. Oh, God, I just want to play that all the rest of the day. All right, let me give you guys some kiss caps before I forget. There's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 caps. We're getting on that Kismet Love Train today. Thank you, everybody who did hit that resubscribe. Everybody hit that follow button. Uh, chilled out all the raids today as well and uh, any biddies or whatnot. I do appreciate each and every person who does come in. I see we also got a bunch of retweets there. Uh, let's go ahead and give you 1,000 for the first five. Very close to 10. I'll give you another 1,000 anyway because you guys are awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and give you some love. Now, what I'm going to do now, everybody, if you're not familiar with my stream, is I'm going to go into a bonus part of my stream, and that's called uh, the battle mode. And so I'm going to go on that battle mode. You won't see or hear me for the rest of the day, because normally this is the time in which I am done with my stream. But I go above and beyond for all my stream raider peeps. Uh, I do appreciate all the support, though we are trying to get those. If you could get a few skins, we could get that. We could get the sparkle dog in there. Uh, but no, that's never required. Uh, I do appreciate everybody who does just hang out in the stream. So so we're going to go into that mode uh, and we're just going to keep doing battles all day long for a while until I feel like stopping. Usually we go like a full map until we do the boss uh, and then I will go ahead and call it about that time. Uh, but I've got to go off and take care of my kids and real life stuff. And so I will see you guys in the morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for some No Man's Sky and for some Fallout 76. All right. We'll see you all then. Thanks for being here. Bye, everybody. Hey everybody, Kismet here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right in the center of the screen. Also, check me out live on twitch.tv slash kismet. I'll see you all next time. 